Allow me to invite the only pastor we have on the show. I know you absolutely love him. Show your love for Pastor Kush. Man Kush. Man Kush. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor you don't know you are sitting next to who. Najua watu wanaweza kuangaria ile nguo umevaa ni mtumba wafikirie we ni mtumba. No, 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 no. There is a mission and a standard. Jesus Christ's mission was to the poor, but his standard was a bit higher. Sina pesa rakini, kwa waret siwezi kosa kitu. I have a thousand shillings here. Let me talk to somebody here. I don't care how much watayangusha na kuipaka chafu. The value remains the same. I don't care wanasema nini juu yako. It's none of my I don't need anybody's body to become somebody. I am somebody without their bodies. So they should mind about their own. The value remains the same. Tu mezeka. Buchere yote inauzwa nyama. Problem ni vile utapika nyama yako. Kuna wanataka chemusha, karanga, kapiripiri kwa ubari. No. So, so, ukitoka hapa siku ya leo, don't hate who you are. That's point number one. Point number two. Pesa ni kutafutwa zinatafutwa. Na ukisitafuta, hasikosagi kukuja mwenye, kwa mwenye anatafuta. Ubaya ni ugoje baba yako wa kufe, diyo ugawe mari. <laughs> Na hata rabla yata iyo mari, si yake, aligawa baba yake. <laughs> kwa hivyo razima ujitafutie yako, to maintain your value. So usiniangalia kama mimi ni wabru, kama hujui vile ni nakuambia. Vario shows somebody the freedom that you have. Show me how responsible you are and I show you how free you are. Freedom and responsibilities goes together. I, I have, I have, I have, I have some money here. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm not here to brag. It's only the habit. <laughs> Pesa ni ya Tanzania. Uh, ni, sijui, ni, ya, ni ya Tanzania. Ni thousand. Hii ni thousand na hii ni thousand. Problem ya hii thousand haiko kwao. <laughs> so, <laughs> so katika maisha, razima utafute? Kwenu. Kwen. <laughs> Ukitafuta kwenu, utakuwa variable wapi? Saini ni kipanda pale. Nitisha Guinness. Ah, sorry. Nitisha Kaiya. Ah, sorry. Ah, sorry. That is, that is a slip of a tongue. Mimi si kunywi labda inapeano. Sasa! He, denomination, does not have vario here. Let me ask you. Why do you jinua sana na hujafika hapo? Utatoka kwenu. Wacha wale wako huko juu, wakai hapo. Hata wewe unapimia pale. Ni kama ukienda mazishi. Maz, maiti ya kiteremushwa, anabiaga mutu. Wale wameagaria, misi agariagi. Hata nikisikana si agariagi. Ikiteremuka inabiaga wale wako juu. Nirikuwa hapo. Na pahari ni naerekea. Hata wewe utakuja. So uko hapa, Church Hill, siku ya leo. And you was, unachezea kadi zako, mahali siya klasi yako. Wewe, wewe, rudi chini tafadhali. Rudi chini. Nishikia hii. Rudi chini. Rudi. Rudi chini. Kuna vitu wezi shikiwa. Kuna vitu wezi shikiwa. 
na vitu uwezi shikiwa. <laughs> Unaona? Mimi nilipooa nilikuwa sina mali. Nikawa msichana abaya hata ako class yangu. Problem ni nikipanda ni muache. Lakini kama ninapanda na tupande pamoja we are going to maintain our home. Lakini nikipanda ni muache. Oh my god. Atakuwa nyumbani tu akiipa nyimbo za kikuyu akivua gua. Madhani wakwa yakaneli atawa naishi anabadrisa igega tiara mwana anetawe anabadrisa onagusudheria diga choka. Sa hiyo nimemwacha pale na mimi niko ofisi. Kuna wasichana juu. <laughs> Wanakaa kama bot chupa ya coke. Yeah. <laughs> Waenda uiangalie. Nyembamba. <laughs> <laughs> Wanashinda kwa ofisi wamebeba tray wakiimba nyimbo za kizungu. Promise me son not to do the things of dawn. Work away when you can. Anaweka hapa anachukua ingine. You are my bread when I'm hungry. Mimi niko na makaratasi. Do you expect nikivika nyumbani nikute? Ingigati arama na haneta. Do you want to tell me wataka kwa class moja? Kwa hivyo wamama nyumbani wasipige kelele ati huu tunakana yeye. Sisi ni kama wamama wawili hana problem because hiyo kitu does not satisfy downstairs it it satisfies upstairs na upstairs is always satisfied in the office <laughs> akipita hivi mimi napiga bija sijui niko kwa ofisi <laughs> so wale wako nyumbani na wa, lazima wajue bwana anafanya kazi wapi ndio wape wale compare Failure to that, you are going to lose all your homes. That is why many people today they don't have morals. Morals are rotten. Unaona mtu anatembea na mke wake, ukitaka kujua mke wa mtu na robi, agalia mama ameachwa hatua sita. Na anapiga kelele. Anasema kike nika tamudu hata. Huyo ni bibi ya ni mke wa mtu. Hata bwana yake anamwambia agalia hiyo si agalii. Na kelele. Kiona mtu na robi town hii ameshika msichana namna hii na wanatembea in Nairobi streets there is 99% truth si mke wake <laughs> So ukitoka hapa ndio sababu nimepewa mwisho you go and look at your value bring back your morals don't let your morals be rotten ati hata ukiwa na mke wako unaangalia mtu baka unagogwa unaangalia pele <laughs> no, let, let's not kill our morals let's not let's not let's not remember your value remains where you have kept it so jinue kidogo don't expect anybody to tell you you are smart you better know you are smart without their opinion yeah. Mimi nikinua hii suti hatukuwa na wewe. I don't want compliments. Mimi nikivaa kiatu yangu hatukuwa na wewe. So whether you tell me you are smart or you are not is none of my business. Watu wengi chini hapa wameuawa na verbal curses. Verbal curses. Everybody wherever you go they throw verbal curses to you. Muone hata hanyoi na unajua akisema hao sasa hujui ni wapi hunyoi. You know. Hata hanyoi sasa hata wewe hujui ni wapi hunyoi. So so it is good to be presentable in public and in private. Wanaume tukivaa vests. Vest ni so. Vest ni ya white unaivaa mpaka inakuwa ya black. Na bado unainama. Ina ina reduce class yako ile umejiweka. Ina ina ukitoa socks zako, ukitufukua socks wengine vidole imetoka hivi. 
na amelipa 500 na socks ni 50 sasa una shitu atafadhali you know kwa hivyo hata mkitoka hapa you know you know who you are you are who you are when you are alone wewe hauko vile umetujiletea hapa hakuna hii ni kujibaba ya kutuonyesha wewe ni wewe wakati uko hapo peke yako unakaa hivi kwa nyumba uko na vest na hiyo ingine na bado unasikia upepo inaenda pale gani kwa sababu imeiko na mashimo pale mingi tafadhali ukitoka chachi iluende nyumbani i want you to lift up your standards praise the lord nobody will lift up your standard it's you yourself You li- unajua maisha ni kama hurubaru inaenda mahali unaielekeza <laughs> <laughs> na ukisimamisha haisogi <laughs> kwa hivyo acha kushida hapa ukiblame watu don't, we don't want blame game wewe ulifanya nifanya hivi wewe ulif- ah no 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 forget about them by the way your mother was not interested with you she was enjoying <laughs> <laughs> Ukipata shida usiende kumuuliza mimi ni wa nini mimi ni wa nini hata yeye hajui hata hakuwa na haja na wewe Ni Mungu alikuweka wapi kwa hivyo tukitoka hapa from tomorrow nikifua mbele because you know who you are Still sana rombi ukiweka mfuko hivi Wacha watu wachape beggars. Utiase kusida ukifanya hivi. Kwa streets. No. There is you are not a common person. You are a special person. Then act like a special person. Walk like a special person. Do things like a special person. Jusi tulikuwa hatuna pesa. Mka wangu ananiletea shida. You know them, you guys. Wanaume. Wanaume. Nikamwambia twende shopping. What's wrong with you? Nikagurumiza gari. Wale hawajui kama niko naye niko naye. <laughs> Tukaingia West Gate. Juzi tu. Ka, 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 baada ya hiyo West Gate kugogwa because I just stay next there. Sasa. <laughs> Unavuruta hiyo kitu ya supermarket. Weka vitu. Hakuna mtu anakuuliza. Bia mama unataka nini? Weka. Weka vitu. Come on. Pray with the people psychology. Don't joke. Weka mali. Weka mali unamwambia umetosheka. Ya, yeah, goja mimi kwa gari. Akienda kwa gari sukuma kigari. Ukifika karibu na mahali ya kulipia, weka kado. Agalia exit. We toka. Woka utumwambie I forgot my card. That's only the problem. I will shall do the same shopping tomorrow. Hata kutukana atapumzika na aseme gai. Mbona ulisahau? <laughs> na umwabie ni shaitani, ni shaitani. <laughs> shaitani. Ila kitu umeka ndani yake ni hope kwa sababu the only thing you don't want to lose is your value. You are very variable. Mm, you are very variable. Dundo wa mama wasichana mlio hapa na wa mama asubuhi usiangalia mtu akwambia hiyo asa angalia kio paka mafuta fanya hivi fanya hivi chika makaisc fanya hivi look at the mirror talk to the mirror and tell it i am free of rape and wonderful me na ukauka kuambia marvelous is the work of the lord <laughs> And my soul knows this very well. Don't expect people's compliment to know who you are. Hata bwana yako akikuangalia vibaya, shika vidole hivi. Mwambie usione chao za utupe. Chaweza okotwa ushangae. Baba yesu I love you guys. Hey.
nimezoea kwa kanisa kuwa na msichana wa kushika hizi vitu hapa <laughs> tafadhali mna ni enjoy hapa hakuna mtu anaweza shikia mimi okay sawa sawa acha niwekere tu hapo mwadhani ya wosho akumio jesu ainerona kinada kya mugeto Kuna wimbo ambao ninatoa na ninakuwa nikimekosa niki watu wa kuniback. Nimeenda kwa mwigai wa Joroge akakataliwa na studio. Nikaenda kwa Shiru wa GP akaabiwa ende sauti yake haitoki vizuri kwa sababu inaenda Yokoma. Let me tell you. Furahani wale watu wanafikiria vizuri maana wataona mugu. Yokoma. Wacha wacha wacha. Ati mimi ni pastor naiba hiyo inaenda hivi Yoko magi elia goro ya kwa gai Sasa mbona Sidi yangu itakuwa na nyimbo mbili Hiyo ya pili ni 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 also si, sijapata backup DJ kama uko na backup you can just tell them to come to me. Hiyo ni job ambayo haina watu wa kufanya. Na watu wako hapa wegi. What goes like? Ke muria. Ke muria. Sasa muna fikiria baya kwa nini? Unajua nyinyi you will never go to heaven. Heaven inataka watu wanafikiria vizuri. Kimuria, kimuria, kiugo kiangai ke. Unajua ukikuwa ukikuwa na roho mzuri, if you have a good heart, ata maisha inakuwa. Unajua kuna watu wengine, ata wanaweza kufa bila kuogo na gali. You know, wana, wana toka nyumbani, mutu wa mekasirika tu. Kujui nani ya memkasirisha? Taone anashida hivi kasirika kwanza wakati anavuka barabara hapa zebra zinapitia angalia <laughs> mwenzao kama ni zebra wewe baba baba zebra baba zebra zinapitia unaona anakuja tu anajifanya traffic na hajai kwenda shule sasa oh. <laughs> unashidua hii hii chuki yote ni ya nini hii chuki yote ni ya sasa unanichukia nini kwa sababu ulidugu wa miba na mwanaume sasa unachukia wanaume wote uliniona <laughs> Mimi huku niona hapo No 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 Hapana kasirikia sisi Na sisi wanaume hatutupagi watoto Wanaume <laughs> Wanaume <laughs> Tunaachiaga mama ajipage naye No 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 Sisi hatutupagi Hakuna mwanaume anaweza shika katoto hivi. Aendeleke kwa mtaro. Hakuna wanaume wataenda biguni wote. Hata hakuna kuvukiwa. Chwak. Wale watu watakuwa kiulizwa maswali sana ni hawa. Kwa sababu wataulizwa huyu na huyu na huyu unaweza sema baba yao ni nani. Asema huyu ni wanyaga. Huyu ni wa Kenya juu. Uyu sikubuki. <laughs> don't have anger. Ukitoka home. Ukitoka home kwanza jiangaria kwa kio. Ukai na style yako. Hile utashinda na mchana mzima. If you want to have God in you. God is love. By the way. God sio hiyo mambo muna abia kwa migi. Ati ya kweda biguni. Tukianza kweda biguni kutoka saa hii. Hapa dakika hii. Muta nishikia limuru. <laughs> Hakuna mari ni naeda. Siedi. Ayo. Na. Siniere biguni. Nikafanya nini? Biguni tutakuwa spirits. Spirits have got no gender. Yo. Na hapa hata nikiingia hapa nikuta mogivi. Unajua bora nikuwe na kofia. Atua, hakuna mtu anaona nimeandikwa fasta hapa. Sinaenda hivyo. Naenda chini kwa chini tunaenda hivi. Alafu nasikia mtu anakuchomea picha na kuonga. Madhani ya gosho stupid. <laughs> A 
Ecclesiastes alisema kila kitu na wakati kuna kangovia kana kwa kwa gari yangu nikiweka hivi wewe wacha ile kitu inaletwa iletwe kwani kuna nini hakuna kwani shetani yashawahi kwenda studio hakuna wimbo ya shetani wewe toka hapo wewe let me tell you before before i go niko karibu kumaliza mtoe sadaka sasa ah sorry sorry ni, ni just forgive me dunia hii ukitaka kukaa maisha marefu wachana na kujisidia na kwanza kama una kama kama wewe ni dada unataka ukaa maisha mingi simu ya bwana yako leave it your man is not a gay akuwe na wanaume tupu hapa Wanaume ukitaka kukaa poa na ukae msirim bila kwenda siri impossible. Usiangalie simu ya mke wako. Wacha naye. Wakati ulienda harusini kumuoa, pasta alikuuliza. Utawaacha wale wengine wote? Akasema, "Ah, kama una akili si waliku wako." Let's live a free life, man. Ah, wacha. Mimi mimi mka wangu anaendaka kuleta maguo kuhusia nyinyi. Hapa sisi tunafanya kazi. Mimi si mtu wa kugojea sadaka. Mimi hata niko na na uzaka ubwa. Sasa <laughs> Yeah, great den, great den. Ukitaka great den come. <laughs> mimi akiada hivi ni kuomba Mungu, Baba na kuomba muagalie. <laughs> Kwa sababu siju ya meda wapi? <laughs> na ameenda huko wasaina sijui wapi nini na wacha ni wacha ni niwaambie <coughs> siwende hapa tuliva si tuko tuliva siuingie kwa hoteli uniambie kama utanunuliwa sahani na kumat atidio ukulie utakulia ingine imeosho ido itora ngane gothabio kwa hao mimi sijali i don't mind hata mtoto hajui biological father anajua baba mresi so the biological father is none of my business na akikuwa mkubwa hata nunulia biological father gari ni mimi nitanunuliwa alafu ah, nyinyi the last thing na sitasema kitu kingine nilipoa mke wangu nilianzana na na nini Yes. Ni mimi nilianza. Nikaeda 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 mtoto akakuja nikaona mtoto asubua. Nikamwache. Anaendelea 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 wapili anakuja watatu die huyo akimalisika wote wanaoa na wengine wanalewa nani ameachiwa? Aliyeanza nayo. mimi zaina nimezeka <laughs> na usijaribu kuniita pasta hapa hapa mimi ni mankush wewe mambo ya pasta ni sunday bruce spring kinikuta hapo nikiria wewe toa sadaka weda pagusa machosi tukahesabia nyumbani na mama hiyo <laughs> mambo ikina uache kabisa 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 mke wangu aliniambia juzi baba si uliita watu waobe hapa bere nikaona sitafinyana na wao nikamuliza ukadu nikasema kwa sababu tutakuwa wawili kwa bed nikamwambia kwa bed mi si pasiki kwa bed de mudhe wa muzie <laughs> kwa sababu kaniambia ati anauma na kifua nikasema baba katika jina Yesu kifua ipone nikamuliza imepona eh lete sasa <laughs> God bless you guys. I love you so much.
Hakuna kitu mbaya <laughs> kuona mtu ako VIP <laughs> na ako na deni yako na wewe umesimama huko leo hey! Yo maana nasema John nyote mliolemewa na mizigo nanyi mtarudi nazo kwa sababu hata si tuko na mizigo ya kubeba kwa nini kwa nini tubebe zenu you know nimeona kuna mtu anakunywa eh gin nikajiuliza people are addicted to so many things mtu anakunywa gin anajua the amount of spirit in that gin na Biblia imesema blessed are the poor in spirit for they shall inherit the kingdom of God. You want to be rich in spirit to enter the rich kingdom. My uncle sura sitaki kusema sura ni mbaya lakini yako na sura ambayo ukiona unakumbuka andiko kwamba beba msalaba wako na unifuate. You know. Unajua sura. Sura msalaba Sura sisi kama familia tulianza kuitisha Rifananda mkitambo ya kubadilisha hiyo sura lakini things <laughs> serikali sijui So she they ka my, my uncle ni, anajua kujitetea nikamuuliza siku moja uncle sura yako sura yako watu wakikutana nayo wanakuuliza kama umetoka kwa accident akaniambia ah mimi uji, mimi my son mimi ujua kujitetea you must know how to say these things mtu akiniuliza sura yangu inakaje namwambiaga no me i look like a uh, mananasi I'm, i am rough on the outside but i am surely sweet and beautiful on the inside kama umekaa karibu na mwanaume mwambie asante kwa kuwa mananasi <laughs> Never met someone shine until I seen your eyes still I had to try oh oh yes let me get my work right and then approach oh man I treat you like a man is supposed to you never have to cry I know every man can relate to when they find a special someone you Goja, be deeply emotional. Hii video utakuwa Januari ukikumbuka zile shida ulimaliza pesa. Waje niwaambie, man. Januari inakuja na mtasema sikuwaambia. That is why I have come up with a poem. Makinika. Disemba wacho mapicha eti una dance na mudosi. Januari ile kitu unaenda kuchoma ni fea ukitafuta kazi Ati unaita DJ Irosh na wengine ati mkuje muchi jebuzi Januari hao hao ndio utaita wakuje muchinje kufuli Ati mnakuja kukija kufuli Na acha niwaambie Ukiona mtu anaharibu pesa yake I do not blame him. There is something I want to blame the voices in our heads. Ati kuna ka sauti kanaogelesha mtu. Kwa kichwa yako si wewe you are not to blame. Ati. Unakumbuka ukiwa high school ilianza vizuri? High school before alete hii bankers check unapatiwa pesa taslim 15000 uende ulipe school fees. Unafika railways ka sauti kanaanza kukuogelesha kana kukana kuuliza wewe aki utatoka town hivyo bila hata chip sio wewe aki nika sauti kana ku unaamua ah tutabishana unakabia hii na sina kitu ninanunua na nini kana cheka ndani ya kichwa kana kwa hiyo yani mia peke yake ndio basa hataona Mia peke yake chuna mia. Baka unaanza kusikia sauti ya chips ikiingia kwa moto. Chua le 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 le. Na hujafika kwa hotel chua. Kuna ni wewe. Kuna ni wewe. 
Ni mimi ni Unachuna mia. Unaikia kwa hoteli unasema nipatie chips. Alafu wakikufukia chips unaona kuku zingine zinakujua personal eh? Zinapita ziki Kuku zi, yani wao lazido hii. Hii kuku haina kichwa na inaniona aje. Yaani zikuku personal. Kaniye kuota. Tuko wapi? Ah uh, tuko 170 shillings. Ah haina shida. Ah hiyo tunaweza lipa. Alafu unapeduka hivi Unaona sausage ni kama zimesimama kwa counter zina dance wiki kuuliza yani utakula bila balance diet kula balance sausage bili hiyo ni 200 and uh, 240 between hiyo hotel na ofisi ya basa ile pesa unajikuta nao ni hiyo 240 ambayo ugenunua huko hiyo ingine yote uju ilienda wapi hata uwezi Unaona ilianza tu the voices ina ina head. Hata leo kuna watu walipatiwa check two days ago. Amekaa hapa akiangalia saa. The voice in the head inamwambia how how long does it take to mature? <laughs> check uiva after siku gapi siku mbili? Si saa sita usiku itakuwa zimeiva. <laughs> Unasema ah, leo sitaguza daguza kesho nikilipa Lord Road. Wewe huyo saizi ukienda tu kupita hapo uchumi ATM zinaanza kukuimbia wimbo. Unafanya nini wewe na tumeiba? Tumeiba ni sababu. The voices in our head. Dio maana anasema John nyote mliolemewa na mizigo. Nanyi mtarudi naanza kwa sababu hata sisi tuna mizigo ya kubeba. Kwa nini tubebe zenu? In my book on things that are as useless as the eject button ya remote Ushaona video kitu ni useless Yaani umeketi kitako you are watching a series imeisha unachukua remote unafinya eject Ukirara alafu inatoka inakaa hapo Tu inakugonga kwa kichwa you have to go utoe uweke kado Eject button is the most useless thing. I wish you were get a ile. Huyo ameguzwa mali. Huyo. Ndio ni token ya tena. Huyo angelipa mara mbili. Kuna vitu useless kwa hii dunia. Ushaienda mali hapa. Hapa langata nitebea. Nikaona mali wameka ubao kubwa. No dumping. Alafu takataka imejaa hapo takataka nikajiuliza wanaongea kuhusu dumping ya takataka ama ya relationship unajua inaweza kuwa ni relationship hadi ukifika hapo na mrembo unataka kumwacha usimwachie hapo mwachie na hapo mbele unajua lakini watu useless kwa hii dunia ni mtu mmetoka naye town vizuri mmepata ebasawa dio nini hao mobasa road dio nini alafu mnapata accident gari imegogo hapo Alafu anakupedukia na kuuliza ni nini imefanyika Lakini na mwingine mwingine anatokea from nowhere anaanza kuambia ah hii gari ya red hii ndio ilikuwa na makosa hiyo speed ilikuwa na kamu nayo ndio mbaya unajua ilikuwa inatoka huku juu mpi ikakuja ikapata hii ika tu ikagongewa na huyu mtu tumetoka na town tuko kwa hii gari wote pamoja na bado tunamsikiza kati ya huyu anakuambia na wewe unasikiza nani mjinga kuliko mwingine haleluya nani mjinga Watu wanapiga nduru hivyo mpaka regular. Hey, start your name, give them a high five. Patia high five. Mwambie karibu kwa show. Ah, have a seat, have a seat, have a seat, have a seat. Eh, watu wote. We, si mmekuja wengi. Mnakuanga wengi hivi? Ka town kadogo kamenona. Kako na watu wengi. Haujui mbele ni wapi? Na nyuma ni wapi? Kako na warembo. Ai! 
Spanish. I never knew Kalenjin ladies are this beautiful. Yani nyinyi wote mmetoka kwa hizi milima. Munanuka forest. Unadhani ati mtu amekaa ndio yako amepaka perfume. There is no perfume. Hiyo ni mwarobaine imeshikana na mahindi. Ikaingia kwa mwili. Tuko mpaka na watu wa Kitale hapa. Watu wa Kitale make some noise. Waluya wako wapi waluya? Ndio hawa hapa mbele VIP. Umesema unajua Mola Mola sima tukule mapema huko kwa Churchill tupate nguvu ya kucheka. Ndio hawa wako hapa, si ndio? Baka wa forgot. Wako wapi forgot? Muko mpaka kwa hizi kichaka. Mnafanya nini? Mkuja kutafuta pesa. Pesa iko hapa. Eh? Ish na warembo wanakaapoa sana. I'm so happy to be here. Unajua West Pokot inakaapoa sana. Baridi nayo. Hii baridi inakuanga hivi kila time. Ama ni hivi tu? Hii baridi inakuanga hivi. Kwa hivyo huku hakuna watu wako singo. Wezi kuwa single na hii baridi. By the way, it's only in West Pokot enye mtu haezi kosana na wewe. If you want to break up with me here, you have to give me notice. West Pokot yote kuna kabaridi kametulia. Uku wata uitaji Roron hawezi nuka makuapa. Uku wata si lazima unyoe. Unakatu kama hizo forest. Ukisikia ni kama eleleta shida unatoka inje, unasimama hivi. Now, Bokot, a poisia qua. Never, because I'm doing research. Poisia qua. Never, because I'm I'm doing research. Poisia qua. I'm saying, 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 I'm Lazima umwambie kai eh wewe ni mrembo kushinda ngombe Unasikia nakufanyia mo Wait na nasikia huku wanaume wananemiwa after ngombe Is it true ama nimedanganywa Kama lonyanga po nasikia the biggest governor in Kenya make some noise for the governor Actually, I googled Lonyanga Po. Google can be did you mean Churchill show? <laughs> Lonyanga Po na comedy, same WhatsApp group. <laughs> the funniest governor. Na najua hiyo ni strategy yako naye. Unajua comedy ni kitu inaweza ingiza watu box. That's why what, 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 uh, our mothers wanaambianga our sisters usikubali mwanaume akushekeshe. Ukicheka kidogo mimba. Na hiyo ndo strategy yenye Lonyanga Po anachotafutumia. Anachekesha wa Kenya kidogo state house. So I hear that Lonyanga Po is a red a red cow with some white spots. That's true, right? So mwana mwangani mwingine hapa ako na jina ya ngombe. Patia mmoja, patia huyu hata mdosi yako nyuma. Mwenye yako na jina, what's your cow name? Eh, huyu, huyu hapa. Eh, hello sir, Jambo. Hello. Uko salama? Unaitwa aje? Unaitwa Lo Pale. Did you just call me boss? <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes. Wewe na Churchill rangi nayo? Zimeshikana hivi. Hey. Unajua wewe na Churchill mkienda kwa National Park Simba iwakimbize. <laughs> Simba yezi wakula. Hakuna simba inakula nyama choma. Anyway, what what are your full names? Lopale Siwakech Daniel. Lopare Siwakech. 
Yo unajua kuandika ukifika class 8. Yeah. Ile wakati unachukua results ndio unaendea mzazi naitwanga aje. So jina yako ya ngombe ni gani? Luopale. Luopale. Yes. Hiyo ni ngombe inakaje? White. Very white. white. Yes. Mbona wanakudakaja? <laughs> Do some little research also. Ro yako ndo nyeupe. Yes. Lo eh eh patia ule mwingine mwenye yako na jina ya ngombe. Nani mwingine huyo? Huyu na kofia. Huyu huyu na kofia. Alafu tuanze. Huyu na kofia. Jambo. Jambo sana. Jambo. Ya mzuri. Uko salama? Niko salama. Unaitwaje mduzi? Naitwa Solomon Angelei. Umevaa ch- ch- chepu kumbe kwa kichwa lakini. <laughs> <laughs> lakini unakaa poa. Niko sawa. So, jina, jina yako ya ngombe ni gani? Angelei. Angelei. Yes. Hiyo ni ngombe inakaaje? Pembe imeangalia kando na ingine kando opposite side. Ndio maana umevaa kofia. Eh. <laughs> umevaa pembe yake. <laughs> Nakuru oya 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 watu wa VIP oya oya watu wa regular oya oya acha tu yoneba give your neighbor high five but here high five ado anyoba moya na waona kwa wingi sana eh baka zuka bak baka zuka bak amekuja jambo 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 uko salama uko salama Can you hear me, man? Karibu Kenya, karibu Kenya. Se mnamwambia hakuna matara. Eh umechukua huduma namba, umechukua. Unajua ukiona mzungu amevaa kinyasa usiku huyo alikula fair. Huyo alikula fair. We, I love you. You know I realized that ule mwalimu alishinda 100 million wa hapa. Is it Nakuru or Nyaikuru? Nyaikuru. Nyaikuru. Ni Nyaikuru. Yes. Wewe bora mna tena Nyaikuru, guy. Watu Nyaikuru. Yaani huyo mwalimu alishinda 100 million. Ish. Mr. Teacher Tambichi ta ta Mbichi, right? Tambichi. Ni wa Kisii, si ndio? Eh? Ni wa Kisii. I think that is why alikubali kutokea kwa TV. Ikekuwa teacher Jeroge. Akiambia watu wa Warbank tunaweza kafanya shini ya mai. Kuna watu wananigojea mahari. Tunaweza ifanya shini ya maji. Eh, ish, teacher Tambichi. You know, I, he reminded me me. I know my teachers are walimu wangu wa geshida 100 million. Ish. You know walimu wa Kenya ni wale wenye specifically mwalimu wa Kenya number one thing, number one thing tunajua ni discipline. Mwalimu wa shule akikupata uko nje ya staff room umepiga magoti hata hajui makosa yako ni gani kila mwalimu akipita lazima akupige kofi kumpafu wewe noise maker yani hata mwalimu hajui umefanya nini you know eh and and, and by the way eh, wasa mnakumbuka composition do you remember composition mimi I, i used to love uh, composition composition i was so good at composition actually composition yangu sikuwa ipata less than 34 because yeah you can go back and confirm eh Google my school sitawaambia ni wapi. Eh? Ati unajua? Usichome bro, tulia. Na umekaa kando ya wanaume watatu. By the way, if you wrote these things in your composition, unafaa kuwa na watoto watatu. Kama uliandika there was a pin drop silence. Like the one in Nagasaki and Hiroshima. Unafaa kuwa umeoa saa hii. Kama uliandika I ran helter skelter like Patrick Njiru negotiating the corner. Unafaa kuwa saa hizi na watoto wengine na watatu wako wako high school. Nini zingine tulikuwa tunaandika? Nini zingine tulikuwa tunaandika kwa composition? Yes, do hiyo. Hiyo kila mtu aliandika wa lodwa, wa kakamega, wa eh, 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 the dum dum drums of Kama haurelate unajua ulikuwa shule ya kanjo. If you are not relating you just know where you are in school. By the way mimi Insha Insha I was also so good at Insha. Kwanza Insha yangu mimi by the way Insha nilikuwa nimekram. Nilikuwa nimekram mwezi wa ngapi? Mwezi wa ngapi? Kila mwezi na paragraph yake. Mimi nilikuwa tunajua bora nifikie wezi nimemaliza. Sikuwa na pressure. Insha yangu tu nilikuwa na nakafinya tu. Wezi waingie. Wezi wakiingia tu pa nimemaliza 
anything lazima wezi waingie nipatie topic yote topic hiyo yote ya insha siku ambayo sitasahau ai wewe pia hapo wezi wanaingiaaje hiyo siku e, ilikuwa siku ya jumapili tulikuwa tumetoka nyumbani tumeingia kanisani maombi pindi tulipoanza ku uh, 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 present worship na Kiswahili ni nini oh kwa budu pindi tulipoanza kwa budu niliona nilihisi nilihisi damu 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 ina okay ini eh? inachemuka inachemuka wewe chemuka Kiswahili inasisimuka inasisimuka hapo ndipo mchungaji alisema tutoe sadaka ghafla binvu wezi wangapi ladies in the house kama unajua nywele yako ni ya ukweli say ai wanaume kama demakokado yako wamesema ai mwambie uongo Unajua by the I'm so happy to be here in Naivasha. And I'm sure madem wengi hapa Naivasha ni wakikuyu, si ndio? Yeah. Mimi ni mkikuyu. Now there are four things I love about Kikuyu ladies. Number one, they are faithful. Number two, they are honest. Number three, they are genuine. Number four, wanajuanga kutumia initials. Hizi ni za L O L L M wanajua kuzitumia. Yeah. Lakini vile wanamaanisha wakizitumia ndio tofauti. For example, mwanaume akichomoka kwa rejirova yake, usikie demu kikuyu amesema O M G. Hamaanishi oh my god, anamaanisha one modro me kutoka. Eh? Ama matemu wawili wa kikuyu wanatembea hivi Wapate mwanaume amelewa. Usikie mmoja wao ameambia huyu mwingine joki TW. Hamaanishi tigawana, anamaanisha joki to ya wareti. <laughs> hey, mademu wa kikuyu. Alafu kitu kingine na mademu wa kikuyu wanajua kutumia lipstick. Eh? Bado unajua mademu wa kitumia kuna wale mademu wa kitumia wakitipaka lipstick, wanataka giharibiwe na kitu. Mpaka they afford some words. Zile vitu zitafanya mdomo ishikane mpaka hawezi kula lollipop wanaikulanga hivi eh <laughs> mpaka kuna maneno wewe sema tu itashikanisha mdomo kama neno mambo mambo akisema mdomo itashikana si ndio so na kusalimia sasa mpaka akisneeze hawezi ivugia hivi ate hatu jo akisema hivyo itatoka anaachilianga yote na ha 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 <laughs> Sasa the worst thing ni hiyo dem akilidi praise and worship kwa kanisa. Yeye uteseka sana. Juzira words kwa wimbo zitafanya mdomo ushikane. He is forced to crucify the rest of the choir malizie. Yeye kwa hizo words anaweka yeye yeye huu na yeye yo. Tunasherekea ushindwa huu huu jina la Yesu ningo hi 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 tunate he he kote kote tunata huu huu kitu gani na Yesu huu huu Unajua ya but unajua kitu najua ni ladies are wise Madema hapo ndio mnapiga makofi ya Ladies are wise. Unajua kwa nini? Because ladies use the right side of the brain. Men use the left side of the brain. All right? So wale madem unasemanga I'm looking for Mr. Right. How do I mpata? And the left, drag that idiot muli bring to the right. All right? So ladies use the right side of the brain. Now right side of the brain comes with the right calculations. And that's why men when you call a lady as she is in a noisy place she will not hear everything you are saying to her but she will not feel to hear the most important part of that call unampigia simu hello babe uko wapi yako akisikusikini ko place iko na kelele ogea kwa sauti na kuuliza uko wapi uko wapi ati nini uko wapi uko wapi akisikusikia ogea kwa sauti uko 
Babe, si ulikuwa unasema nyole yako inakaa vibaya inataka pesa. Eh hey, babe, nyole yako inakaa vibaya inataka pesa. Hiyo anasikia. That is the right side of the brain. Left side unajua left side ambayo mwanaume tunatumianga it comes with wrong calculations. That's why mwanaume unaweza pata mwanaume amepack Range Rover kwa barabara akojoe. Kwa mgongo amejificha na hiyo Range Rover. Lakini Bele Place ameangalia kuna shule. Na watoto wako break time. Lakini left brain namwambia kojoa huonekani. <laughs> eh? That is the left brain. Now left brain comes with wrong calculations. And that's why wanaume hata kutaganya hatujui. Hatujui kuta... mwanaume anaweza fika kwa nyumba asubuhi. Bibi yake amuulize, "Where did you sleep last night?" Adaganya aseme, uh, "I slept at Mato's place my friend." Bibi yake amuulize, "Are you sure?" Aseme, "Eh, hey, nilala huko." Eh, hata unaweza pigia mato simu dia hii namba yake usikie sasa hiyo alikuwa ameplana mato akipigua adaganye so wife anaamua kupiga hello mato did my husband sleep at your place last night mato eh hey, alilala huku hata sasa hiyo ameamuka dia huyu anakunywa chai akiwatch cartoon <laughs> let me say one thing the luminosity of the medulla oblongata when it mitigates itself into a rubric subsequent permanganate it arbitrates and mitigates the pedigree of the bumaye to <laughs> repugnant construed disclaimer which brings methodological finofasa to sitika furifuri biography <laughs> eh? which kata pulls the meandering clinky clanker into a bungshas higihaga What I'm simply trying to say is bangi ni baya. Bangi ni baya. Bangi ni baya. By the it's even worse. Kama mnakaa watu wawili kwa nyumba moja na mnavuta bangi. Jua mwezi saidiana. Kuna jamaa wawili walikuwa nakaa nyumba moja kwa estate yetu. Mmoja alikuwa anaitwa Kiogora, mwingine Motiso. Kuna time walivuta bangi mpaka saa sita ya usiku. Alafu Motiso alikuwa amke for asubuhi aende kazi. So hiyo saa sita, akaria rais Kiberiti ilikuwa imebakisha matchstick moja. Ya? Yeah? Akaambia kiogora, eh 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 eh. Imagine Kiberiti imebakisha matchstick moja. Na naamuka for asubuhi. What if nitaenda kuhakisha hivi izime? Nitapika chai na nini? Kiogora akamwambia itawaka. Itawaka hiyo. Leta tujaribu saa hii kama utawaka uone. Itawaka. So kiogora akaifanya. Si nimekwambia itawaka iko poa hii. Eh? Bangi ni baya. Ya? Kwanza kama kuna watu wanafectiwa na bangi ni mahaslas. Unajua hustlers are always bitter with life. Wamechapwa na life mpaka ukusana na kila mtu. Amekusana na family yake, amekusana na jirani yake, friend zake mpaka inafika please anakos, anakosa mtu wa kukosana na yeye so anaanza kukosana na pati zake za mwili <laughs> ya yeah? unaona jamaa akitembea hivi town akitembea hivi hii mguu yake ya mbele igongwe anasimama kuiblame ona kiherehere <laughs> no unajifanya uko na haraka sana siwende basi peke yako tuone enda mwenzako aka hapa nyuma vizuri muulize kwa nini haumivi ama ujui tunaweza rudi na yeye tuende kama utaenda peke yako. <laughs> eh? Kama ungekuwa na haraka si ungeanza kutembea jana nonsense. <laughs> so bitter with life, yeah? But I have an uncle of mine in the village. Yeye havuti bangi lakini amechanganyikiwa na maisha. Ako na watoto tisa. Juzi ni nimvisit nikakuta bibi yake ako na mibaigine. So nikamuuliza uncle kila time nikikutembelea na kutanga bibi yako akiwa na mimba akaniambia hiyo ni family planning <laughs> unajua anatakaga bibi yangu akae na mimba hivyo jua akiwa na mimba hawezi shika mimba ingine <laughs> hey. you know, one thing i like about ladies is because unlike men ladies love themselves Ladies know how to treat themselves. See your ladies. Yes. Oh, 
Abaka ladies wakiwa na pesa they are not afraid to spend that money. Tim akiingia kwa duka ya vipeti. Aone vipeti kama 20 ziko na ile design anataka na zinamfurahisha. It does not matter how much they cost hata zinunua zote, si ndio? Ladies are not afraid to spend their money. Akiingia kwa duka ya viatu hata make sure amenunua zile viatu zina match na floor yake ya nyumba, tap yake ya maji, mtego wake wa panya na moshi yake ya jiko. Sidio. Ladies are not afraid to spend their money. Sidio ladies. Juu hiyo pesa ikiisha anajua kuna mwanamume mjika pahari ataitopa tena. Ya. Yeah. Kwanza kuna madem wa Islado hapa. Kama umetoka Israel sema hey. Wanaume wacha ni wachanue. Ukisikia demo wa Islado amekuambia sina appetite toroka. Jipatie shughuli enda. Kuna dembeste yangu wa Kayole alinikuta kwa hoteli nikikula chips vizuri. Akakuja akaketi na mimi. Alafu huita na kierere yake akamletea menu. Nikasikia amesema haki sina appetite lakini bado anafugua menu. <laughs> na unajua vile unaendelea kufugua menu ndio bei zinaenda kaza ziki increase ndio? <laughs> Akasimamia page 13. Nikasikia waiter nipatie chicken tikka spaghetti promodoro ikuja na chips masala na hamburger ka hapo juu alafu ifunikie na mapiza na salad nikamwangalia hivi nikamuliza si umesema huu na appetite eh si na appetite ya kukula home <laughs> yeah but unajua kuna research inasema men don't easily reveal their secrets Like if you're suspecting your husband on anything hata umfanye nini hata umchome na maji moto he will not see anything ataweka hizo vitu ndani madem ukitaka kujua secrets zao mfurahishe overwhelm her with a big surprise my aunt kwa alijaribu hiyo kitu ili work alienda abroad for one month akiwa huko akaanza ku suspect bibi yake alikuwa kimcheat so akirudi hiyo siku akakuja akam surprise akamfuga macho surprise Okay. Alafu akamfungua, akatoa funguo za Mercedes S class. Hey. New keys for the Mercedes. Oh my god, you're so cute. That's why nakupenda. Akamuliza, unanipendea kwa nini? Ju uko na smile poa. Alafu lips zako ni soft kuliko za kiateka. Ulijuaje kiateka lips zake ni soft? Ulijuaje? Thank you so much for bless you. Hey, what's up? What's up? What do I see? What's up? First of all, before I start, I was watching a video the other time. This video made me sick. There's a guy in North Carolina who was offered 15 million US dollars in exchange for his girlfriend. Akakata. 15 million US dollars ni 15 million na zero zingine mbili hazijawekwa zero mbili ziko silent <laughs> and this is what this guy said and i quote i you know let me i, I, I need all you to listen to me this is my girl and i love her she is unpurchasable my love for her cannot be bought by money baby a liar So I'm getting jaribu na milioni moja. <laughs> na watoe taxi baki 700,000. Ningewa connect baka na madada zake. <laughs> women, what's up? <laughs> Nino, by the way, women, you always think that we don't have passwords to your phones, eh? Kitu naombianga tunanga. Lakini wanaume pia nyinyi mnajifanyanga. Mwanaume akona password yako alafu atukiweka anajifanya anaangalia kando. <laughs> What? Mwanaume, mwanaume, mwanaume akona password. A, a man will never have password. Ananga, ananga password yako. Mpaka ile siku asubuhi unasikianga umebadilisha hiki kitu eh? <laughs> now. Now. Now 
there's a reason. We know we are different. Men and women are different. The reason to why we put passwords is different from why women do it. Women, you do it because of insecurities. You're hiding something. You don't want us to access your phone. Utaki to one chat. Zenu na magals. Yes. I'm utaki to one chat na magals. Groups are madem. Hapo ndio kuna kuanga na content wanaume. Usitafuta wanaume ingia kwa groups za madem. Hapo. Zinaitwa Titanic. Ndio usijue. You know men, we also have passwords. But we are not hiding anything. Because Kenyan men are faithful. The only reason to why we put passwords ni ndio simu isijifinye kwa msifuko. Najifinya napigia mtu na huku umepanga Huku umepanga wakisidia wanaume So tunaika password is in dial but in buyer And men, please avoid cheap phones Tafadhali, tuwache Have phones that can represent you I don't know how to define an expensive phone But I can tell you what a cheap phone is A cheap phone is a phone that you're walking in town And then a stranger approaches you Mtu jai yaona na kuambia Zima touch bro You know, you know, I'm so glad that today we're talking about the Hustlers edition. And if there are Hustlers that I have to appreciate are the businessmen. Let's give it up for the businessmen, Tafadali. All businessmen, business ladies, business women. Let me tell you something. There are factors that affect business. Factor number one is friendship. Friendship affects business kabisa. Friends will never support you. They will never. If you think I'm lying... You have an electronic shop, you're selling TV, you sell cables, you sell uh, extensions. Your friends have all of this in their houses. Now, you know what to That is what friends, friends want things for free. Let me tell you something, I'm in the, I'm the comedy business. Niko kwa biashara ya comedy. Even my friends, people who know me, they want to come for shows. Bure. Na kupike, eh, vipi? Nimeona poster. Iyo lazima to support. Nipatia complimentary tano. complimentary they will not come now i'm trying to look at this from a perspective whereby wewe ukiwa na duka naweza kupiga simu kama hiyo nimeona umefungua kaduka nataka maziwa tano za complimentary it cannot work what if life tulikuwa na live life on complimentary basis if you're my friend i'm entitled to at least something complimentary from you if you're my friend i'm dating your sister i don't pay for dowry complimentary girlfriend wana vile wanaume wana fresh wana vitu Ah, ndugu yangu. Na huko na mtu kando. <laughs> Factor number two that affects business is the type of business you're doing. Your business might affect your business. Let me give you an example. Unakumbuka ile biashara wasiana wako nafanya kitambo ya mchele. Isi mchele unakula unashiba, hii mchele unakula unalala. <laughs> so unaweka kwa drink and then anaku pick pocket baadaye. Do you know how heavy that one is? You're investing na hujui matokeo. Like, you know that thing, first of all, that sed sedative drug is very expensive. Cut 2,000. We may not drug two. Nowadays, they don't do it. Because you've bought that drug for 2,000 Kenya shillings. You go to a club. You have to buy two beers. You're investing. 500, 2,500. And then you spot a man who looks like they have money. And then you have to be patient the whole night. And you have to make them go home with you. And then you can see the drug and the drug. You can see the drug and the drug. Umeenda sana 2430 na ukorongai. No, factor number 3 that affect business is electricity and power. Let me break it down. When I was growing up, uh, we never used to have power. Tuko natuma kwa soko usiku. So you can imagine how to got to advantage. You've been sent to go buy onions and and uh, na nyanya. Sasa pale kuna giza. Umempea na tafuta kitungu na iba nyanyambili unaweka kwa mfuko. <laughs> now, I used to do that. One day, my mom sent me ni yede ninue samaki. And my mom couldn't afford more than one. So, alintuma samaki, moja. Smoked fish. Unajua smoked fish, like anu kwa ngangumu. 
ni akanituma hiyo so when i went i found that the, the, the woman was a little bit busy she was serving other customers so nika bend jua alikuwa anaika chini nika bend nika iba samaki moja nikaingiza kwa kikapu nikaenda nayo home because at home we also didn't have power mama wangu kujaribu kwa kikapu mbio mbio akachukua samaki aka kaanza kupika ndio hiyo 30 minutes anafinya hivi samaki samaki ni ngumu ah akaongeza moto one hour samaki ni ngumu Two hours akachukua moto amulike hivi kumbe niliimba akala hey what's up what's up what's up what's up see you what's up what's up what's up what's up first of all can you give it up for yourself for that i appreciate you that now wa kenya ni wale wale be very careful kenyans will love you and appreciate you if they think you're single That is why for example say dem i ke picha yake sahi picha yake instagram au facebook alafu aseme chilling in mombasa comments na likes we like you cute beautiful oh my we miss you alafu kesho ikue monday who the same same dem achukue picha ya mwanaume mwenye yako na six pack na ko na bicep alafu andike hapo i love you i adore you the king of my heart my mcm all time mwa 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 hapa tangi hata comment moja kwanza yende u chat na u chali yake hapo chali yake ana reply love you too baby thank you welcome sweetie I adore you. <laughs> okay. Poa. <laughs> Sasa inafikanga point, hii conversation inaendelea mpaka wanakosa content hadi wanaanza ku discuss vitu personal zenye mnafaa kupigiana simu. Babe, avocado ilibaki kwa free. Hapana <laughs> sweetie, ukumbuki nilikuwekea kwa mkate. <laughs> It does make sense. Sometimes and if you get into a relationship, such relationships they do work and sometimes they get to marriage. There are things that uki uki as a man, if you get married, there are things you need to stop completely kwa hii maisha. Kukula nje. It's bad manners. But wa Tanzania, mtanzania akikula nje, you feel sorry. Yeye uko apologetic. Kwanza ataka you keep secret. Ah, dada umeni umenikuta nikinyorosha mboga lakini usiende ukaambia bibi yangu. Maana yake aweza kanipia talaka. Usimwambie tafadhali nashukuru sana. Lakini ya wanaume wa Kenya sijui kama ni madharau ama ni nini. Ashanyorosha chakula nje, alafu hana ana aibu bana anaingia kwa nyumba mmepika nini hapa? Kuna nimekanyaga matumbo huko nje na kuna mahali imeenda. It's so bad. And sometimes you always complain eh watu wa Tanzania hawajui kizungu no they know the only problem is they speak english in a swahili accent Kenya we have a pro- Kenya we have a lot of pro- problems even pro- even some simple words like the word come on the word come on has been derived has been formed from two words come and on it's supposed to be used to encourage somebody or to persuade like mommy i'm not going home no please baby come on let's go home come on Jim keep fighting keep doing it come on brother come on Mamangu alikuwa anaitumia anga kama matusi <laughs> Wewe nitakukanyaga come on <laughs> But and 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 Uh, kama kuna the kids watching from home there's how you can know if your father or your mother was bright depending on how they talk a bright parent always talks about whatever he speaks revolves around himself like my friend nowadays hamchapwe when i was growing up i was when i was in form 3 i used to sleep at 9 i used to actually sleep at 12 then waking up at 3 to study and nobody would beat me in mathematics Hakuna siku nimeipata bilion number 2. I was always number 1 ama 2. 1 ama 2. Mzazi danda, yeye uongelea watu wengine. 
tukiwa form 3 huyu baba ya Richard <laughs> alikuwa na kanyara hesabu <laughs> Mbona <laughs> Sasa hii nilijaribu kupea mtu Valentine akaleta kielele oh ati anataka maua oh za sijui plastic nikamwambia utajui ujui nikamwambia nitamuaibisha nimfilishe kwa TV leo natafuta mtu leo sasa hii nifilishe unaweza kuwa na two feelings tumebaki mahali nani hapa na two feelings mahali tumfilishe sasa hii nimeona watu wakiproposiana hapa kuja kuja ni kupokea Hashtag from Naivasha with Ravu Kime maua? Ha sasa. Zawadi ya pili Kiswahili. Geukea mwanzo mwambie masaraheri. Masaraheri. Tajuaje mmetoka Mombasa ni juzi. Ah, masarae ona anko. Wacha kuitika. Masaraheri ni salamu. <laughs> salamu ya wamama. Usiki masa hapo. <laughs> Tajua Kiswahili nini? Unajua nilikuwa Mombasa nikaona difference ya watu wa Mombasa na sisi vielele wa Nairobi. Mnatuona kwa TV huko tukiadamana tukipiga kelele. Oh freedom. Papa, oh, we want freedom. What to Mombasa pia kuna wenye wanakuwaga na hiyo, lakini hawawezi yenda kwa street, kwa damana, wanaeza chaganya polisi. Juhu wanaenda hapo wakiadamania kwa pishana, wakisema, tuataka uhuru, tuataka uhuru, tuataka uhuru. <laughs> polisi wakunye wa ulize, mnataka uhuru wa nini? Tuataka uhuru wa kwa pisha baba. Kwa <laughs> Mombasa ni wazuri sana, hata nimeona hapa. Wana jifunikanga kila ma... Hata... Guwaza wa sifai kuitwa guwaza na fazi ito mazingira. <laughs> Juzi na zingira kila maali hadi. Ma, Wanaacha tuka dirisha kadogo hapa hivi. Unaambiwa, huu ni harima. Lakini ukiangali unaona, ha, peke yake. Hawezi <laughs> watafautisha. Sika ama tune susiri kui mtu na irobi. Kako, hata sitaki kusema. Unajua kitambo tulikuwa tunavaa tusika tufupi alafu kanatembea taoka kijaribu kukuvuta vuta siku hizi hawavuti chini wanavaa kadogo alafu wanavaa hairs zinawadanganya miguu imeingia ndani skati imeenda chini kidogo <laughs> wanatembea tao hivi ka top kamefika hapa hadi kakikuja hivi unaona tu short coming <laughs> unakaondokea tu utafanya nini sasa lakini wale bwana wanaivasha nyindo mwisho yani mlifanya diamond Chibudi chibude simba akavukia mwaka huku. Pande mwana ivasha da. Ukia nyama ya punde kisema sema. Kwa maana mmejibeba hivi. Yaani diamond na niko na swali. Mliahidi diamond nini akarudi Tanzania akakosana na Zari. Mkini sasa shida ya Zari ni moja. Harisikiaga no tor glitters is gold. Akaamua kuendea diamond. Sasa hii anamejua juu amebaki na platinum peke yake. 
Hakina juu yu sikuwa vanita ini watu wenge karibu watu kwa sidiyo? Mukio kopa, katunga wangu yu siku pia na yari kwa na kirele, karibu wani toke pia ye. Iso mama owa nataka maua, owa nataka nini, owa nataka kupelekwa. Ushenda kwa hati kutirita umrepo kwa 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 restaurant kubwa, kube ni set up. Unapewa hile menu, ujua tukipewa menu hapo, venye mwanaume anasomanga menu, na demu wake ni different. Wanawake wanasomanga menu vizuri. Wanaangalia chakura, alafu wanaenda kwa bay. Chakura, bay. Saa zingine chakura, naitisha, baila hata kujari bay. Wanaume, tunakuanga watiriki, tunazanga na bay. Chakura. Bay. Chakura. Bay. So unaona 800, 1500, 500. Unaangukia 50. Ukienda, majimoto. Asadari sana na ibasha. Happy birthday. Nesiki ukora birthday leo. Umege uka miyaka kapi? Ha? At the 16. 23. Wee, 32 ama 23. Eu quero mais água um pia trigo sana. Sirei Queen Frani. Ari Sirei que com a damano. A catuacia e moja. Tava dali, tava dali, cama um nam juam um na jiju a tava dali. E que a tu? Ra 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 ra. E a tua vez jua é right na left. Na itaji Supreme Court. Parai. Na itaji Supreme Court iku ambie ni gani ko constitutionary right. Uyo dem, akijima dem squeeze wala. Sasa hii ni nini sasa? Harafu ku, nye mukieda kwa madamano tafadhali, asheni vitu zinaeza tusaidia. Ojua si tunapitaka hapo mkimaliza, tukipiga sakas, tukitafuta mamari hapo. Saa tukeda tukapata hii moja, hii tatusaidia haji. Mwenye hii gine, tafari TV kwa hapi, ulete yoki ya tuigine hapa, hii gine inaimisi. Tufanyiwe biyashara, ama ni amla gani? Eso, vrasimi na bisono say, hi hills. The hills have it. Yani, mademu naeza haja ya tebea na hiki ya tu hivi, tau hivi. Na huu demu inaonekana zipi kwa huku kado ya likuwa side chick. Lakini hawa tunajua dawa zao. Hata wakirigia machokora tao siku inafikaga. Hii, time star wa inaagukaga. Unapataka demu tao kana temea kama gara sopa. Kana simamisha shokola, diva mzima, sasa nisaidia gamu. Sini uko ya riba Sirei Queen? Wa, mukienda kwa madamano, ashe ni kitu inasaidia, hii zige kuwa biri, nigepea murepo wapa ya deo mnazo. Tunapia sakas, ona vitu zigini tunawakota kwa akimu kitoka kwa madamano. Hii ni nini sasa? Uyu mtu walieta kununua hii dori Haka heda vizuri kwa duka, nipatia dori, haka pewa Haka uliza unataka ya mtoto, hapana Ni ya nini? Ya madamano Tuliokota hiki, kwa karia vizuri, pia nawe ilikuwe mepoteza kiatu Bati hiki tu, we unabati sana umeokoto na mtu wakakureta chachi risho Ugeokoto na wale watu wakudanzisha watu tao Na wajua, wale unamapataka hapa wanawanyanganya pesa hivi Dori ni ya musungu, lakini naibisho kanungo, kanungo, kanungo. Uzuri wa dori kama hii, unaeza ifanya kitu unataka. Sababu vreksabu, ukiishika kichwa, inakuwa baunza. Ukiishika hapa kwa mwogo, inageuka sponsor. Mrepo, shika sponsor. Nyi watu meora venye tau kumeten squeeze. Hadi hata KICC squeeze, haiko wa tension venye inakuwaka. Iko tu imeacho na tension, unaipatanga Monday sa ambiri, iko tu hivi. Inajaribu kwa karia kama anniversary, iko poa. Anniversary na ayo huko imekaza, imeagaria juu. Inafinia tu KICC macho hivi. 
haitaki kuwaona wakifika walai tena tension hadi afya center imekonda ndio <laughs> maana sikizi tumetoka afya center sasa tunaoshaka tv yetu archives nani amepita archives lakini sasa walitucheza tv haina sauti maandamano ndio inatusaidia juu tunaoraga picha kwa tv bila sauti sauti inatoka live and vasa Nuru za kuaminika zinatoka wapi? Anniversary. Sisi hatuwezi enda kwa maandamano tunayonaga yote hapo hivyo. Wakili mtu kama Pienzo hezi karibia maandamano. Unampataga hapo akiwachi hizo maandamano kwa TV amefunga macho hivi. Kimuuliza mbona amefunga macho anakwambia na wako patia gas. <laughs> maandamano ndio imezidi huku tao kabisa. Lakini nataka kuambia watu wanaandamana siri moja. Mbona wako hapo hivyo? Wanasema huru must go. Na wamesahau wako uhuru aiwe. <laughs> na wame block kabisa. Sasa uhuru atapitia wapi? Bwana <laughs> adamana hapo lakini hiyo maandamano kuna kitu ina rack moja tunakwara tunaona hizi vitu. Haina ile kitu inaitwa tua dadad jedaruri ni tao hivyo. Ile ya kama ni wanaume wawili mwanamke mmoja. Ndio maana unapata kwa maandamano ni wanaume tu, wanaume tu hakuna juu wanarushiwa tiagas. Inafaa ikuwe tiagasbiri zinarushwa shisha moja inarushwa <laughs> Tiagasbiri zinarushwa shisha moja inarushwa si ndio Azarekiweni sana Nairobi Chuo Haki ya Mungu sio ana kaa vizuri hapo Eh je bele je bele How many people uh before while you break up before valentines day come on okay sunu mkono wote ndio mmoja wapi wewe ndio am saying usunu mkono kuna tu kimsema hali ako na bibi lakini akisikia so yeah so if you know you, you will you break up before before valentines day so let me advise you men yeah when you're breaking up with your girlfriend fanya in a gentleman way yeah fanya kienda akona confidence atapata mtu mwingine hata labda na kesho yake ya can i get a lady just come my dear kuja kuja ametumiwa kama example sana kuja kuja na viatu yeah just mambo pale you know the way i'm black i eh ai the way the way america Let's just kiss and say Sudan. Gentlemen. Uko na ngoma ya mtu wa Central. Ana break up na bibi yake. Ana make sure ukienda you will never pick yourself up. Never. DJ. Ah, tupigeni makofi tafadhali. Please break up vizuri ya. Wewe when you let's let's say. Wewe when you keep how you break up like that? But I know the reason why people break up like that is cuz ladies wana robe squeeze wako na madharau. Wanaume kama unajua msema eh. Mstari wako na madharau. Ati simu yako ile ndinga anasema babe nani ambetu text? Nani ambetu text? Simu ni yangu. Nani ambetu text? Let me advise you ladies if you're dating a guy kutoka kwetu mali natoka. Usiwaambie Nani ameto text? My uncle bibi yake aliambia juzi asiye tim. Nani ameto text? Akaambia yeye ni yetu. Nikutumia wewe reply. Akaambia eh, nitumie. Akatumia pa, akaambia. He the landlord. Akaambia reply yeye. Usiwai jaribu hivyo home, ya? Home, home, home. I noticed something was zungu when they go to their families na me make pesa. Wazungus they plan for something called road trip na family. Kana kuja home ka kamuzee kana kuja nyumbani. Asema, guess what guys? Wana be what daddy? Now, oto zungu wa mekasirika. What? We are going to Disneyland. Okay, yay! On the road, we're going for road trip. We're going to enjoy. We're going to bond. Home. Muzee ukuja pia. Unasikia mtu ni nini mbaya muzee? Tunaenda road trip. 
unasikia mtoto atuna gari unasikia baba yake pull up pull up pull up rewind come back again ati atuna gari ndio maana nilileta viatu ni yago 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 unasikia baba yake acha nioge basi twende utoka ugirudi Ona kweti roti ni gari ni mbio. Unaambia tena roti wangu tunatapanda hiyo mlima ya Jabalungu. Tutaramuke kabsabet. Ndio roti uoge sawa. Yeah. The other day here I was doing a uh, uh, end your party of fly for foot and there's a story uh, a past uh, a pilot alisema is called captain captain Owero. True story. This guy was flying from Mombasa to Nairobi. Kufika katikati Light moja kufanya ting wakajua you light kienda off it's either you crashing there's no way mutafika there's a 50 50 chance mutafika and the best thing they have to do ni kushuka chini kidogo you i don't know that story you is you nafaa kushuka mimi akambia watu excuse me ladies and gentlemen uh, unajua announcement ya, ya ndege si kama ya basi watu wa kisi <laughs> They know they are about to crash but are composed. Excuse me ladies and gentlemen. Uh unfortunately uh we experienced some problems and uh we have experienced a problem that we might crash. Uh ladies and gentlemen, you have an opportunity to tell your families things that you should let them know before maybe this happens. Ukashuka chini this where ndege ikifika hata ukiwasha simu it's working. What waka text ule mtoto wa kwanza si wako nilikuja na yeye so many things and then pilot after 20 minutes aka announce oh so ladies and gentlemen is the bulb that lili katika we are landing in Nairobi safe kuna mzee alikuja mbele pilot agusha idege idege ndada shini akambe ni baya ndada shini juu huko shini kifo inanigojea wakimbiaji kutoka Moscow's Chumez pigieni wakimbiaji makofi they need us proud now unajua those guys yeah when athletics elisha they stayed for another one day ya kutua around and have fun hapo ndo shida ilitokea. Walaembua ah so Kenya team today we are going for sauna. Atamsema nini? <laughs> Now, one of them had to, to, to tell them what sauna means. Sauna mtu uingia ndani alafu una alafu unajua una nguo si ndio? Then unaanza ku sweat. Mukale alisikia kipketer. Ada sisi nda hiyo. Hiyo sisi hata hiyo ni kutumaliza. Unajua after that they are going to <laughs> They are going for Diamond League. Akasema haya nikutumaliza siasi ndio kabisa. Nitoke hapa ni sweat na hata sijakimbia bado si ndio. Now at night walienda clubbing in Moscow. Clubbing. Na walikuwa nataka wakuwe maceleb. Sema maceleb. So wakaenda na matrock suit eh na mamedol. Yeah. We are here. Na wamepatiwa millions so akasema this is the millionaires club. We are here. Kuna wale walienda na their girlfriends wakaanza ku dance eh unasikia hiyo wimbo ya mosco ngoja kidogo dj uko na national anthem ya kenya weka hiyo weka hiyo national anthem tu 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 eh ndio hiyo ikifika mahali pa na tu gai na uru chachilia amani na ruto chachilia hiyo ndio kunisha chachilia stupid Unapata mkale akitoka ushago akuje Nairobi amauza shamba, mahindi ama ngano. They spend in Nairobi vizuri. Unapata paka mkale akikuko Nairobi they must make sure mpata demu kutoka Nairobi. Now they don't like surprises. Unapata anasema ah yes how are you? You good? Tanzania nini? Unakunywa nini? Peo unachitaka? Kwani iko nini? Kumbe anaimba ngoma. Now in Africa Mali and I'll, the the, the chick and I'm oh, so actually where do you stay Kilaleshwa Kil You don't know Kilaleshwa and I'm there yeah no now problem ukuja Mali this chick anasema an impromptu meeting anasema hey babe niko Kilaleshwa uko wapi Akwaleshwa 
Uko shua kwa kileleshwa? Aya, panda chuu. Chuu kapsa. Unachua po mali na itua hali nkapu. Peremuka chini. Unachua kenyata? Panda namba 34 wabu. Panda 34, ambia wakushugishe paraks. Apo ndio nigo. Apo ndio nigo stupid. Uzikucha tupi lako niambia. Now, asuma, but babe, suli sema tu na ishikileshwa. Yes. Block A kileleshwa ya paraks. Kure kapisa. Now, when they go back to uh, rural homes that we shall go, watu ukachini anza kupikia watu story. Alafu wananza kuexplain vitu walikuwa na kula. Unasike, he, wacha sasa saa ya kukula. Toa murusi kando. Sama uh, chicken tiga. Uh, chips. Pizza. Na wajo kuna ushago, kuna wala mama wanaka. Wezi afford food flani. So they make sure wana compare greens na vitu za. Mama wana, ah, wea kuna kitu natuambia wewe. Hata mtu akikula sukuma kama ni likula sukuma wewe umekula chichi gentika si pizza nini hakuna difference hapo ndo anakuja na mbia wewe iko difference sukuma na pizza iko difference sukuma upage hapa pizza inaenda david the student i love you all stupid Hapa niko na maua mbili. Hii maua mbili nikienda kumaliza. Hii ni maisha yako. Hii ni maisha yako. Kila mtu wako na wakati kama huu. Uko sawa sawa. Uko na nguvu ya kijana. Kasa hii nimeenda nimeenda lu pale tukakutana na na yu, kijana wako na nini? Na guo za bedroom ya wasichana. Hii kara anaitwa Siripi. Sasa <laughs> Ndiyo ni kuja hapa Na kuta siripe amejisika hivi kiuno Anagogesha mkojo tairo ya saba Nika muagaria hivi Nika jua Hidi o maisha yake Ako hapa Kwa sababu sasa Kila mtu katika hii maisha Ako na this period this is the best time. And let me talk to somebody here. Use this time properly. Use this season properly. Wasichana mulio hapa, muko hapa. Hips ziko sawa. Oh, kila kitu iko sawa. Hata haufai bla. Hips ziko sawa. Hey, hey, hey. This is your time. Ukita kujua vile utakuwa, kibia oshago uagalia nyanya yako. Where you end up? Nakira, he wakati hairudi. Waja ni kuabie. Every day, ukiona sa ikisonga, unafanya gua hivi na maisha. Maisha diyo ina kufanya gua hivi. Unajua kuna kuna matatu zingine zinaito manyanga. Sijui manyanga, sijui what? Eh, zina ziko na screens ndani. Iyo hata nganya, nganya. Iyo hata koda haitani. Anatoka gua tu hivi na mugo kaya ke. Ako saidi hivi. Unaona wazee wanajipigilia ndani. Juu hiyo ni nganya. Wacha ipige miaka 2 ichape. Ikichapa unakutaka mpaka dereva. Mama unaenda. Bado iko daktari wewe unaenda. Kwa sababu imechapa. Wasichana mlio hapa tafadhali. Time is coming. Time is coming. Take advantage of this time. Time is coming, siyo kupeda kuwako. Ubaya ni hii kamuti ya saa. Iyo diyo iwa enemy. Kaka si mami. Utaeda utakuwa hivi. Na ukikuwa hivi, kama huja save, especially men who are here. If you become like this when you have got nothing, nothing in your pocket, utakuwa kicheko, kwa kila mtu katika kijiji kwenu unaona hawa watu ni wale kukaa unaonao kukaa ako na kakibuyu kana mwaga maji na kame kamefunikwa na sabuni hivi ako kado ya, ya msitu anaenda akiokota kuni anaenda hivi watoto wanamuona wanasema jeli tutoroke tusikuliwe <laughs> sabi vile huyu kukaa amekaa ni kama kukula watoto <laughs> alafu another kukaa of his age 
anapita hapo na kapika up kako na muramba moja na kunimbiri zinaruka ruka hivi na meka eka hivi unaotikia watoto wote guka wa gari guka and they are they are the same age na umekuja chatil na unasema hutokagi na kitu isipokuwa kucheka let me talk to you take advantage of this moment because this moment is on the way and hapa hakuna hakuna ati umeobewa mimi hakuna mtu nimeambia aokoke mimi hakuna hata mtu nimeambia kuja kanisa kwa gui by the way imeja hakuna mtu ati reality of life this is reality of life watoto wako wanakutaka ukiwa hivi hapa ndio wanakuhitaji ndio uambie jeri staki mtebe na huyo kijana kwa sababu kwao sipendi hawa watu i don't want it wanatakia hapa sio hapa hapa utamwambiaje ha, no hapa na wazee mlio hapa if you are 40s na huna mke you don't <laughs> your 40s wewe msichana hujaolewa na huna mtoto please think yes. kwa sababu mahali unaelekea ni hapa wacha nikuambie ukiwa hapa hebu 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 ndio nimalize <coughs> mtoe sadaka sasa ah sorry 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 ni ni kukosea na no, no. nikiona watu wengi naonaga hiyo <laughs> sorry forgive my manners Ebu chukua karamu yako na kichwa na kakileta mtu wa miaka fote akipata miba atazaa akiwa na miezi na miaka gapi foto one atalea mtoto dio ede na asali mtoto anaendaka na asali miaka gapi kwa hivyo tatu ogesa foto one anakaa na asali miaka gapi miaka tatu ogesa pale 47 akaa primary miaka gapi ogesa pale anaenda secondary miaka gapi? Ongeza pale. Yeah? Ai ai ai. Yeah? 59. 59. 59. Anakaa mwaka moja nje. Ongeza pale. Anaenda university miaka 4. Na ni first born. Utapeleka <laughs> college mtoto ukiwa hii nasikia mtoto anaulizwa na wale kine bwana madha wako hakujagi unaletwa na nyanya yako Praise the Lord Amen. Salimia mwenzako na kama hakusalimii chunga simu yako Amen my name is Paul Kuria I'm a man Kush Kanisani ndio wananipea hizo title zingine sijui bishop doctor pastor lakini hapa si kanisani <coughs> Hapa ni kani. Najua ni wewe. Hapa tuko kani. Kwa hivyo mtu asinletee mambo ya Sasa niko job. Because at least at the end of the day I need something. Because money is a reward after solving somebody's problem. If you want money from your husband, solve his problems. If you want to get money from your wife because nowadays they have better money than us you better solve her and they have many <laughs> but we thank god alitupatia something we we are lacking in our lives is communication communication there is communication breakdown in every corner juzi jamaa amepanda matatu hapa uh, anaenda kidhurai na mama akapanda matatu kwa sababu ilikuwa yathika anaenda thika lakini mama ako na katoto, anaambia katoto nyonya ama nipatie anko. Sasa huyu jamaa na ujinga anachukua kama ni ya ukweli. Badara asukie gedhurai anapitishwa kwa sababu katoto hakanyonyi. <laughs> Wakiwa pale wete hivi. <laughs> Ndio anaambia mama we amua ni mimi ama ni mtoto 
communication breakdown. Communication breakdown is very bad. So, so, uko hapa labda umeoa ama hujaolewa. You better have good communication before you get old because everybody is getting old very soon. Very soon. Na usiogopa ke watu. No, 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 no. If only you have money, you will have friends. Utaitiwa na harabe hata watu hawakujui. You know, na itafuta sana mimi. Wacha hivyo mnasemaga ati pasta, ati pasta wanapeda pesa. Kwani tunakuwaga na njini kanizani masama gapi? Sini masama wiri. Kama unafanyaga esabu, one week ni ya siku gapi? Sini saba. One day ni ya masama gapi? 24. 24 times 7 is 100 and... Some, something like that. 160-80. Na mimi huko kanisani masama wiri. 166 si ulikuwa unatafuta pesa. Hii mawiri bona inakuuma. Ina ilo communication. Ina. Nilikuwa naenda njoko kwa shoso yangu. Na mpatia atao. Ananiambia baoro. Oh, ananegiri. Nita kuibia wipo ya kizuku. Na hajawai yeda shule. Na muliza sosho utaiba gani? Anania bia geteru alikuwa natufudisa. Kuna mzugu alikuwa huko kabete anaitu wa geteru. Kwa sababu alikuwa na defu. Unawajua wakikuyo anakuwaga hivyo. Ukimuabia move straight anasema mabuteti. Ukimuabia truthi anasema truugi. You know we always have... Sasa sosu ananiabia, umenipea kitu, nita kuibia wito, na ananiambia, Hoho seria, waido na waja, samuza nini oka, na itaido. Na mulisa sosu yu ni kusemaje, juzi diyo nilimekuja kujua. Ni, oh sina, why don't you answer, somebody knocking at the door. But you see, Zungu, hata kama sosho wa ziki, there was that communication. Unajua vile unayetebea kwa nyumba, you are communicating something to your husband. Vile unamuangalia, you are communicating. My mother was looking as like this. Unajiko jolea, na haja kushiku. Hata kwa bed. Communication. Sio wakati wewe mzee unaedesha baiskeli, unasikia na huku nyuma. Unauliza ni nini? Anakuabia ugeumu wanaubu. Kuna wakaka! Jesus! Inaonyasha huko peke yako. You are on. Ama umesogesha by scary. Wakati huko karibu kupadisha mulima kabisa. Unaabiwa, unajua maoboresi ya mama joroge. Watu walikuwa weki. Show your love for the amazingly talented MCL Trekker. Let's go. Uwe. Misa ina karambo. Si mtu usema natokea na huko. Sasa niko hapa hivi nikikungoja. Sasa unataka suti yangu ichavuliwe na hiyo moshi. We ni nini wewe? Sawa, sikuwa na juu umevaa suti. Sikuwa nime notice. Hey, wow, lazima. uko na suti. Eh hey, lazima ufeel hiyo kitu. Kuja hapa sasa ni wa ni wa tujue sasa nani ndio nani. Eh. Hey. Watu wa Kisumu. Yokia mzako mwambie triki sana. Ni nini ni tofauti yangu na anko? Ni nini? Ati? Ha? Nywele. Ati nywe? Nywele unaambiwa unue kichana. Kichana ya kufanya nini? Hii nywele yangu nime nime nimegawanyisha into departments. Akili ni nywele. Yako iko aje wewe. Oda huyu mtu. Wewe ni suti gani yenye vifugo zinaenda hivi? Sununue suti yenye vifugo ziko hivi. Hii ni style mpya. Style gani? Designer. Isa hizo gani hiyo design? Sijui inaitwaje lakini ali design hivi. Sasa hebu fungua tuone. Lazima anifungue. Awe fungua. Lazima anifungue. Hii unafungua kama dirisha. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, MC Tricky. 
Wacha wacha nikungoje hapa nje. Ah nikoje hapo na kizumu mkwaje. Hivyo ndio kazi uisha. Kazi gani? Awogopi? Ona huyu. Awogopi? Sasa kama mtu ananivuta simuoni naenda wapi? Unajua nilifika huku nikapata utidi machukura wa Kisumu wameomoka wanavaa suti. Wananiambia titriki wao pia wewe tunafaa kukutafutia suti. Simu ilipigwa hapo hata mimi nilikaa kado tu. Unajua utidi alichukua simu akapiga hello. Omos. Nakumbuka ile mazishi tulienda ya 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 ya, 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 ya otis. Unakumbuka measurement zake? Eh. Sasa hapa tuko na mwingine. Sasa mimi nikaanza kushindwa. Tegereza igini kitu utachia jitu ni praya ya zip. Tika letwa, suti kubwa. Hii nitapeleka wapi? Hii kitu nitatumia nayo tu ni kutafuta pesa nayo kama hivyo. Mtu akiniangalia vibaya, hiyo inakuwa suitcase. Tunaenda kotini. Tunaenda kotini, tunaenda tunamaliziana huko kabisa. Lakini nataka leo kuwafunza kitu. Mimi nikinunua suti kama hii, kitu nitafanya nayo. Nitavaa suti ya koti na troza zote ziende zikizeeka pamoja. Kuna watu wakinunua suti wanavaa troza sana kuliko koti. Ukweli uongo? Mpaka su hii ina ina ina, 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 ina kuliko nini? Kuliko koti. Unapata mtu amevaa suti. Dio ni suti lakini kuanzia chini kuanzia juu hapa hivi juu ni Obama. Chini before wa kori. <laughs> Unashindwa huu ni nani? Hadi ukienda kununua kitu kwa duka, ukiigiza mkono kwa nyuma hivi, hapa koti ni mpya, troza ni mzee. Mtu anaweza nani unaibiwa? <laughs> Oshe ni wavuze kuvaa koti iishe na troza pamoja kama inaisha. Kitu ya kwanza, ukiosha troza, osha koti. Tuko pamoja? Ukienda kuanika troza mahali, fua pia koti, anika hapo. Tuko pamoja? Ndio zichomwe na jua pamoja. Ukianua troza saa 12, anua koti pia, peleka kwa nyumba. Kesho yake ukivaa troza, vaa hiyo koti ya suti yake. Tuko pamoja? Ukafika kazini, saa saba inafika, saa 8 unaanza kupigwa na joto. Ukianza kupigwa na joto, ukitoa koti, wekelea kwa kiti, toa troza pia. Kabisa, unatoa troza pia, unaekelea kwa wapi? Unaekelea kwa kiti pia. Ndio zizeke wapi? Zizeke pamoja. Hii suti ni venye naitoa tu imenizeesha pia mimi. Nakaaje hivyo kama nimevaa tent. <laughs> Wewe mtu aniletee koti yangu. Kumbe ulikuwa stand by hapo. Kuja hapa. Eh kabisa. Ando watu wanajua kuja. Kuja hapa. Wewe amehepa. Kabisa haya lazima hepe mimi ni MCA. Hao ndio wanajua wanga kutumia mama mama ma, ma, suti. Unaona kama mabauza wamevaa tu tu koti tumewafinya. Wamefura hivi alafu wanasimamanga hivi. Usiona? Wamefura hivi atu wamevaa tu nguo tight adidio wapeane tight security. <laughs> Akapi? Kuja hapa. Ni nini mimi nakwanga mmekelea hapa hivi? Kuja tu hapa brother. Kuja eh. Mbona mna 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 tuchochaga hivi? Hebu kaa hivi. Wajua watu wanakuanga wamekazia hewa hapa mpaka ukimfinya hapa sijui itatorokea wapi <laughs> Unapataka bouncer amekaa hivi amefura alafu hawaangaliangi kando wanaangalianga huku juu Ushijiuliza mbona wanaangalianga juu wameunga sana hadi wanajiogopa <laughs> Wako tu hivi kidogo kidogo anashtuka anajiogopa <laughs> Mabouza lakini muko tu sawa Unajua wewe bouncer toka hapa ndio zani kusegenye vizuri wanafura na wanaka ofisi wakini mabozo hapa kisumu nime notice wako na kadifrezi kidogo wako hivi wao awagari juu wamesimama hivi do ni kauliza otidi bona wanasimama hivi ni kagudua kube wanakuwaga wameunga mkono moja ile ya kurusha mawe hii <laughs> mkono ikafungwa hii gini inageuka ya makanga lakini <laughs> mabauzani watu poa sana usheneni na wao kabisa usheni niongelea watu wengine mabauzani watu warara mlikuwa hapo ukiongelea mabauza sasa 
Rafira japa hivi. Unajua watu wanajifunika hivi hadi akienda hivi unaweza dhani anakuja hivi. Lakini mko tu sawa, mko mko sawa. Lakini amukai wa huku. Mnaoaga na apik. Unajua watu huku na wajua wao na chachi ili wanakuaga hivi. Follow in, follow in, follow in hivi. Ni kama katunge wangu. Katunga wangu nampenda akiwa hivyo. Unajua ni rahisi sana kuruka demu mweusi. Mbele ya watu hata kama umemtia nini na watu wamekuja hapo unaweza muruka tu rahisi. Watu wanateta oh, oh. unaangalia hivi unawaambia huyu hata sijai muona. <laughs> katuge wangu ni mweusi lakini shida ya Katuge ni ni kazi anafanyaga huko. Ameajiriwa na mama Odis kuwasha washa majiko huko. Ma, ma, ma moshi zinamshika huko ma moshi zinamshika hadi ameanza kuwa mweusi. Kuna siku moja amekuwa kiwasha jiko kidogo kidogo hapo tisa akatokea tunawashaga jiko na news na man newspaper mzee akiwasha newspaper hivi otisi kidogo akatokea kaizima haraka mimi nikashaka bona ameizima haraka kwenda kuangalia hivi acha ilikuwa na picha ya baba baba amechomeka hapa hivi zaidi moja otisi akaanza kuzua hapo acha sasa umechoma baba sijui nini oh twende hospitali tukamuone Otisi makuwa hai guru ni mbaya. Wanatoka hivi tunaona baba kwa hospitali. Tunapita tunaona baba kwa TV. Anafanya fanya hivi. Tukajua oh, kumbe baba hajachomeka ni moshi tu imeingia kwa macho. Yo kia mzao mwambie triki sana. Senator yenda wapi? Unajua watu wamesoma sana. Ameenda hapi senator na governor? Eh, nilisikia wao hapa akiwaambia sijui nini kigereza nyingi una unachapa kigereza nyingi profesa uko poa ni nini tofauti ya kurusha na kutupa <laughs> Wacha uone ni nini tofauti <laughs> Eh hey, iko wapi microphone hapo Eh hey, nimengoja sawa Tu jamaa anajifanya profesa hapa. Leo utajua mimi ni VC. Verified chokora. <laughs> Kutupa. Unaona acha saa una ni profesa? <laughs> mhm. <laughs> Ama profesa, amepata zidio? Wapi? Hii ningekuagusha, ungeagusha na chokora leo. Hapo unafanya mtiani. Unajua ma professor wana 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 wanakuwa wana wamesoma sana hadi vitu dogodogo zinaanza kuwachanganya. Usipatana na mtu kama professor hapa anasoma gazeti hivi. Anapaka mate hiki dore na anafungua na nyingine. ni saa ngapi anainua mkono hivi na anaiangalia hapa lakini ndio maana nawaambia nimeambiwa na uncle niwaambie Moi University wale wako Eldoret wako na Intech hii mwezi wa nane. kama uko hapa na una degree usifuate ile wimbo ya mbinguni hakuna degree siku tutafika hapo ndo utajua <laughs> tuko pamoja muende Moi University muende msome muende mko muive kabisa asadeni sana kisumu Vandu wa Manchester mlio. Tuanze hasa. Nataka ngeukia mwenzako mwambie heshimu waluya. Heshimu I will tell you why. Wanasemanga ati waluya wanakula sana. Waluya wanakula kila kitu. It's true. Sisi kama waluya tunakula sana. Tunaitikia tunakula sana. In fact tunakula kila kitu isipokuwa chuma na glass. <laughs> na ile siku mtachukua hiyo chuma na glass, mukarange vizuri, muweke supu. Why not try? Why not? <laughs> Sauliza so, mwenzako, why not? <laughs> Unajua tumehesabiwa sensa simeisha. Unajua watu wamefurahi kuhesabiwa, but kama kuna watu wamefurahi zaidi ni waluya. Na mlio ajwangi kuficha furaha. Sasa shida ni vile anakuja kuambia. Bro, fikita 
Bana acha nikwambie kitu moja mimi nimefurahi sana. Bana watu wa census wamenifurahisha sana. Walikucha kwangu mapema, wakani sense kitu 6. Six. six walikuwa sha ni sense. Sikso walikuwa shani sense mimi bibi yangu wote washani sense na kitu msuri na hao watu wamevaa ma reflector unawaona tunajua hawa ni wasenzi 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 na nimechua hiki kitu hiyo sense iko na pesa bwana Unajua Alphonse alikuwa msenzi last time this time amekuwa msenzi mpaka nikuwa msenzi mimi mpaka nikuwa msenzi na mimi na feel wangetaka to participate kwa hii census wangeamua government ingesema ukishahesabiwa unapatiwa ka gift according to the size of your family. Unaona wakienda central unasikia amko ah, ngapi? Tuko watatu. Unasikia ah, unachipatiwa kaunga na kasukari. Hata shida ingekuja cause resources zote zingeishia western. <laughs> Wanakuja amko ah, ngapi hapa? Hapa tuko 15. Fifteen, eh, fifteen kwa nyumba wote wana. Fifteen zimuko wengi. Fifteen, what, apana? Pamoja na watoto tuko thirty-two. Oh my God! But najua, mina semanga, Luyas, we are unique. That's why napatanga, ukienda various places, different regions. Kuna emergency zao. Ukienda coast Mombasa unapata mtu amedown kwa ocean hiyo ni emergency anapelekwa OC anaseviwa Ukienda Nairobi mtu anagongwa na gari anapelekwa OC emergency anaseviwa Waluya tuko na emergency yetu Mtu akwe mgonjwa tonsils Unajua akuli Sasa <laughs> mpaka anapelekwa kwa hospitali unapata daktari yako hapo Huyu amegongwa na pikipiki ampeleke mpeleke mpeleke unasikia ah daktari una Huyu ni mgonjwa wapi? Tonsis, eh Tonsis badilisha badilisha huyu. Huyu akuli bwana, akuli badilisha badilisha. <laughs> Talking about doctors, unajua ukitaka mtoto wako kwa daktari, mind the name unampatia. Research. Sikuizi jina inakuvuta kwa karia. Unajua kuna jina kama Tobias, Tobias hawezi kuwa daktari. Umaisikia Dr. Tobias, acha welcome Dr. Tobias wapi? Tobias. To- <laughs> Tobias inakaa jina ya bouncer. Tobias. Mimi ni Tobias wa club 254. Unaona vile inakaa? Ati oh, unapatia mtoto jina Theophilus. Theophilus akwe daktari. Theophilus straight reverend. Ari unataka unataka wekesa akwe reverend. Aje. Wekesa akwe reverend aje. Siku ya fasting atafanya nini? Anyway, tutaka tuongelewa Luya sana. Wacha niwaambie kitu moja. Hizi majina mazee, majina za waluya unajua lazima uzijue. Hizi Wilberforce, Efandas. Didmas. Didmas. Tutaenda Didmas. Sina shida Didmas. <laughs> Lakini Didmas, Didmas. Ukiwa mtoto, wenzako tu wako hapo Robert, mnaitwa Mike, mnaitwa Didmas. <laughs> anyway, ujua. But what before I go, before I go. Kuna nasema ati waluya wao tunaongea sijui funny tuna, tuna kuna ka accent ni ukweli iko na ni tamu like our, our teacher was teacher alikuwa ndo madam rosa alikuwa na ka accent so ata mmekaa preps mtu aklick akipita na kuja excuse me boys who did that who did that did you do that no did you do that Shida hiki shida ya kuwa na accent si hadi utamcheka unaweza misunderstand Kuna time alikuwa anakuja na misunderstand alikuja siku nyingine 
boys, 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 I'm getting complaints all over the staff room. You boys are not betting. Why are you not betting? <laughs> Why are you not betting? How are you? Yeah. Hilton, is Vine Stangen? Is Vine Stangen? Guten Nacht. Amujui Kijerumani. Okay, Geukia Munzako Msalimi Abari Chokorang. You know, kuna vitu ndakana tujue in 2020 to learn how to differentiate things. Kuna kitu neto apartment na kuna kitu neto plot. Apartment ni ile building unaingia unapata warnings. Drive at 20 kilometers per hour, children playing. In case of an emergency, run to the assembly po point. Plot ya zinanga warnings na na onyo. <laughs> Kwanza na kujanga kwa gate. Unapata moja hapi mandikuwa na bairo kwa katrasi ya F.O. Ikipitisha saa nene rudi mali umetoka. Unafungua gate, ukiingia kuna ingine. Funga gate pole pole, wengine wetu tukona watoto. Ploti, apartment. Apartment communication haikuwangi. It's very rare for people to communicate. If they, if they communicate, it's something crucial. Unasikia mtu anakuja, anakupigia mbaka simu. Hello, Mr. Marcus. I wanted you to talk to your daughter so that he can move her car so that my son can take his car. We are going to Dubai for a vacation. Crucial. Very interesting. Ploti. Ploti kwanza wata naongelesha nata bila kujua. Uko kwa kumtu wana kuongelesha. Fourth floor. We, we. Nani uya mewasha pasi bana. Suzime to watch news. Yo ni ploti. Apartment. Apartment ata kesi zao zina kuanga kesi za maana. Mdo anakuja na kuambia, uh, guys, 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 the watchman has been there for six years. We have not raised his salary. Something should be done. Hiyo ni kesi ya maana, ploti. Ploti kesi ni za upuzi. Mdo anakunokia asubui six. Odi. Odi. Ernest. Wendo metumia tasta yangu. <laughs> Wewe ndo metumia tasta yangu. What do you mean na huko unajua? Ukonayo bado? What do you mean ukonayo? Sindoi tasta yangu. Umepanguzia shati yangu ya kazi. Yani, aungi angalia hapa kwa kona imeandi kwa securiko. Asa mina nani kazi, nitafutia shati ya black. Hauna? Please, tuzako sana bambaya sana hapa. Kesi za ploti. Na njua, pata vitu zinengyangu kwa apartment ni vitu za maana. Ukiwa kwa apartment, ukaye tu pizza. Zinengi, mapilau. Ploti vitu zinengi ya masambusa. You know, there's a, there's a very big difference between sambusa na samosa. Samosa, samosa inakunga na one variety. Inakujanga ni anyama. Sambusa. Sambusa ni nyingi. <laughs> Kuna kuanga na ya mchele, ya ndengu, ya kunde, ya, ya viazi, ya? <laughs> Wewe, unajua mbaka ya cabbage, na huko VIP. <laughs> like, for... In 2020, you should learn to differentiate things. Kuna hiki tuingina watu anasahau kudifferentiate. Pranks na naswa. Pranks, ni zina, zina happen maju. There are three parties involved. Unapata kuna the pranky. The pranky is the one being pranked. The pranku. The pranku. <laughs> the pranku is the one mwenye na prank. The prankies. The prankies are the one watching. Sasa, in the end, both parties are happy. Yoni prank. Kenya tunanga pranks. Nangwa na naswa. Naswa, in the end, wewe we, mwenye me kupranka, mefurai, wendo umejaibisha, kwa sababu umesema, umesema shida zako zote kwa TV. Nona kujia tu. Out of nowhere, town. Wewe umeenda kutafuta interview. Mze, wendo natongoza bibi za watu. <laughs> Samahani, haki, kusemo kweli, haiku wako, haiku, siku penda kwangu. Mimi niliongea na Ross, nikijua, ananitaka pia. Kumbi hako ananitaka. Lakini mtu nimetongoza, ni sinzia. Lakini ata sinzia mwenye wako ananitaka. In the, anyway, I'm an old saver, that was my time. Geokeo mwazako mwambia tiriki sana. Geokeo mwingine mwambia tiriki zaidi. Walai. Wah. Yellow edition, chachiri mwenye waka tucheza, hamevaa hitigo. <laughs> Alijua tu, maki matatu za shule zinafafanana njini. Mwri juuliza pona matiangi ya rieda akakaa, akasema, nataka basi zipentiwe yero. 
na si blue ama green hapo to niliare wenyewe education is cumbersome hiyo ni ukweli mukoreni kabisa ya mademu wa Nairobi ni watriki sana enda saa hii tao uende upate demo muulize ukependa ku date mwanaume wa gani usikie vitu watasema okay mimi nataka chali mrefu na si mrefu sana dark na si dark sana okay si lazima six pack la bora kwa na mandevu in short nataka recross <laughs> msikie recross anakuja usichezee mademu mademu analipa 10000 kwenda kuona kitambi na stove ni 150 bob pale river road Mwana na lakini wanafaa wajue wana recross sasa hii alitoa kitambi aliambiwa asijaribu kufika huku na kitambi yake aiache huko jua anaweza tuunda huko airport na kitambi nyinyi mnadhani ni recross na kitambi kumbe ni miguna miguna amefichwa hapo ndani analeta <laughs> akaambiwa waache kabisa mnaona venye anafanana umetoa hiyo sasa hii kitambi iko madevu ndio imebaki sasa hii recross na joho difference ni kizungu Sita unaona tofauti ni kizungu ona kwa tumbo yake inakaa dictionary do you cross kabisa hapo lakini kama kuna watu wananibamba na imvua ni madem madem za unabeba pea ngapi za viatu sasa ati moja ya kutoka kwa nyumba kufika mpaka mat mahali iko ingine ya kuvaa kwa mat ndani mpaka ushuke ufike tao Ingine ya kutoka tao mpaka kwa ofisi. Alafu ingine ya ofisi ndani. Hizo ni pea ngapi? You are impaired. Kadem. Pia tu nyingi. Ushaiona wanaume sisi tunataka ati matope. Kadem akawa kupangi matope juu kana joka kuna viatu. Ukaona venye tunashuka tao saa hii kwa mat. Kanashuka hivi na matope nyingi. Kama saa kashafika tao mikono iko hivi juu mahali kama toka maji imekuwa huku. Kako hivi tutao. Ma, matope imefika kwa magoti kana kama matchstick yake meripi. Yaani hey. Madem lakini nyinyi mnakuwa kwa noma. Eli unajua mwenda wazimu tao chizi. Sasa hivi venye mvua inaendelea. Anaweza kaa hapo mahali kado tu mahali anakaaga hivi. Yeye na wazimu yake anaona mnapita na matope, matope, mnapita na matope hadi wa dawazimu yake inamwambia kwani kati yangu na hawa who got mad Luka ana shindwa kati yangu na hawa watu lakini eli matope nani amevushwa maji sai watu wanavushwa maji pale kikomba maji nyingi unaenda unapata inavuka na unalipia si bure akumbuka si moja tuliitwa tuende mtu pale bere istiria hapo hivyo kunaitwa aji hey chaka mkeni tukaingia kwa gari haraka ha kwa mat kwanza watu wenyewe walikuwa kwa mato wakashtuka. Kashaka ni akina nani wameingia hapa? Wakaanza kuficha ficha simu huku kwa mifuko hivi. Ficha Pienzo akasimama akawaambia cheni kuficha simu. Toeni simu nje ya vio, juu wenye wanaibaga huko wameingia hapa ndani. Bora uficha ndani na wenye Tukaingia kwa mato tukafika venue. Mali tunafaenda kufanya kazi ya kuvusha. Kufika hapo Muteja mwenye tumeitiwa tuvushe kumbe ni mulevi. Ako maji amezingirwa na maji. Ati amekaa hapo ameshika mkwaju, pombe imemdanganya ati ni Moses wa Biblia. Anaweza chapa maji itawanyike apite. Kamwambia acha utoto wewe, uwezi kata maji na ushakata already. Tukaenda hapo lakini huyo mulevi. Usaidia mtu, tukaenda tukamuuliza wewe utatulipa? Mulevi ni nani? Atuambie nda walipa jina mnataka. Uko na ngapi? Kwambie niko na 10k. Kachua bas, hata hiyo 10k dakika haikutuisha. Teke teke tukamwekele huko hii side nyingine. Walalala, kufika hapo. Tunamwambia ya basi yekelea malipo hapa. Kaingia kwa mfuko akatoa simu. Tukajua bas, hapa tunatumiwa na simu. Kutoa simu, kumbe mrevi anatuonyesha akaona 10k followers Instagram. Ana hata shilingi hivi. Hizo tuliachana na hiyo ya ati oh, kuvusha fusha hapa ati kidogo kwanza akina Pionzo sasa hivi wameongeza chio sikwizi wananiambia ati oh, wanataka sasa waanze kuitoa MCA mimi nitafute jina nyingine ni mnataka nijiite nani ati 
Nitoke MCA nende? Ati debit? Ndo ni kule Mariauma alafu ni kule Uma yenyewe. Yeah. Yoke mwanza kama mbie tiriki sana. Tiriki sana. Anko. Bona uri amwa kufanya hivi? Anche. Tent moja hapa. Yeah. Ingine huko? Yeah. Mwaji unafanya wale wakaya mpango wakando? Haa ah, waki watch show, wale wana watch time Lakini karibuni sana, mna nisikia huko? Ya ukia mazama wambia tiriki zaidi? Hata ungechukua hii tent, weke pare nyuma, hii kae train By the way <laughs> Badala ya show tufanya training eh, oh. Shida ni wale waka huko nyuma wangekua na manga Kino mefanya pukua sana. Wapijipigia ni makofi. MCA Tricky Show Love. Wala, wala, wala. Yeah. Yukweli. Hawa tuwa kwa wapa kando wana nikumbusha wale madere kierere wa Mombasa Road. Wenya wakanyagagi Mombasa Road kutoka tao. Muna wajua? Kazi yao ni kuwa varapu tu. Hapa kando kuwa varapu tu. Kuwa varapu. Siku ingini tumetoka tao na mmoja kutoka huko mbari. Hako tuwa hapa kando ya barabara. Kando ya barabara. Kido kidogo. Tukajipata pare kwa check in ya airport. Na tulikuwa tunaenda kitengera. Tukua, ushinani ya shaiji pata kuyo situation ya hiyo check-in Hamepoterea hapo Na matatu yetu Tunabidi tushuke Gari ya gaririwe kama hiko na mabom Tunatembea hapo watu kuwa prepared Watu serious Wanatuangaria unashanga hawa ni wenda wazimu wa wapi Unatembea Mutu wamevaa siripas ya umoja Na anaenda Amerika Tukua hapo watu kwa tumebeba tu shopping tu etu Tusukuma sujitu nini jurikuwa unaenda kitengera Zikaanza kuangaliri wa bomu Ushe tafutu wa bomu kwa kitu wa hii Kaya hiko related na bomu Sukuma inaingizo kwa kare kama shin Sukuma Ti Chumvi Ti Maragwe Ti ri 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 Hapo ndo nikajua kume maragwe na bomu Ziko hivi Maragwe neza kuripua tumbo Wakie watu wakielele mwashe kabisa Wah Lakini mkofiti kabisa Huku ni mesikia ni Mashakos County Mesikia Nairobi County kitu inaendelea Kitu inambahati huko peke yake sahi ni mbwa Mbwa za Nairobi zimetengewa 100 million Ya kuatoa Ya kutoa hizo mbwa tao Zile nasikia zinazitua stray dogs Mbwa na 100 million kwa sentensi moja Mbwa teneziko Nairobi Ni mbwa elfutano Ebu tu pige sabu anko, saidie 100 million divided by 5,000 Nigapi? Kuzishino na sabu ya mbwa Sishindo ya pa Wakira mbwa inapata pesa ngapi? 20,000 Gapi? 20,000 Ebu jiulize wewe sayu kona pesa ngapi? Wewe na mbwa jieke kwa kilo Wewe na mbwa ukona pesa ngapi? Ebu ke ukia mwenzako, kama anakaa pesa muambia mbwa wewe Mbwa ya Nairobi, sahi, ikona 20,000 Adi mbwa sahi, ni kama zimesikia yu story Badale ya kutoroka town, sasa sahi ndiyo ziko town vizuri Juhu zinajua, zikona 20,000 Mpaka sahi unapatana na mbwa tao Badale tu ikimbie, ikimbie na dog style yake Unapatana na mbwa ina cut walk, na ni mbwa Yani tani tofauti ya mbwa saa ina Land Road, ni kifuri Azaleri sana tuwa kibao Look at your neighbor and tell him all how you are heaven material Amen Praise the Lord Amen Mwenye ya likudanganya utaenda mari ingini ya likudanganya Wacha hivyo hawa kina MC wana shida hapo wakisema sijui wa ubiri, sijui wa nakura kodo, muna taka tukule nyasi? No, I'm asking. No, kodo, tunapeleka kodo kwa nyasi. Na sisi kodo ikinona. Kwa sababu kodo ikiniona ni kikura nyasi. Simi, itafikiria mimi ni kodo mwezake. Sasa zitarishwa na nani. Let me tell you something. Siku hizi mambo imeharibika sana. Juu wat, watoto ambao tunapeleka shule unashindwa ni mtoto ama ni mama ama ndiye anatawara ama anafanya nini? Kwa sababu mama anafikiria every child in the school must be an A material. Surely. 
Sasa Mr. Jega alikuwa akinipiga ati nimeshidwa kuandika jina. <laughs> Mti ni ya green. Inakuraga na hii green. Hiyo green si chlorophyll. Ati nimeshidwa kuandika chlorophyll na Mr. Jega akanipiga. Hebu niambieni kasi ninayofanya saa hii na chlorophyll. Chuli. <laughs> My, my last born is now 20 20 i think 25 years old and and they work hajawahi kukua ati namba moja per day ile anakuwa na namba moja per day na mimi siwezi kumchapa kwa sababu juzi aliaguka hesabu kama bia umeaguka hii kwa sababu mimi najua kuaguka ni x kupata ni right akaniambia dadi nimeaguka ni sawa nionyeshe vile inafanywa nikamwambia hata kwa mama yako huko anakuita sasa nilikuwa naambia mtoto wangu hata kama ako ras namwambia daddy try next time at least kuwe na mtu nyuma ya <laughs> lakini wewe sikupiga mtoto ati umekuwa ras umekuwa ras umekuwa anaharasiwa shule anaharasiwa barabarani na wewe unamharas kwa nyumba please let's give our children heaven in our houses <laughs> ni heaven yao ni heaven yao somebody say amen, amen. is there heaven Mama yangu alikuwa mama ukimwambia kitu ana understand na uku, mama ni mkubwa na mimi ni mdogo. Sasa kuna katoto kalikuwa anaitwa Joki, kalikuwa kamekatika hapa alafu kakashonwa. Sasa kalikuwa kana kana stama kidogo. Sasa Joki tulikuwa tunaenda mtoni tunafanya kawama. Kuna mtu ajui kawama. <laughs> na ila sasa mnaona muna understand kiujiga. Juu. <laughs> Ika kawama tulikuwa tunafanya si ya u, si ya sex. No we were too young. Ni kushukua jorori ile ile nyeusi na kumumisha wapi? Mama titi ndio ikuwe kubwa kama ya mama. Sasa Joki anakuja anakuta mama akivua guo na mweza. Mama Unia. Mimi nasema sema Joki. Wame Unia. Unamtakia nini? Unia wa oni msuni. Kwa nini? Unafanyaga awama. Sasa cha Joki anafukuzwa na karai, anafukuzwa na nguo because mama yangu understand kawama katika age yake. That, that's a very wrong. Sasa jokia anatoroka kwa barabara. Anasema hata ukinipiga uliwa ni mturi. Tunafanya awama. Sasa watu wote wanasikia. So, no. so, understanding, understanding. Hata mkienda church. Let, let's 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 not understand. You know, get understanding ya yule mtu wako pale. The, the meaning of the word is not from the source. It's not in the word, it's from the source. Ukinikuta mimi niki niki nikivua nguo mimi ni mkikuyu wa kutoka hapa kabete. Ukinikuta navua hivi niweze kulia unafanya nini napiga guo? Kwa sababu kupiga ni kuvua. I understand the word from where it have come from. Not the word. Ukikuta kijana wa kwetu ana, anavuta sigara unafanya nini na kunywa sigara? Let's let's understand let's understand it like that. Mzee mmoja wa kwetu akiwa mzee wa hawa nakatalia kanisani anakuja kusoma anaabua ni wewe utasomea anaitwa Jeremia. Jeremia anasika Bible. Anafanya hivi. Anasema mtanisamee niende kwa dirisha kidogo. Unajua wanakataliaga hapa. Ni kama hakuna mtu mwingine anasema. Nasikia tu mara moja anasema ah mtanisamee nitasoma pole pole nimesahau my test course. Na anigeuliza Nikeuliza mama Jabi kwa sababu mama Jabi yako hapa ni my neighbor umebeba testa kosi yako oh. Unisaidia na don't must understand who mzee kama anasema ujinga it is only mistake of courage is on us anataka spectacles you know so let's understand one another na tukiandasadana hivyo jamani this world will be the best world to live in Nikuta watoto wa wasari sikuru akiba. Ajari sio rasima kugogwa na gari. Mustana kupata mipa. Hiyo ni ajari. Nikasema bana. Wait wait wait. Na ni Sunday school. Wekoja. Kwa sababu watoto wana understand hiyo ni ajari. Lakini mimi naona process. <laughs> process ya kupata mipa. <laughs> Unaona watu pahali wametoka. <laughs> It's a wrong process. It's not an accident. Hata ukiwa kuta wakiba, nilijaribu maraya nikasidwa na ni watoto saizi. 
hiyo jiga yote tunaipataga everywhere but if you have good understanding <laughs> utachukulia hawa watu wote wako sawa na utafurahia kila kitu na utakuwa ukienda kanisani na wale hawaedagi wakuja Bruce Spring Fare Vicar Road ni mimi nakuaga hapo <laughs> Kuraga hapo ni kuhubirie ukiokoka uende kwa mugu sadaka tuende naye nyumbani <laughs> Mkiona nimepoa hivi si shida ni vile ni January even pastors are feeling it <laughs> Na bado tunafumilia tu Mimi naitwa Mankus na nimekuja tu ha ni kusa manikush Whatever where vile untaniita ni sawa let me tell you something without confidence in this world you'll die poor if you want a miracle you must risk risking you risk unataka biashara kubwa weka pesa yako yote hapo hujui kama utapata faida risk mwanaume alikuwa anatoka na damu for 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 12 years ali risk akaenda akaguza guo ya Yesu shop kulisi kwa sababu kama angepatikana angepigwa na mawe kulingana na roho ya Musa you must risk 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 and risk risking wale hawajaoa risk oa moja <laughs> if, if you don't risk if kijana mmoja aliingia kwa matatu ikienda kidhurai ya akaona wote ni wanaume akasema bas akatoa simu yake akasema babe hello babe tafadhali sitakuja kwako kwa sababu tuko na bwana yako kwa matatu moja wanaume wote wakaangalia unapigia nani you know kwa sababu u jamaa me risk if you don't risk you'll never make it in life so when you get out of here today tomorrow risk weka business kubwa koboa nyumba hata mahali hakuna customer watajileta kwa sababu ya ile vitu iko ndani Mama moja aliambia Mungu, "Baba, watoto wangu wanachotoa, wanaenda." Akaambiwa, "Wewe uko na nini? Oba nyugu." Akaoba nyugu akaambiwa, "Weka hiyo mafuta yako kidogo." Akamwagiria, akaondoa kwa barabara. Abayo hata haikuwa na wateja na haikuwa siku ya soko, lakini Mungu akafanya kila mtu kwa hiyo kijiji apitie hiyo barabara. Na wote wakanunua mafuta yake. What are you doing with yourself? Unaogopa nini kila saa? Unaogopa vile watu wanakuambia ate wewe huwezi? Nani? Nani hawezi? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I don't care what you say about me. What I know is I am a conqueror. I am more than a winner. I am a winner. I am born to become a winner. Between me and winning there is a process of becoming. Ukiopa Mungu Baba nipe gari. Ujua amekupatia. Kutoka kesho hata kama huna, enda ukiambia watu msikuwe mkinisubua kwa barabara. Wanakuwa kwa nini? Kwa kunioba oba lift. Wapi gari? Wewe goja utaona. Wata wataabiana na huyu jamaa ni wasimu because faith na wasimu ni dada na ni dugu na, na dada. Kwa sababu tabia mtu nimepona na bado unaenda hivi. Kwa sababu husikilizi hii unasikiliza who you are you are not who people calls you you are who god calls you you are a winner god bless you so much winners of this year i have just i have just wow wow 2019 i'm here you are there we are here Look at you. Your face is full of regrets. <laughs> no. Umeka, you are trying to cover the regrets with laughter and smile. Umeka unajiulisha. Ni nini nanisumbuanga mimi? Ni nini nanisumbuanga mimi? Ni nini lilipeleka Mombasa? Hotel 25,000 per night. My rent 25,000 per month. Nini mbaya na mimi? Eh? Nini mbaya na mimi? Na nikalipa siku ngapi? Si ningechukua plot kamulu. I can see the regrets in your eyes. I can see it and I don't know what's wrong with you people. Yeah? Nyinyi wote, mmeka sana, mmeka sana, mmengojea December ifike, December ikafika. 
everybody is reading the same book, the same script. Nyinyi wote mkabebana mkaenda Mombasa. Unasikia kila mtu anajua mali alikuwa? Mombasa. Yeah? We mumeenda Mombasa wenye walienda na basi wamechukulia accent hapa mtoto wa ndei wakikula. Kufika mumerudi na salamu unajisalimia na unajijibu. Asalamu aleikum wa alaikum salam si jambo si ujue wewe salama hizi. Aya. Ndio we have photos of you arriving in Mombasa. Tuko na picha zenu mkiingia Mombasa. This is you arriving in Mombasa. That is your arrival. We saw you tumekaa tu tunaongojea. And then everybody everybody i don't know what's wrong with you but all of you munaendaga mahali moja Mombasa nyinyi wote munaenda kwa kwa beach nyinyi wote mmeenda kwa beach na mmechagua beach moja pirates beach ndio hawa nyinyi picha yenu tunayo ndio hawa nyinyi kwa beach hii ni nguo ya kupeleka kwa beach nguo ya christmas nguo ya christmas umevaa kwa beach nguo ya christmas yeah? nguo ya maua nguo ya gorofa Google before you go somewhere. Do research. Know what you're supposed to wear when how where. You know? Kama kwa mfano, kwa beach. What you supposed to wear at the beach? Ni Okay, beach, don't wear anything. It's a beach. Yeah? Mukaenda, mukakula Christmas yenu. Everyone had a good Christmas. Everyone had a good Christmas in in central It was Christmas as usual. Tuli, tumeona picha zenu za Christmas mkipika vyakula vyenu tumeviona mkipakua mkitayarisha <laughs> Central Let me just ask. Yaani mgeni akionekana anatokea kwa gate. Unasikia Jerry wageni wawili wameongezeka. additional mgeni is an additional jamani jamani so watu wetu pia tukaenda nyumbani tuka, you know we spend 12 months preparing for christmas 12 months every month you are saving 1000 every month 1000 ikifika christmas december you have a whooping 12 unafika nyumbani na kuambia unapokelewa kama DC. Yeah? Unaingia hivi wale vijana wenye wanakungojea na moto bike pale kwa stage, wanakukaribisha na jina governor. Ah, governor! Hiyo ni tarehe 23. Tarehe 24 mfuko imerudi chini kidogo. Unasikia ha, senator! Tarehe 25. By the time unatoka, unatoka ukiwa women rep. <laughs> na sisi pia tukaenda nyumbani tukachoma tukawakisha moto umeenda nyumbani kitu yenye hujagusa mwaka msima umeenda kuibogea umeenda kuingia kwa changa na bushana kifua eh ndugu zangu pia picha zetu zimetokea sisi ndio hawa picha kadhaa tukiwa christmas hii ni aftermath one after another this is aftermath this is us This is our Ushago. Hey, our Ushago. Thank you so much. How are you? I have just I have just So good to see you. So good to be here. Happy Valentines. And welcome to Hilton Hotel. This is a place for lures and above. Hapa ndo unatukuta mara nyingi. This is a place where you have chefs. Chefs, not cooks. Chefs, mtu ameenda shule akasomea kupika. Chef, not cook. Mtu ambaye akiingia kasini anavalia manguo kwanza za kazi, alafu anatumia eh, catalog ya kupika. Cook ni mtu ambaye akiingia jikoni kwanza atoe nguo. <laughs> Mwenzake alipoingia aleva <laughs> yeah alipo ingia kwa sababu kutakuwa na jasho hapa ndani kutakuwa na jasho hapa ndani so ni vizuri unaitoa mapema yeah in the fa- in the past few days kuna jina moja imetumika sana mpaka watu wananiulisha kwani otosh mtu aki 
tuacha siku hizi jina lake inabadilika the name is hayati ya yeah? watu wanashindwa hayati ni Mwe... no 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 there is a big difference between hayati na marehemu alright kama hapa naona mahayati na mnatangalia marehemu Tusidanganyane kila mtu anajua mahali yake. Alright? Hayati ni mtu ambaye akifariki anapelekwa bado nyumbani. Anapelekwa home. Umash Finro home. Lee Finro home. Marehemu akifariki mochari. Umpate marehemu siti mochari. Ya? Yeah? Unaona? Hayati ni mtu ambaye hata anaweza akaamua ako busy, hakai sana huko home. Ako busy. Ako busy, anakuwa day scholar, ya? Yeah? Unakuta mchana ako na events, unamkuta parliament, unamkuta nyayo stadium, ako busy. Anarudi ji, anarudi home jioni ku marehemu vile aliingizwa siti moja ringa atatolewa kama familia itafaulu kufanya michango za kumtoa familia ikifaulu ndio watamtoa mochari wampeleke street nyumbani hayati hata viewing you go to view hayati unaona it's organized yeah you know it's organized you pass by muna keep distance imewekwa 5 seconds maximum the best you can do is maybe just bow your head and proceed marehemu <laughs> viewing yake inaanza nduru inaanza kwa get wewe wewe yawi yawi Hayati ni mtu ambaye hata watu wenye mazishi yake hamjui ni nini imetumiwa. Hamjui ni how much imetumiwa. Vitu organized. Hakuna WhatsApp groups ile ya primary school WhatsApp group ya estate, ya high school, ya kazini, garden square. Garden square mchango kila jioni unachangishiwa na nguvu unaingia hivi wasichana nyama yako garden square ameshakuja na handkerchief by force anakupin handkerchief ukikataa na kudunga na hiyo kipini ya <laughs> hayati hata haujui ili changishwaje hayati kwa masishi yake chakula inashaviwa na hilton stanley Kempinski and above. Hiyo marehemu punda silianza kusomba maji saa tisa ya asubuhi. Wa mama, wa mama na mauteo ya gideri na ma... Unaona kwa mazishi ya marehemu hata chakula inagawanywa mara mbili. Kuna chakula ya watu wa Nairobi na kuna chakula ya watu wa Ushago. Unaona baada ya mazishi unasikia watu wa Nairobi please endeni kwa ile tent. Watu wa nyumbani shikaneni watano watano. Mchukue beseni ya gideri. Mtafute miti mahali. Look. Look at even the way Hayati anapelekwa chini with lowering gears. Just a button, a button, a button and it's going down smoothly. Smoothly. Marehemu. Kwanza vijana waingie kwa kaburi ndani. Wanangoja kupokea jeneza. Na wamelewa. Muna, muna Unasikia ah, kichwa iko pande gani? Kichwa yangalia get. Marehemu ni mtu ambaye alipokuwa anaugua alikuwa anatibiwa na daktari. Marehemu alikuwa anatibiwa na daktari. Hayati alipokuwa anaugua alikuwa anatibiwa na daktari. And there's a last one that I will throw in just as a by the way tunamuita mwenda zake. So we have hayati marehemu na mwenda saki. 
Mwende sake ni mtu amekufa kifo ya ujinga tu. Unatembea ukagongwa na punda. Ama na mkokoteni ama ukakunywa uji moto. Hiyo si kifo ya ujinga. Hata obituary yako ni fupi. Alisaliwa, akaishi, akakufa. Thank you so much Nairobi. Asante ni sana. Thank you. Sande sana DJ. Sasa. Konifamu kama mwenyako karibu yako ni mtu. Konifamu, konifamu weta something that is next to you is tangible. Sande sana wow. Hey. Hey. Andu mama jagozi. Mwia zeu. Ase uingi? Ai twele tutu amasaku. Twele tutu amasaku. Mwita mwita tutu tuseu. Kombo na u. Munongeanga vipaya. Munaongeanga ni kama mmechishika mapua hivi. <laughs> Nimeona hapa yani watoto wa masaku wana dance vizuri. Eish. Alafu wakasema hapa eh wapi nduru ya Ohangla? Watu wamekaa chini. How can you do that? Ohangla ina chess wangu na denominator. <laughs> Unaamuka? Unazungusha tino tino minute si ndio <laughs> Muziki wa wakamba ukiwekwa unasimama unafanya nini unachezesha tino minute Mulizaliwa wapi nyinyi <laughs> Mukanga na nyimbo ya kakameka ikiwekwa unachezesha nini numerata si ndio lakini wakiweka wimbo ya kimasai yeah. you can do anything. Ruka ju enda chini. Yaani ni short. Chesesha improper fraction. <laughs> Alafu watu wa masaku. Mliona tu machako ziitwe masaku, si ndio? Machako ziitwe masaku. Are you serious? Sisi kakameka tunaita catch ama KK. Vitu zinaendana. <laughs> Machako simasaku. I think you are as confused as my sisters from Mount Kenya. Kuna sehemu huko Nairobi inaitwa Takoreti Kona. Hiyo sio jina yake. Inavaa itwe The Great Kona. Watu wa Mount Kenya wakaenda hapo wakasema hapa bana baba itwe Dagoreti kona hapo. Na accent tena. Hmm? Lakini kakamega pia kuna mahali panaitwa Ikolomani. Ikolomani Muzungu alikuja hapo kitambo akapata watu wanachimba gold. Wanachimba gold akauliza, "Eh, hey, is this a gold mine?" 
Then Muluya Kaskia Kazem, I ain't in your Coloman. I love was Hassi and a Jumuko Hapa. Namuko Namato, Sindio Nataka Kua Fundisha. Teach your daughter or a son how to address the audience, the public, na relevant in information. Sawa. Mm. Fundisha mtoto wako kuongea na watu wakiwa mtoto wako. Huenda haka kuwa mwanasiasa, sindio? So mungu kependa kuwa mwanasiasa. Hmm. Aki ndugu yangu kutoka kipera. Marika. Ame mobilize wamama wajawazito. Alafu anaenda anawambia. Wamama wajawazito kwanzia leo nitawajengea kiwanja ya mpira. Sindio? But uh, I don't blame him. Na blame mutu mwenye alikuwa behind him. Alikuwa nani? Eh? Buzz. Nyinyi mmesema, sindio? Usiwai kuwa backed up na mutu mwenye amesomea political science na umesomea football. Mutu ni tokita. Mutu anafanya kazi kwa serikali ya kumesa na kutema. <laughs> Sumu naona imemesa papa. Alafu imetema kieleweke mare tanga tanga imetema yote. Imemesa pondu fasikaluale tena. <laughs> Aki yako yako pondu fasikaluale na mawe. <laughs> I'm um, the sweet joking, smooth, smiling, smart joker, could talk a keeper, a lawyer, what in Mafisi with a baby face. Sit to an all. Talk is money. It's money. A joke is money. It's money. Hosechta Namangon. Namangondo. Hosechta Namangon. Namangondo. A joke. Zaza. Konufamu kama mwenyako karibu yako ni mutu? <laughs> yes, konufamu weta something that is next to you is tangible. Sasa, aki, tata yangu, mimi na onanga wanaume, wanafanga matikaka miwani hapa, kuficha kibara. Sasa we umeweka hapa, miwani, nini umeficha? Na sioni ya una kibara, <laughs> umeficha miaka. <laughs> Aki unakapa, unajua kuna kamera huko, kuna, kuna screen huko nyuma. Tunawaone hapo vile, muna smile, muna check, muna kapoa. Huyu, aki huyu, nilikuwa na zani ni, ni waitress wa Hilton Hotel. <laughs> hey, my brother from Nigeria, how are you? Do you know that it is only in Nigeria where your spirits are allowed to act in a movie? Yes. Na hizi nguo zao. Akiwa nakaanga tu curtain. Akiwa amesimama tu hapo nasema, nani mwa amesongesha madirisha kwa nyumba yangu? <laughs> Sasa producers hapa Kenya wanaandikanga script vizuri wakitaka kukuchuja kwa 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 film fulani, kwa scene fulani ya ya acting. Wanaandika story yako ulienda smart joke akaenda akaiba akachapwa na mob justice akakufa sindio that is what they do now wenye mnafanyi wangu hivyo na ma producer niko na tawa wacha hiyo script iende wakuchape na mob justice ukufe ukikufa enda ufufukie Nigeria Huko wanapeana na vazi ya mapepo, mashetadi kwa akita. <laughs> hey, warempo, mina kuambia muna vanga. Kwanza mkisikia ni chachi, ni cho Hilton, muna vaa. Mina washukuru sana. Kanto na kufaa, muna pepanga vitu nyingine nyingi. Mkitembea naso. 
mpaka inabidi tu intervene tukuje tuwasaidie but ya mtakangi mimi nimepatana na kama msichana high heels kama far dress mzuri yani mtoto mtoto anakaa chopa <laughs> mayo na chopa ina, ndio inainuka tu kutoka kwa sakafu ina imefika hapa kazi jana kama kaa hivyo alafu na watu tusikate fulani hivi tunakaa umbrella baka mvua ikikucha unaweza mshika tu miguu alafu <laughs> ame pepe hand pack huko mara shopping baka ya white huko ameweka headphones kwa mazikio ame connect kwa simu ameweka kwa hand pack baka timonja rakaniuliza Smart joke huyu msichana aogopi kuipiwa simu na tena ame connect ya phones ameweka kwa masikio nikamwambia wewe nyamasa ame connect ya phones kwa simu ndio ikipiwa azikie amte sweet joke is smooth smiling smart joke kutoka DJ OJ improve <laughs> Watu wa Nairobi ni wa miss sana. Geukia mazako mwambie tricky sana. <laughs> Madam hi. <laughs> Mlisikia mudozi alikuja huko Kenya alikuwa anaitwa Jack Ma. Tulifuatilia tukapata kube jina yake ni Jackson Marenge. Ivenye <laughs> alipofika Kenya aliambiwa arenge hiyo renge. Simsumbue. No maya Jack Ma Wizi msalimia hiyo hai. Ati hai Jack. Polisi angekushika kidhani unataka kumhai Jack. Niko fiti lakini. Nikabaridi ama. Ngora kabaridi msijali. Yeka kabaridi kana Nairobi sijui utakafanyia nini. Jua kana zaendelea hivi venye tunaendelea hivi. Venye tunagoja kula Tuesday ifike na hii baridi. Wende kwa ballot box utoe karatasi hivi. Pate baridi imetetemesha uhuru na Raila. Hadi sasa wameamua wakaribiane. Wapashane joto wako hapa karipo pamoja. Waka box kamoja wako na running nose, wanakaa mara nini mate. <laughs> Hii baridi ni tricky sana, ba mnaifeel. Lakini nilikuwa Mombasa by the hakuna baridi kama hii. Mombasa huwezi pata baridi huko. Baridi liagari hivi kaona watu wa Mombasa ni wapole sana. In fact hata wende Mombasa, ulize mtu story ya baridi, anaweza kupea nsabiri nakwambia band hiyo hii idi ameenda hivi <laughs> Baridi Mombasa kuna kabisa iliangalia hivi kaona watu wa Mombasa ni wapole sana ikaamua kutuma joto ikawahara suko hata dio maana gavana wao unajua anaitawa joto ni venye masomo ilimchemsha akageuka joho <laughs> Watu wa Mombasa ni watriki joto iko huko kabisa nilikuwa huko nikaona nikashaga sasa shida ya joto ya huko Nimeshaganyika na kitu kingine triki kuna umbu nyingi joto na umbu ushishaganyiki wala hizo vitu unapataka wazugu huko Mombasa juu ya joto hawagopi umbu wanatebea tu huko hivyo kwa beach wamevaa mama makate nza huko hawagopi hata public rights <laughs> wanatebea tu hivi hawagopi unajua umbu anaweza uma mswahili alafu apitie mahali ya ume chokola alafu akuja ume mzungu Mzuri ageuke chokora anze kubeba kamusi na gunia. <laughs> Siasa inawapeleka haji huko Nairobi. Nani hapa anaoba kiti yoyote? Niko na shida na MCA wenye wanaoba MC. Hao ma MCA wamekuwa triki hata kuniliko. Na hizo vitu wanachagua kama niliambiwa zinaitwa sibo. Kuna MCA mmoja ameka posta huko. Yeye aliagari hivi akaona siasa imemvurisha kichwa. Akaamua kutumia baruni kama simbo yake. Kube mwenzake alipita akaona posta na baruun akasema oh huyu ndio tuko kwa mashidano na yeye eh. yeye eh, akaamua kutumia shidano kama zipo <laughs> Akaenda akatengeneza posta iko na shidano akakuja akaweka hapa kado kado ya baruun akaenda akijua huyu nitamtoboa <laughs> Lakini sasa hii tumeamua kuwasaidia tumeamua sasa mpaka kula zipigwe tawalindia polling station unajua mnaweza amka hiyo siku mkienda kupiga kura ufike huko mpate hakuna polling station zimegeuka pole station mnaambiwa tu poleni 
Poreni, poreni, por instagens ripotea. Poreni sana. So sai tu me amu tu me gana ma por instagens tu ku Nairobi. Sai aturari tao, kira mtu akona por instagens yake ya kurinda. Kira mtu. Sasa jana nikipiga maraundi round nikiangalia kazi venye inaendelea, piento nako kasharara. Kamebri, kamerara hapo inche ne kakauliza bwana unarara huku ije. Bwana usirare huko, kaniambia kana hisi baridi. Si wili simamu karare kwa darasa. Kana biya pana, kana taka kurara hapo karibu na school moto. Haka muturi kabaya, kaka piento hapo. Kana wako panga madarasa, haka hizi yeda hata kwa darasa. Hata tukiwa jureni, karikuwa kana wakopa. Hakubuka tukiwa jureni, kiturifanya kwa wakope. Tukiwa kwa darasa, walimu wa kigereza haka kuja, haka tuuliza swari. Katuliza hati tutamuke mnyama moja mwenye jinaake inaaza na D. Kakainua mkono alaka, sujika lijuaje. Mi nilikuwa hapa kado. Mwalimu wakarenga mkono, haka niuliza. Mimi nikasema, dog. Kube piento kwa kiri yake ilikuwa pia dog. Na juu mkono yake ilikuwa juu. Mwalimu waka muambia, ok, piento tuambia mnyama mgini mwenye jinaake inaaza na M. Kabidi ka muambia, my dog. Mwalimu waka sirika kakaita hapo bere, kakakuliza ninini, nimekuapia utamuke mnyama. Kasema pole mwalimu, kakabuaya niapie mnyama mwenye naaza na ai. Kasema, I said my dog. Usha impi kwa kofi, mpaka ukaona sakafu ina kukujia, kupe ni kuwanguka unanguka. Unareta watu wa jela hapa? Awako jela, wameachiriwa. Wameachiriwa? Wako free. Walikuwa wanyogwe. Wako nyongwa. Mwari mtu walikuwa nyongwe na nimempata hapa nyuma akisikiza hile gome ya nyongwa. Kukia mazako mwambia tiriki sana. Kukia ni pepa na ya mwisho. Kukia. Kukia kwa mwana ni kubujana tukiwa jamieka. Mashaka nini? Ha? Mashaka nini? Mia kuna Maris J. Eda. Maris J. Eda ni Jera. Nayo nataka kweda. Nataka kweda huko ni kiwa karao. Unajua siku hizi kujibata Jera ni raisi sana. Kama juzi tulikuwa tumebara isa hapo tu. Afya Center tunawatch TV yetu hapo. Mbaga isa tu vizuri tunaona hali madodo tu hapo. Akitawe ya tawe ya rubadiri hapo. Na ya rubadiri ya kibadiri badiri masmaila hapo. Wakitagaza news. Kidogo kidogo hivi. Tukona afya house kado. Sema kushituka. Tukaza kwa gari ya afya ni nini imekua baya. Tukiruli tena kwa news. Tena wanaaza kuogerea. Mambo za teda. Tukajua hawa watu ni zizi tu wanaogerea. Justisi tunakuwaka na mazoa ya kuteda watu hapo wakuteda. Sisi ni watu wakuteda teda watu ovyo. Kama Diamond. Kujua Diamond wa Tanzania. Alianza na kuteda wema. Alafu waka sepetuka kaedea zari. Tunaka hapo hivyo ni usi megeuka. Watu wameanza kutuwekerea vitu wa tujafanya na tiafia sijui skado 5 billion skado Tunakodoa piento nae ni kitu walikuwa naereo kwa hiyo 5 billion skado ni 5 peke yake Tumewaki tumea 5 billion Harapu kitu turiona tunachezo ni 5 billion ni pesa nyigi sana kupotea Kama tukipoteza kobori peke yake Unaitafutaga hapo wafisena hati tunaipata 5 billion inapotea haji Afya Center Kwanza 5 billion inapotelea karibu na Afya Center Ama iyaguke hapo Hata inaeza fuga barabara Pate watu hapo Moyavinu Omefugiwa magari na 5 billion Wanapiga simu Hati kujani muto hizi 5 billion mbele hezi Tu 
kwa hapo tu tume ni kawaida wote nikawaambia hapana hapa lazima tuchage hizi 5 billion tuwape hapo kila mtu nikaanza kumpea kazi zake hapo nikaita katuge kila mtu nikaanza kumgawia mahali na kuchagisha ni rais tuliamua tutaomba watu 1 billion kila mtu kobore kobore <laughs> toshe hizo 5 billion nikaita katuge nikamwambia katuge jua umevaa crop top na carrot eda hapo ukulima house <laughs> karibu na makabeji za hapo mudhurwa wende ukaombe makobore zako hapo Biendo naye na kipara yake inavanana ya moyi nikamwambia shika moyi avenue wende naye ukioma makobore huko John Tess na Madrid zake zake nikamwambia Heresias haya ntaya safara hizi pesa unajua kuwekelewa vitu vya fanya ni kitu uchungu sana mimi nimekaa hapo nimekasirika na uliza hizi 5 billions zatoka wapi he kila mali mtu anaogelea afya sijui zimepotea na ziko mikononi mwetu kufanya brada nikaenda nikauliza anko fulani hapo anauzaga gazeti kama amesikia story amini usiamini kufugua gazeti hivyo tu nilipata sura yangu mca triki nimewekwa hapo wameandika hapo juu bas karibu maneno wameandika sijui sijui kama mliona ndio hii hapa wameandika nini sijui comedies golden boy nikajua tu wamesema mtu atapata huyo kijana atapewa kuru <laughs> ati sasa wananitafuta nikajua hapa kumeharibika nikajua kutafutwa nilipe 5 billion mimi nitoe wapi teke teke nikaenda kwa ofisi yango shashiri kamwambia maisha yangu iko hatarini kwa hata sikumpata mtu nilipata ni Jesse na mimi kitu nataka kufanywa sasa hii nataka kuhamishwa Nairobi kabisa nitoke huko Jesse nikaniambia sawa tulia akaanza kushughulikia hapo kachukua simu akaniambia na call agent kamwambia sawa bla bla wakaanza kuogea kasikia kisema mambo ya deposit kamwambia acha ujiga sitaki kuishi kwa mpesa <laughs> kani ulizo nataka kuishi wapi na kamwambia nataka kuishi Ruda kwani iko nini kanuza ruda kamwambia eh ruiro dani akaendelea <laughs> hapo kushughulikia mambo ya simu anapiga simu ati anaogelea kani akaniangalia kidogo unataka kuishi nyumba ina gani unataka single bedroom ama unataka bed sitter kagalia hata wewe ukiambiwa utafute hapo unatafuta gani kamwambia nataka bed sitter tarariaga mmoja hizo zingine tano nitajua pale nitapeleka <laughs> Nikuwa nataka kuama kabisa. Jesse do hiyo kaniigiza kwa gari bla bla hapo mpaka hapo kwa hizo marudani. Kufika hivi Jesse na madharau zake alikuwa amenitafutia nyumba kwa cho. Imeandikwa hapo kwa kitu toilet. Kadadi hivi akaniambia hizi toilet ati ni venye ai imefutika. Inaitwa toilet. Hiyo ni namaanze. Nikaamua tu nifuate dani akanionyeshana na mtu anajita ati keateka hapo akanipeleka kwa nyumba yake nikajua sasa nimetokea goli ya 5 billion za tao. <laughs> Kufika kenje hivi yenye nimetafutiwa kukaa kidogo nikaanza kusikia bombs zinalia titi titi titi. Kwenda kuangalia hivi kumbe setup nimefanyiwa nilipuliwe. Imebakisha 8 seconds ilipuke. Nikashuka chini haraka haraka kwa kiateka nikamwambia bwana umeniaka Nikienda kuripoti bomb kumbe pia naye kiateka ako na mpago yini ya kuniua. Akaanza kuniambia atio, ati hata nilikuwa nimesahau hang line yako iko pale. Nikamuuliza <laughs> unataka sasa nijue na kamba na kuna bomb kwa keja. Hapo ndio akaniambia atio si 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 bomb, akaniuliza kama nimelipia token. Akamwambia eh I have already token to MCJS. Tadeni <laughs> sana. Watu wanyanza wash up. Wash up. Unjua <laughs> for months wali admitiwa. Ikanikumbusha kitu. The songs you sing tells a lot about the school. Academies ni unajua ni wazazi wako na pesa wanapelekanga watoto. So even the songs they sing suggest that they have money.
I wake up in the morning. I wash my face. I brush my teeth. I take a cup of tea. Then I run. To, uh, uh, then I take a cup to school. Then I take a cup to school. Zile shule tulienda. Song ilikuwa inaonyesha ni poverty. Mama ni pema ya ni mechoka. You know sometimes sometimes I find it very difficult uh, to differentiate between a true fan and just a normal fan because everywhere we go uh, you're the best why why you the best comedian ever you the killer everywhere last like last week I wasn't performing I decided to sit among the audience I love kuna dema kanyaka like oh my god why why you not performing because I'm not performing oh you're the reason I paid <laughs> Baka nikasema kimoyo moyo oh Nikatoka kidogo kwenda few steps sleepy akapita nikasikia the same sauti Oh my god sleepy devi I came all the way to watch you yeah you you're so funny Kidogo devi the student akapita tena pop David stupid I tell you you're my favorite comedian I told sleepy you're my favorite comedian Baka nikakasirika and I was like I got mad I was like really David the student is your favorite comedian but I'm the reason to why you pay to watch Sleepy. <laughs> and and uh, you know these comedians are, are so talented these uh, uh, can you give it up for the comedians to Fadali? Unajua <laughs> Fredo Mondi Fredo Mondi alibarikiwa na sauti mzuri. Baka akiongea kitu inafai ku disgust na kan normal. Fredo Mondi ako Valentine's na demi yako nasikia Ha baby just imagine nimeshuta <laughs> And it looks normal it just looks normal Can you imagine Owago Nyiro say, saying the same thing <laughs> Kama ulikuwa nakula samaki utatema <laughs> Baby <laughs> nimeshuta <laughs> Before you blame somebody make sure you can support yourself make sure you have a genuine reason to blame them like for example a teacher should come to class like hey mike really you cannot do that sum yet i have been teaching this thing repeatedly every day and the fact that this teacher has been teaching these things every day is a guarantee that this boy should not fail na nafaa chapwe mwalimu wetu pia alikuwa anakublame lakini alikuwa ana support na irrelevant reason wanyango umeshindwa kufanya hesabu na umevaa macho ine now Now I realized that we will go na fundisho kwa shule they apply in, in the daily life right now uh, I was taught about three states of matter that is solid liquid and Gas. when solid is heated it turns to liquid. when liquid is heated Gas. and vice versa communication in Kenya has taken the same trend a voice call can convert into a text message and text message to voice call depending on the context Chat in Zanzibar kawaida. Hi darling, how are you? Mm, uh, uh, I'm good, I'm good. How are you? I'm um, fine, thank you. I uh, miss you. Uh, I miss you too. Uh, what are you doing? I'm just watching some movie, baby. Oh, I miss you once again. I, I miss you more. Mm, babe, can I tell you something? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Tell me, tell me. Mm, I'm pregnant. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> It's been my time. Hey, what's up? What's up? Watu wakisi what's up? Watu wanyanza what's up? Unajua if you use the restrooms make sure unaiwacha vile uliipata. Mtu akiendanga awache washroom ikiwa safi anatokanga ndani na confidence. Anatokanga pale kwanza ananawa pale 7 minutes. Mpaka anatoa savia sana panguza viatu. Mtu ameiwacha ikiwa chafu anatokanga nje kaa shajitetea hizo chio ni chafu hata sijakojoa But anyway can you appreciate yourself for that for coming
Unajua niliona kwa news the other day ilikuwa imeranda. Atie Kaimenyi is misleading president Huru Kenyatta. Okay, ni ukweli. <laughs> Lakini Kaimenyi is a learned guy. He has brains. He's a professor. There's no problem akikonsultiwa na president Huru Kenyatta. That is why hata ukienda kwa parliament Uh, the, 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 the members of the national assembly wenye wamesoma wanapoanga wanakuanga wanatitiwa vizuri sana let's say for example a se- debate imeisha alafu uh, boni alwale watu wameanza kuamuka dr boni alwale amuke aseme uh, excuse me mr speaker there's one thing i would like to talk about the, the corruption in putalangi please i would like to fix this please give me 15 minutes only <laughs> I teach you 15 minutes to ask here uh, honorable members please let's sit down and listen to what the doctor has to say because he's a doctor because he has gone to school because they believe whatever he's going to say might add something to whatever they had concluded Kaleme ndile I teach you dakika moja And let me tell you order order Kaleme This is not your house even in school and even ilianza kwa shule even in school bright students uh, were trusted by teachers a bright student akienda ku report uh, mtoto danda hata wa confirming kama ni ukweli excuse me sir can you imagine joseph joseph again <laughs> wacha danda aende ku report chopi ni yeye atachapwa excuse me mwalimu speaking english <laughs> Mike Mike has hit me why are you pocketing Hizo nini kwa mfuko ebutoa raba na pencil tulisema ni vitu zinawekwa ndani ya set wakati wenzako wanasoma you are joy riding reporting issues that mnaweza maliza na head boy But But usiwai trust mtoto. Let me tell you don't usiwai weka hopes zako kwa mtoto mdogo. Unajua kuna kitu mtoto anaweza kuwa anaongea tu kawaida. Alikuwa anacheza tu mtoto wa 3 years. Aongee tu kitu, alafu bahati nzuri aangukie vocabulary. Alikuwa anacheza ta 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 encyclopedia. Sasa ubaya mama adhe utaka kushinda hapo. Ah, baba. Hebu rudia tena. Encyclopedia mpaka anaanza ku na yeye ndio wageni wakikuja amuite mbele ya wageni amuite mbele ya wageni wageni waone vile mtoto ni chopi <laughs> baba ile kitabu inabeba subjects nyingi inaitwa encyclopedia baba rudia kwa mara ya mwisho ile kitabu inabeba subjects mingi inaitwaaje encyclopedia alafu wageni wanakuja wana settle chini alafu hapo ndo mtoto anakuangusha ndio anakuanga na memory kidogo kwanza na haipingi kwanza na MC mtoto amwezi amini kile ile kitu mtoto alisema leo you cannot believe what he is going to say baba ile kitabu kubwa imebeba sages mingi inaitwanga aje city hopa thank you so much that's it thank you very much and i love you all Reoni of ni official duty. Official duty. Anko. Unyangaria aje. Uko official. We ataka tuangalie official hapana. Ikia tu ni kubwa hii. Inafaa utavutie number plate. kitebea tao haraka haraka kiovatek unaweza simamisha na traffic police kwa kurizi kwa happy rise mtu anafaa ku utilize what we call ka calligraph matricule nin ako are we together we are unasema we are together na uko uko Hadi watu walikuwa na pito na ile kizugu ilikuwa inatiririka wakati wa rafu a festival. Mlikuwa nyinyi. 
Nani alikuwa anapitwa na kizungu tuzidanganyane? Mimi. Mimi nilikuja kuchekeshwa lakini kukaa chini. Nikajipata na jichekelea. Wakati watu wamenyamaza ndio nacheka. Tukizungu ilikuwa inatupwa hivi inakuja kwa hii masikio inapiga round 2 inarudi kama kitaini. Lakini ilikuwa noma hiyo rafu. Sisi ndio ilinipatia kazi. Ndio maana unaona niko hivi. Angoli niita akaniambia ni toe vote vote of thanks. Nikamwambia thanks sezi pote lakini vote angoje 2017. Yo mana sasa uwashe utoto unipe goma ya kutoa thanks Attention kama mmeketi tu Fellow Kenyans DJE Buy no band Waiters kwa hema waiter asheni kuniangalia. Waiter zine wenye wanangoja hii speech. Extinguished guests and those fire extinguishers. Welcome to Kenya. Ilikuwa imeandikwa wakati walikuwa wanakuja. Kenya is a sovereign sovereign. Sasa John this ya yandika tu safara tumalizana na hiyo. Na na juu Kenya ni safara ni public. Thank you Shasir for being radical. Acha ni said you yanko. Hapo tumesema anga chachi alikuwa rada. Asa As a matter of fact, apana hapo tutizaranya mata ni wa maniu. Mata ni wa fact ama ni wa maniu. Chonte sisi vitu zake hata siziamini sasa. Na zote zinafanana. Washana nazo. Tuogelea hawa tu. Muliona hawa na umewalitoka huko Afrika. Usicheze na wao kutoka Afrika kukuja hadi Kenya kuchekesha watu hiyo <laughs> si kitu rais mliwaona sasa baba yangu nimewasahau kila mtu nakumbuka tu ni mmoja junaye jina yake siezi sahau chapo chapo da ule wa kutoka sijui wapi hiyo ndio peke yake tu nakumbuka hao wengine majina zingine zilikuwa sisi wa Afrika shida ni tunakopa majina kwa kwa wazungu unajiita na ujiulizi ni Unapata hata mtu anaitwa jina ya mahali ya wazungu. Na, unapata mtu anaitwa Washington. Na anaitwa Washington hapa. <laughs> Washington si ni mahali. Wewe ushisikia mzungu anaitwa Kayole. Ni <laughs> what? At my name is Calvin Kayole. I'm a Dora Donald Trump. Mama na mpendi vitu za huku uka Af- Afrika. Mimi na peda Afrika. Dio maana hata watu wenye walikuwa walinikumbusha venye na peda Afrika. Hadi nikaenda nikaanza kuitafuta, nikaipata. Mimi sikaagi bure. Atafuta kitu ya kufanya hata kama ni kuumwa na kichwa. <laughs> Nilienda nikatafuta Afrika nielewe. Ni Unataka kuishi huku hivi. Dio hii nikaipata hapa. Nilikuwa na yagari yagari hivi na shaka na vitu zingine hapa. Tuiji tungine hapa Afrika hata sijui ni akina nani wanaishiki huko. Kakaiji kama Rwanda. Nikadoka na toshana kalioko. Hako hata ukijenga nyumba kubwa, unaweza pata sitin peke yake ndio iko Rwanda. Bedroom iko Burundi. Bafu iko ya Victoria. Rwanda unajua hata wakianza kama ni kukauntiwa kama venye tuna kaunti yako Kenya. Wana zabu watoke nje wote waigie mmoja mmoja.
makini afadhali yao kuna wao wengine hapa hawa hata sijui dao ni nini Ana, hata walikosa jina wakatumia jina ya Afrika wanajiita South Africa wako huku chini unajua hata watu hawafikiri siku moja dunia itikizike vizuri tu wataanguka chini hata ikianguka hata afadhali sisi Kenya na, na tuona tuko huku juu hivi ikianguka sisi at least tunaweza jishikiria hapa Malawi kama tumekanyaga Madagascar <laughs> Jira ni tuanze kwa kukiwa na maweza hichi. Wao la la la, pala za hiyo si shida. Jira ni kwa kuka hapa kwa Zimbabwe kwa Mugabe. Wao la la. Hebu imagine tumeanguka Zimbabwe, pa, hati Mugabe anaamuka na tupata wa Kenya hapo. President Mugabe, President Uhuru. Hapo wenyewe anko unye atabidi ajipage. Yumo gabe hezi kubali. Si hata njimu najua? Hapo rafuta wakatafute kazi ya kutagaza huko kama kina rali madogo. Muna koji hivi na muna ochi ni usi zanzibabwe. Muna ona anko uhuru mwenye muna rizpe. Anakuja. Anasoma news. Fellow Kenyans. Madugu. Madugu zanguni. Sorry, ni lisema vero Kenyan. Vero Kenyambian, no yo toko remix. Nigeria, Ghana, Ghana, Mali. Apo nikakubuka kama kuna machokosho wali waliagukia hiji, ni machokosho wa Nigeria. Atiwogo wao wakitaka mali wanageukanga tu hiyo country kwa hapo wanavuka wanachukua kama hiyo mali na wadhuru wanaweza sitaki mwenye hiyo mali hapa chini kwa koti naona koti inaitwa divoa Tavujika, kuja pole pole. Kali apa? Yes. Kali bukan. Memuak dem? Ni memuak de. Yes, saya si dor tu monjoki. Tu monjoki. Tu ada tu baje. Tu muka lagi. Kuda ni tu baje. Malim. Kami awal di kesa daki katano. Kamu. Turn left onto South Harrington Street, then turn left onto Hillsborough Street. Nana macam apa ini location? Sisa, sasa ina niapa ni turn left, na left yangu ni turn. Sasa mnataka ni do. Sasa ina kuaje, sasa kama malimu mwenye wendo, no the way and the truth, na na sipati the way, sasa sasa basi na kama. Quarter mile at the traffic circle. Take the first exit and stay on Hillsborough Street. Ah, karibu ni sana. Asante. Mogi ingi ni kwa. Mwalimu, yeah. ni kama wengine wameshikwa kwa lockdown yeah. na wengine wameshikwa kwa kafyu mwalimu. Na hii muujiza tulifanya OCS kwa kufungua roadblock. Kwani haiku pia haikuwezekana? OCS alibadilishwa mwalimu. Sasa atini nani yako hapo? Wamemleta mwingine mwalimu. Ah. Sasa hiyo ni shida gani? Na hapa are we live? I, I doubt. I doubt to go live. Hatuna bundles. Yeah? Mimi naona we start monetizing this thing. This content. Yeah. 
kwanza hii ya water into wine yes. ah hiyo ita hiyo kwanza wewe wewe Tomaso wewe ndio tulipatia hiyo video hiyo the viral kitu ninaona huku ni wife material we, kwa nini what happened hatuna followers i doubt itaenda haikuenda hmm? sababu hakuweka hashtag hashtag ile kwa kweli water into wine challenge sasa unaona hivyo ingeenda kujagusha hapa eh eh adi azizi eh eh zini misha mnjoka huko en koheria zi utamjua tu unachiki kime kime je kile andika chief kubwa ya white eh alafu alafu eh akijava mask eh sawa 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 ukifika tu uniangalie kwa macho direct eh okay sawa uskate uskate kwanza fanya hivi mzima mama anadai anadai do ya salon manze eh na kutumia na kutumia namba utaweka sasa sasa sawa basi kata 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 Sasa mwalimu nikuulize yeah. nikuite jina gani nikuite nikuite nabii nikuite mwalimu nikuite mponyaji wa kafi una niite bazega Asa. na hiyo ga uo kwenza azu yule vika ndio si ayo wewe unakuja leta hapa ni kama governor ingia hapa atherock lakini mwalimu mlikosea kumpatia ngumi mwekse ngumi ni jamo chorea mwekse ala governor ni mjamo kwa sababu mbexe ni ulaga lai. Ndio hiyo. Na ya waganis. Unajua mambo yamebadilika. Ning sub changed I'm telling you. Maisha imekuwa gumu hata police is busy mna kuhongo mna discuss. Baka wako na change. Ni vile mambo yamekuwa gumu. But up at that time wale wale ndio ni shokola. Shokola, shokola. Kimopatia ana shiringi ana kubali. Ana anakuambia hii ni ya covid. That is why ni mwaletea nini? Shaji. Lakini mwalimu yes. namba imeongezeka uh-huh. uliwachanja 1500 size wako 1040 uh-huh. wako milioni 40 uh-huh. utatumia lita ngapi kuwachanja mwalimu ni uzuri nafugua whatsapp group nikirusha hapo picha moja si wanaona wote mtu anajidanulia mali yako lakini yeah. mwalimu yes. ni naswali yeah. ni ya putni mm-hmm. ni ya kuna kukuitaji huko kwingine hii ya astrozeneca astrozeneca, astrozeneca yeah. ni ya oxford na, ama ni ya egerton Ata mwalimu hata mimi sijui na ngojea nione matokeo ile muta itakuweko sawa So video utasikia dio tujue ni wapi si ndio lakini unajua mnaniamini lakini acheni wapie naona hapa tunakula pamoja lakini let me tell you kuna mtu hapa ataagusha boy kuna mtu kuna mtu ametoka Kiaburu kuogea na na DCI wale wa Eliko um, kuna mtu ameogea nao hapa piga hii picha lakini kabla tu, kina Bartholomew kabla tupige pi, picha mwalimu wapie Bartholomew ali mute kwa group ali mute muli move mtoe tutaweka mtu mwingine hata Saulu lakini mwalimu nilikuwa nafikiria kwa sababu ya media mm. ilete picha nzuri Basi. tungevaa barakoa kila mtu achape barakoa yake ah petero wewe unafikiria aga vizuri kabisa <laughs> nani amechukua maski yangu jameni eh na nilijua hapa kuna mbrainer hapa nilijua kuna mtu ako na maski bili hapa na hizi ongea kuna ya kuna mtu hapa kuna waga umesema nini kuna waga nisi mwalimu waga nisi Jesse. Yes. Bora anko kwak Black Panther. Eh? Aya wange mweka mahali si ndio? Yo kia mzao ambie triki sana. Walai Jesse a watu wameja. Kwani mlikuja kuwapisha? Nitafuta karonzo na New Testament. Wala la ini triki sana wala. Uliona leo nimeona hata ati anko na baba walipatana. Hebu wapigeni makofi. Unajua sahi hiyo kupatana yao imetupatia ka freedom fulani yenye atukua nayo. Kuna vitu zenye ungefanya before. Kama aungepitia state house hapo kwa gate ukiimba e baba e baba. Au <laughs> ngejaribu hapo ungeuliza baba mgani unaongelea? Lakini leo kupatana yao kuna maswali nilijiuliza walipatana wapi Harambe house na ni jana tu tulikuwa tumeambiwa Kenya tumesota Nikaanza kujiuliza hii mkutano imepelekwa Harambe house Hao majamani kama wanaorganize Harambe ya, ya kimfano hivi si ndio Tumekaa tu ipi hapa tushtukie tumeitwa Kiarambe hapa kasarani ha! List ya guest hizo manaitaka guest of honors iko hapo wakiongozwa na number one guest of honor muite wako hapo chief guest chief guest wa Arambe hapo watafute kimtu cheje kinatoaga pesa usikia hapo chief guest ni DJ Khalid amekaa hapo hivyo na kinaanko hapo hivi kando tunachangishia pesa ya Kenya 
Mnamwona huyu? Anageukia tu ango huru anamwambia say my name. Ango huru anasema ndugu yangu DJ Khalid no say my name. DJ Khalid take this madoras. Go by Babuwino. Tijikari na kwapo tuna made, ana alaka, madora zimeja. Ana geuka na uliza, another one. Baba haka huko anainua mkono. Say my name, Tijikari. Niji kari na muambia yeo You smart You loyal To theagas Patu wapigeni makofi sana walipatana Sumefuraia Sika muji ireta mtuni wakaona venye thika roli na kwa gana tujia nyigi venye ime Iko hivyo 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 Hadi Wakati tulikuwa naenda isho thika Nilikuwa na jaribu kukramu yyo thika roli vidu ziko hapo Tukiaza hapa tukaona nikaona KCA Nikapita hapa, nikaona university gini, nitoa USIU Unaigie hivyo, hapo bere kuna gani? KU, kifika ruhiru kuna gani? CTEC Juja, diyo kuna JQAT Yani, kato tu ni ma universities Na, nikajuliza, hii diyo higi hito university wii Sidiyo, ya tu kile tao Mama atuzote sa hapa, zile nyigi zinabebanga tu watu wa somi Tule tumurembo tu msire iku intuwa Da USA yu da KU da Jikwat nda Una tupatanga kwa mati, ebuende hizo mati za thika roli za kuenda uko hivyo Tumurembo tumeka, unaingia kwa mati hivi Unaona tumurembo tu tuko class, juni ukweli tunayendanga class huko Ati tunatungini tunakuwa nga tunarevise notes Kamurembo kameka, kana andalai no TV Kana ingiza mkono kwa handbag Kana jipaka kakitu hafa hivi Unajua hako kana fanya tu makeup and foundation studies Tumurembo, unajua naka penye tumeja kwa mat Mi hata nasema, after tumeita Thika Road University way Sasa hizo mat zina wapereka huko makampo Zito digiri Dio mtu wakishukisho kwa university Akiulizwa, nini mekureta huku, anasema tigiri Hizo, ziko fiti kabisa hapo Thika Road na kuampia Ukitembea Thika Road mare ya kwanza Iyo si safari, hata ufai guripa fea Fea hako inafai ripo na budget na zirikari Juni barabara, si ni noma? Uwezi uwezi pigia mtu story ya penye Thika Road ni noma Rapta umutumie diagram kumwerezea Unamambia ndo zisi hapo hapo Kwa round about ya koja hapo, round about ya koja, round about ya koja hapo Mefika taneri ya pangani Tuko kwa jami ya survey saa hii Hapu wanze kutoka sasa unatafuta survey, tunataka kushukisha watu garden city sasa Majua thika road ukiata rain moja, unajepata kinshasha Kukia mazawa mbia tiriki sana? Kukia! Wati tureze watu waelewe Fika Road ni nini, sindio? Kukia! Sasa tuwewe kushukisha watu wapi? Kukia! Kukia nsiti, washa washuke. Haa, hapo mbele kidogo, pose kidogo. Tukolo isambo, tushukisha wa Nigeria kidogo. Kukia! 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 Kuk Kithurai oye! Kithurai uwoye! Pigeni nduru venye mnapigama mkipiwa ngeta! Pass! Wee ukurajua ata kithurai sahi mekua poa. Ay, ya, ya, siya titina waribia. Sahi mkua poa, sidiyo? Kuna wakati kithurai kitambo. Washana, sina shira na kithurai 44. Watu wa kithurai 44 oye! Sina shira na watu wa kithurai 45. Kithurai 45 oye! Nikona shina na githurai 44.5 Apo Apo hii kwa hitha unabout niyo Muna hijua Muna waka
wakati ya unge shuka kidhurai hata kama unaishi kidhurai ulikuwa unakuja vizuri unapitishwa juu unashukia kahawa unarudi miguu If you are happy and you know clap your hands If you are happy and you know clap your hands If you are happy and you know and you really want to show If you are happy and you know clap your hands If you are happy and you know kiss your neighbor Satan <laughs> yeah. But you guys you are looking good from up here am I looking good from down there If you know you are a lady and you have the cutest smile in the building can you just tell me oh oh eh wanaume oh in fact kama we ni msichana na umeka kando ya mwanaume mwenye hana ndevu tafadhali mgeuke na umsalimie sasa sister in fact unaweza ongeza kidogo na mwambie abuji buji buji wow madam you're looking so ah What let me just high five ah 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 you are looking amazing wow msem mkono ni soft huyu amejipaka mafuta ya ngombe very soft ah uh, arimis eh bro wapi unataka ah ah eh haya turudie tafadhali wanaume tupende mafuta jamendi yani hadi watu wa welding wamekuja vip But hey but today I said I want to I want to bless someone no can you just come you have a very beautiful smile can you just come I said today I want to bless someone Narok ladies are looking beautiful wapi makofi yake tafadhali Na nataka mnisaidie kuhesabu to say the hand that giveth is the hand that Bro umetoa greeteth wapi tafadhali greeteth it's receiveth Yaani mwili ndio iko hapa hivi kwa VIP lakini kizungu iko regular. <laughs> Satan. Now nataka mnisaidie kwa sababu I said the hand that giveth is the hand that Ini ngapi? Tuwe sabu. Ehe. Ehe. Mbona sisikie energy? Hapa niacha na hapo. Niwache na hapo. Haya tuendelee ngapi? Ehe. 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 Ni wacha na hapo maniendelee. Endelea. Chukua ngapi? Madam mbona unachukua hiyo pesa ni kama change ya mganga? Chukua pesa na swag. Pesa This is the reason why unajua kuna venye ukichukua pesa kutoka kwa mwanaume there is an urge tunaweza feel ya kukuongeza pesa hebu tujifanye mimi ni msichana wewe ni mwanaume this is how in a fault chukue pesa haya nipe uone ati sindi let me just demonstrate this is how a lady In fact I want to give her something extra. Something extra. This is how you Aya jifanye wewe ni mwanaume mimi ni msichana. Aya tuendelee. This is how you're supposed to take money from a man. Ladies take notes. Ehe. Ngapi? Eh eh ngapi? 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 Like I said the hand that giveth is the hand that Si amerudisha peke yake. Ati? But don't worry no as you go and sit down I already signed this. Just at one mount yenu nataka hapa. I'll come give my uh, give that guy the the the, the check. Wapi makofi yake tafadhali? Money is very important. That's why I say kama una pesa kuna hata some words you are not supposed to be using. Wachana nayo. Ukiwa kwa meeting kama unajua huna pesa tumia words that zinakukaa. 
Usingoje when you anaona pesa unangoja speaker 1 anaongea speaker 2 anaongea speaker 3 alafu mtu mwenye hana pesa anakuja na kizungu yenye iko hapa lakini mfuko wa iko hapa yani kizungu ni Patrick Lumumba lakini mfuko bado inacheza hapa kwa kalembe ndile <laughs> yani mtu mwanaume anakuja mtu wa kwanza anaongea wa pili wa tatu alafu anasimama ah uh, thank you very much sir for speaking building on what you've just said what are you building umetoa wapi pesa ya kubuild unaishi kwa bed sitter na you are talking about building alafu unasikia anasimama ati thou shall not you thou umetoa wapi <laughs> let men who have money to do that in fact unajua kama uko na pesa hata domestic animals zinakupea respect unajua mtu mwenye ako na pesa hata umbo inacheza kwa mguu wake juu ni mtu mwenye amejipaka perfume perfume ya pesa umbo iko tu hapo karibu na yeye juu ni pesa juu ni pesa ananukia vizuri lakini mtu mwenye hana pesa umbo inakuja hivi na mnusa hivi umbo inatoka mbio umbo inakuja na simamba umbo inajiuliza huyu ni binadamu ama hii ni gunia ya managu Wow, you guys are looking good from up here. Am I looking good from down there? Yes. Wow, if you know you are a lady and you look amazing and you have the cutest smile in the building, can you just tell me, "Oh." Oh. 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 In fact, kama wewe ni msichana na umekaa kando ya mwanaume mwenye hana ndevu, mgeukiwa na msalimie abuju buju buju. <laughs> Mwambie ama nikupe kinyonyi. <laughs> na eh, hey, wanaume, oh. Kama umekaa kando ya msichana mwenye wako na wivu yenye mechapa 3 weeks 4 weeks mgeukie na msalimie sasa Moses and the burning bush <laughs> Do you guys nimeona the other day kwa news nimeona mapacha wawili walipatana through Facebook Mliona that news Yaani wanapatana yaani wanaona they are similar they are identical they look again wanafanana Do you know mpaka nikakaa chini mimi pia nikajiuliza Umoyangalia mtu kwa TV venye anaongea mnaona tu ni kama ni twin wako venye anatembea hata kimfuko kimwangalia hivyo ndio huwa anaangalianga joho <laughs> The only difference mimi na joho ni pesa tumeachana tu kidogo tu kidogo ni kama tu Willie Paul na gospel Tunafanana but you know Nakuru is one of the most cosmopolitan cities I've ever been to. Nikakaa chini nikajiuliza what is it that makes uh, Nakuru county uh, Nakuru city ikuwe pamoja. Jua hapa tuko na wakisi tuko na wakamba wajaka modo wa nyumba kila mtu. Nikaangalia ni nini inaleta watu pamoja? Nikapata ni chakula. Chakula kama unataka chakula ni hapa in Nakuru. Ah make some noise for yourself ladies and gentlemen. Na, nakuru iko na chakula unapata kama wakisi wanatuletea matoke yao watu nakula sisi kama wajaka tunaleta omena na samaki tunapata hapa hivi waluya wanatuletea ingoho alafu hapa tukiangalia wakamba okay wakamba nyinyi kujeni tuna njaa alafu modoa nyumba pia natuletea chakula chakula ya modoa nyumba modoa nyumba mwe haha Mwe haha. Chakula ya modoa nyumba pia unaona hizo chakula nime mention hapo juu. Chukua matoke ya wakisi weka kwa sufuria. Chukua ingo ya waluya weka kwa sufuria. Chukua omena ya wajaka weka kwa sufuria. Aya weka maji. Wachana ni mitungi chukua pipe kuja na pipe. Weka pipe wewe weka tu maji ufanye kazi yako kwa nyumba. Tembea rudi angalia ni sangapi. Weka tu maji. Piga tu round kwa nyumba. Kuja jiangali utakutana na pilipili hoho ikifloat kwa balcony. Chukua rudisha kwa sufuria. Hiyo ni chakula, yani chakula ya modoa nyumba ni chakula yenye ukipakua kwa play TV unapata hapa kando kuna chapati, kuna mchele. Yani chakula iko na rangi mingi kuna carrot kuna. Yani chakula iko na marangi mingi mpaka ukikula unajiuliza, "Ai jameni, hii ni chakula na kula ama na kula kitenge?" Modoa nyumba jameni hawa kama ni carrot kama ni carrot kateni tu carrot ndogo 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 yenye hata ukirusha kwa chakula ni flavor tu ya carrot ndio tunasikia harufu tu fulani sio unapata modoa nyumba na chukua carrot anarusha kwa sufuria unapata carrot imesimama kama kemboi kwa finish line <laughs> shaitan 
mpaka deep down in their hearts naona anga ni kama modo wa nyumba kidogo they look okay lakini chini ya maji modo wa nyumba wanatamani wangekuwa wanaishi tu Lake Bogoria ju Lake Bogoria unajua iko na maji moto unarusha tu waru ukitoa unarusha cabbage ukitoa ah sisi kama wajaka pia tukukuja na omena guys do you know what omena is to us kama sisi watu wa Kisumu do you know omena 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 is even famous than Moses Kuria in Kisumu Yaani omena ome, omena ni kama flag bearer. Hizi oh, vitu zingine sijui mrenda sijui. Hizo ni co principle sachana nayo. Omena iko na special place. Umoe pika kwa nyumba unapata mama yako amekupikia omena. Yaani omena ni kama imepigwa makeup. Unaangalia omena pale unapata ni kitungu imekatwa nyanya, unapata mpaka meka cream, unapata akachukua maziwa akaongeza. Yaani omena iko appetizing ukiangalia from far unaweza dhani omena iko ndani ya spa. Hiyo ni yeah, that is how omena is to us. Yaani unaangalia omena. That is why sisi kama wajaka venye hata tulikuwa tunaitana siku zenye za omena zimepikwa lunch time was different. Unaona hizi chakula zingine chakula ikiiva venye tulikuwa tunaitana ilikuwa different. Ungekuja, "Onyango, onyango, mama amesema ati twende tukule." Na mnaenda. Time ya omena ama samaki tulikuwa tunaongea through most god. Ulikuwa unakuja kuita mwenzako, "Onyango, onyango." <coughs> Shauri yako. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that has been my time akukudesha. Bungoma mpo! Bungoma mpo! Asante sana. Sikia vizuri kukua Bungoma. Salimia mwenzako mkaribishe kwa show. Say hi to them. Wanaume I'm giving you a chance of a lifetime. Waacha kugeukia mwanaume mwenzako. Ha, alafu anatoka hapa akisema eh hey, Churchill show haina mademu wewe ndio umelemewa. Au <laughs> sio? In fact tuifanye rahisi. Salimia mwenzako na lugha yako ya nyumbani. <laughs> waluya nimesema tu salamu. <laughs> Sikia waluya. Eh hey, hey, Churchill yani odimanga odimanga. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, good to be here. I let me tell you one thing that I learned from my mother every day. Mama yako akikuchapa anakuanga na sababu. Mama yako akikuchapa anakuanga na nini? Na sababu. And let me tell you, hakuna kitu watu usema ni ngumu kama kushikanisha vitu mbili at the same time. Multitasking. Ushaitetesha mama yako ukilia, ndio utaki asikie unamwambia nini? Mama yako anakuchapa alafu unaanza kumtesha kumtetesha kwa hiki leo ndio akikuuliza ni nini ana evidence kwa nini wewe anakuchapa ati wewe unasema ile mbaya ni wakati anakupiga alafu unalia Then wakati unalia marafiki zako wanatokea huku. Na lazima uonyeshe marafiki zako huko unalia. So una change hii kilio inakuwa kicheko. Anakuchapa na kwa mulikuja saa Mabema. Tulikuwa tunacheka na mam. <laughs> Nakumbuka mamangu alikuwa anatuchapa kwa sababu ya tujui kuomba. Akatufundisha maombi moja ya kukula. Na hiyo ndilikuwa na randa nayo kila mahali. Nikiambiwa omba ile maombi. <laughs> alikuwa anasema moja ile ilikuwa oh god bless this food before we eat it. Amen. Siku moja nilikuwa kanisani nimekaa hivi Mubiri akasema of course uh, the pastor and the wife will be traveling tomorrow uh, the next week to US to the US so one of our innocent boys atuombe Tom kuja utuombe Hapa nikaona hapa nitafanya nini mahali kuna food naweka pasta Let's close our eyes we pray Oh god bless the pastor and the wife before we eat them
before we eat them. Amen. My coffee. <laughs> Wanakuanga na sababu na trust to me. Let me tell you one thing. Kama unaombea maombi, unaombea chakula, ombea chakula. Usiombea chakula, alafu unaanza kuweka vitu zingine. Kuna watu uombea chakula mpaka inapoa. Ushio na watu mpaka anakujanga ana, 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 unaona unaomba eh nani tuombe ombea chakula Aya wanaanza na chorus chorus kwa maombi Aya tu tuanze Bwana sehemu yangu rafiki yangu na sijui vile wanaingi wana connecting hii maombi na hiyo wimbo inaingiana vizuri rafiki yangu wewe heri nikute mashaka bwana kwa sababu wewe ndio Mungu <laughs> tunakuomba ukibariki chakula hiki kilicho hapa tunakuomba ukue na sisi wabariki hata wale hawana hata wale wanafanya sensors wanatoka huku wanaingia nyumba moja wanaingia nyingine labda huko hawapati chakula wabariki Tunakuomba ubariki kila mtu hata kuna last last year last year kuna watu hawakuhesabiwa huku kwa nani mama James kulikuwa kwa nani <laughs> Kulikuwa huku kwa huku kwa nani kula hakuhesabiwa na unajua ni vibaya kutohesabu bwana kwa sababu ndio kichwa lakini kama hutahesabu bwana ya mtu kwa mbona usimhesabu bariki kila mtu bariki ulimwengu bariki rais bariki waluya bariki kuku <laughs> Bariki wa, wa, wa jaluo, bariki samaki, bariki wa gikuyu, bariki dhufu, bariki kila Bariki wa kamba, bariki maji, oh hakuna maji A, Anafikanga mahali unadhani amemaliza kumbi ndiyo anaanza Na kwa ayo na ma, mengi na machache tunaomba na kuamini Ni kwa sababu wewe ndiyo buwana <laughs> <laughs> Alafu ana anamalizanga maombi na disclaimer anajua ameshawachosha. Anamalizanga akijitetea. Ni kwayo na mingi tunaomba na kuamina. Eh mama James, ulitutayarishia chakula baridi. <laughs> Nipashie moto hii yangu. <laughs> Good to be in, in Bungoma. I'm very happy I feel excited. Hmm? So when you are doing something ukiamua ni kitu unafanya go straight to the what? To the point. Kama kama hawa news reporters wenye huku wa ushio na news reporter mwenye anajua kitu anaenda kuongea kitu ana report anaongeanga direct to the point anamaliza. Na bila shaka tunaungana mwana habari wetu akiwa kandui wafula kama unatupata ukiwa kandui. Na bila shaka na kupata vizuri sana labda niweze kukuwa refu kwamba tupo hapa Bungoma tumeweza kuhesabu watu kadha wa kadha kuku mingi uh, tumeweza kuhesabu mbuzi tumeweza kuhesabu kila kitu na nataka nikuambie kama nitakurudisha studio ni wakati tutakapokuwa tunamalizia Shayona reporter aqua prepared He repeats everything everything is rep- mpaka na, uh, mpaka inafika mwisho anaambiwa asante uh, tutarudi kwako Tambua bila shaka moja kwa moja tuungane na wafula akiwa kule e, Bungoma tueleze mambo yako vipi kule wafula kama unatupata Na vizuri asante sana nataka nikushukuru asante sana na nashukuru tu asante nataka kusema asante kwa sababu ya kila kitu asante na 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 ni kama mna tatizo studioni Machakos Machakos Masaku Salimu ya mwenzako mkaribishe kwa show Mkaribishe Asante wanaume I'm giving you a chance of a lifetime upate mtu unageukia mwanaume mwenzako Ha In fact tuifanye raisi tuifanye raisi salimia mwenzako na lugha yako ya nyumbani Wakamba nimesema tu salamu Ona mkamba eh hey, chachi gari kitembeza mpige baapi haipingi lile api haipingi lile <laughs> I have a, I have a brother of mine mwenye anaongeanga na hii soprano 
na atakangi watu wajue atakangi watu wamuongelee ati anaongea soprano siku moja niliona akiongelewa watu walikuwa namsengenya ati eh huyu brother yako ana huyu anaongea soprano kwani na ko na mwili kubwa nisikizwe nisikizwe eh nisikizwe ati naongea soprano iko wapi wewe respect the OG okay <laughs> It's not a problem kuongea na soprano. Soprano inakujanga inakujanga kukua shida wakati unataka kuelezea vitu zinatoka na sauti nzito. Unajua brother yangu ni mtu anapenda kuongea kila mahali, hako hapa sitaki kumuita juu atakaa ataibika. Ana, anapenda oh kila saa anataka ku nini? Siku moja alikuwa anatuelezea story fulani siju ya movie gani. Alafu kuna vitu anafai kuelezea na base, alafu kumbi inatoka soprano. Sikia, sikia ni kuambie, sikia ni kuambie. Unajua tuliko na hiyo movie inaitwa The Roll, ha? So pale atakuna jamaa kwa msitu. Jamaa amekimbia, amekimbia. Aoni kuna simba ziko nyuma yake. Simba zinaguruma hapo na sauti nzito. Tina simba ziko hapo. Wa! <laughs> It's good to be here in Machako I'm back home. I feel good. I feel very excited. The first thing vile nilimefika hapa nimekutana na watu tulisoma nao. Wakashtuka mpaka pia mimi nikaanza kushtuka. Ati Tom. Tom, ni wewe? Nue. Nue. Mpaka nikaanza kushangaa am I not me? Nikamwangalia nikamwambia, eh? Mm. Aya tinya yemwaito. Vitu mingi sana zimechange. Vitu mingi sana zimechange huku. Mpaka shule ambayo nilisomea imechange jina saa hii iko na jina mzuri. Imechange jina mpaka wanafunzi pale wameanza kupita. Okay, sisemi nilianguka lakini wanafunzi wameanza kupita. Niko hapo eh, nime, nimeona saa hii ati inaitwa St Martins. Unajua siwezi ambia watu nilisomea St Martins. Ju document zangu zote zinasoma kidongo ine katuja kali ni secondary mix and gold ni jinapoa ni jinapoa ni jinapoa mpaka inakuanga jina ili kuanga jinapoa mpaka tuende hizi functions za mashule kubwa unapatana na wasichana alafu lazima uambie jina ya shule yako do you know how how, how painful it is eh mnakutana na wasichana unasikia hey how are you I come from Mark G, Machakos girls, and she comes from Kat G, Kadiani girls. Where do you come from? <laughs> oh, me. I come from within. <laughs> Trust to me, I'm very happy, and I, I think a lot of it. uncle yangu I used to have an uncle mwenye alikuwa nakuja kunisalimia nikiwa shule. Alikuwa anakuja time ya visiting. Siku moja amekuja hapo na chapati tatu na gazeti. Akanipea gazeti nisome, nikigeuka amemaliza chapati. Na sasa hii amechange sana, sasa hii amechange sana mpaka ameanza kukua MC kwa events za watu. But shida yake anakuanga mtribal. Alikuwa na MC event fulani hapa Nzaikoni a place called Nzaikoni right here in Kadiani. Alafu kulikuwa na watu wa Nairobi na watu wa Ushago. Na unajua watu wa, wa, wa MC wa Ushago wapendi watu wa Nairobi. So amekaa hivi ana akaongea Kiswahili akaongelesha watu wa Nairobi, alafu akageuka akaanza kutusi watu. Asanti, asanti sana. Karibuni sana watu wa uh, Nairobi tunawakaribisha sana. Tenti yenu ni ile. Mnaweza chukua maji na pia mchukue soda. Zote ni zenu. Watu wetu ukichukua maji usichukue soda. Watu wa Nairobi tumewakaribisha sana. Tunaona mnaingia ingia, mnakaa vizuri. Sawa, tulieni. Mtaniruhusu niongee kikamba kwa sababu kuna watu hawaelewi Kiswahili. Ah, uh, twiz kianisie. And Ramu Mona Bame Banita to Scat to Bike in Omega, I love ya. Ah, Karibu. 
ndo hamu umona baba tusika tupereto uta atatijie zina madhamba chao ha tia seo ini ngeika wangwari hii asante ni sana na ito tom datari na mungu hawa bariki a high five give someone a high five and another one high five settle down settle down oh. beautiful beautiful great ambia mwenzako wa kisumu eh kisumu eh so finally we are here what do you say kisumu are you excited that we are here Sasa Churchill show we say the truth. First of all I have to say Kisumu is one of the most beautiful cities we have in Africa. I appreciate you for that. I don't know if this is the same Kisumu ambao inatoka Lupita Nyong'o. No, I think I'm talking to a different. Is this the county where Lupita Nyong'o? No, you, I think I'm I think I'm in Vihiga. Is this the place where the only Oscar award winning actress Is this the county where Gor Mahia comes from? Is this the country that has beautiful feature the best the biggest fresh lake of water lake it was so beautiful they could not name it and and alua name the queen herself had to name it lake victoria is this the county is this the county with the most romantic men i didn't hear that from the ladies is this the county with the most romantic men all right let me ask the men Men, huh? is this the county with the most humble? Wait, let me finish. The most obedient, the most submissive. Kisumu eh? Yes. Kisumu ah. I'm so glad to be here. I always feel like I was born here in Nyanza because Nyanza people have a way of making you feel very special. A Nyanza person can spend the last coin to entertain you. That's hospitality. Never lose that. You need to appreciate yourself for that. Now, having said that, now we need to tell you the truth because nikwambiana ukweli on church show number 1 there's something you need to drop as soon as yesterday Kiswahili si mudomo wenu Kiswahili iliwapita Kiswahili lizaliwa Mombasa ikagonjekea Setro huko ndio unapata watu wana chida ya matamuchi Lakini sasa ilifufika nyanza, ilikufia hapa. <laughs> Nauliza mutu juzi hapa na muuliza. A simple direction. Kuenda nini, kuenda lake uh, basin mall hiko hapi. Na tukukondele. Fanya hivi. Fa you don't start with fanya hivi. Fanya what? <laughs> fanya hivi. Chukua. Chukua hii barabara. Mbaka unayaza inama. Chukua hii barabara. Tuanga kona. And I explain ni kama vita. Tuanga kona. Ukisha piga. Hiyo bridge. Piga hii pande ingini. Ukisa ona kibande ya Coca-Cola. Umepotea. Kiswa hizi muachane na? Tu, watu wa nyanza, we need to be clear. It was very difficult to, exp to be explained. Uh, you ask a lady, so where do you stay? Naisi Manhattan. 
At where do you stay? Manhattan. Manhattan kume ni manyata. But having said that, this still remains the best city this side of Sahara. And I'm so glad to be here. And you should be. Sweet or not, the only flyover in Condele. The only part in Sumo. Let's appreciate CBK Group. Muta in Obunga. Nataka to wewe nyeri. Nilete wewe kisumo. Via International Airport. The land of Lupita and Obama. What's the meaning of CBK? Creative Band Kenya. Aha. Yes. Na metoka wapi? Mlianza lini? Si tunatoka hapa Kisumu. Kisumu wapi? Hapa tu Kisumu Obunga. Obunga. Obunga Masi. How long have you been singing by the way? We've been together this is our fifth year. Yeah. Fifth year. Yeah, yeah, this is our fifth, fifth year together as a band. Mmeimba nyimbo ngapi? Uh, tuko na album out, tuko na singles, karibu 20, and tuko na over 100 unrecorded. How come we've never heard you guys? Don Kisumu se winjoa. Narobi we wate konka. Tume Kisumu wanajua. Mziki ni yetu. Kisumu. Yeah. So it's about time we take the music outside. Wow. Are you ready to release them to the world? Because after today, they are going to be superstars. You know that? And I wish you all the best. I'll tell you something I always tell guys. When we're starting with Saudi Soul, just like you guys, Yunasi had the band when they did their first song, just like you did here on stage. Don't leave each other. Yeah. All right? And when you go to the U.S., because I know you love European tours, don't forget we started Obunga. And when you get there, come back, nurture other amazing guys from here. All right. Ramanya ingin ago bedo kodi. Rapudo ingin ago bokalo kodi. Ramanya ingin ago bedo kodi. Rapudo ingin ago bokalo kodi. Ki uno ki mekando ti ki vile ana ruini gua ana nyata natama hukumi ena baki kula lama. Mana dada apunji ani ni mi na kufata gam. Mwana dada, hapunji ya ni mimi na kufuata gamba Oguro, 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 oguro eteko Rambanya, 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 rambanya rapudo Oguro, 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 oguro eteko Rambanya, 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 rambanya rapudo Mwana seyuto, akoma piteto I'm the OG, 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 This is Kisumu, you never know. You never know. Sawa. Security muimu. Sawa sawa. And because of that, sika manda. Unaga ni kama una nyumba. Nataka mbaya in January ukwe na kanyumba. Uzi sema siku contribute. Sawa. 
Unita ya was warming. Sawa. Usiponita ni kuja ni ngoe mawe yangu. Joki sumo. Nanga uru. Joki sumo. Uri o nani? Joki sumo. Do you want me to continue? You want me to continue? Saki mseme ya dinaringa na kijaluo. Akukundenja li adikuwa anifundisha by the way. Akukundenja manifundisha kidogo. Haka niambia. Ukifika mahali upata wanchaluo naongea. Na uwelewi chitu wanasema. Wee kubali. Tusema tu. Eee. Wakisema tusema tu. Eee. Ukiwana ni kitu awesi ya green ayo sema. Eee. 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 Wee sema hivyo tu sawa. Hata uneza uliza mtu. Wee. By the way ulipata nini kia ICSE. Eee. Azimu, kijaluo ni international language, sindio? Azimu, apa hithi, how low do I look? How low do I look? Is it a fail? Is it a ten? Nimeuliza this jojo hivyo wakaniambia, Jasper, uko sawa? Lakini hiyo kofia, hiyo ndiyo uwache. Nika mwambia, kwa nini? Najua unajaribu ukawa kama Raila. Yeah, well, there's only one baba. Unajifana baba na una ata mtoto. Talking of A. Wasichana wa Kisumu. A. Yani, unaona musichana anakuja, anakuja, anakuja. Ni mrembo. Yuko tu. Unaona tu, ni mrembo, lakini utaki kumsubwa. Si ni mrembo. Ni mrembo kama wasichana wengine. Wacha hapite. Yani, utamfuata ukiaporojaisi vitu wa ujawai fanya. Hanap, I'm sorry about the Kenyan corruption. I'm sorry that you are colonized. Utaporojaisi. Ni warembo, sidi? Ni warembo sana. Talking of beauty, let me tell you, kuna kitu inanisumbua. Wasitana, kama we ni mrembo, unajua sa ingine, Wanaume tunakaanga tunawasumbua, si ndio? Oo, wacha kupaka makeup, napenda wasena wanakaa natural. But wasena wanatuambia, you don't understand. This is our thing, which is true. Wasena wakipaka makeup, ina enhance beauty. Si ndio? Si ni kweli wasena? Wasena sema yo. Lakini ukipaka buwana, si upakia vizuri. Unapata mtu wamepaka yaani, yaani kutoka juu mpaka chini ni vitutuza ajabu. Ampaka, ampaka imevaki na rolls. Unajua sile rolls za makeup. Anakaa yaani, unashangaa huyu, kwani ya ametoka kwa kisi yaki. Musa, alafu wifu amevaa ni kubwa kuliko kichwa yake. Ukimuliza kitu wa seme tu, hapana, ineni hapana. Huku hivi amenyoa, hakapaka. Anakaa ni kama kwa surprise siku mzimu. Kwa surprise, kucha ndizo hizo zimerefuka. Ya nafikiri ya ni kadibi. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Alafu, akue mrefu, alafu have heels. Sasa, we ni boyfriend yake, mnatembea na yeye. Uko huko chini. Uki mkazirisha kidogo, kufanyi hata hivi, unawana nikau na chukulio na muwewe. Hii, wasichana. Wasichana ni urembo, sindio? Kama unataka kutumia hizi vitu, make-up, cutex, kucha fake, at least jifundishe kutumia, sindio? Iyo ndiyo shinda tukonayo kama wanaume. Wanaume sama yo? Yo! Watu wajifunze kupaka nini? Makeup. Sindio? Chukwen, ingi hata YouTube. Ingi ya YouTube? Angalia tutorials. Jipake vizuri. Ndi ukiona kasichana kana pita, aviambo. Kana kaa pua. Yani mtoto. Mtoto mukindi mukindre. Mtoto sigindi sigindre. Okay, wachan. Wachan jaribu kwelese. Sioni kama mnaelewa. Mutoto, 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 mutoto ochue mochuere. Mutoto, mutoto, nyadhi ya mpoi. Asante ni sana kisumu. Ayakeukia mwenye kukaribu wame mpatie kamoja. Sasa mpatie tuwiri, ha ha. Ya hiyo ndinaito kundabu tap. Njuhu nimbiri, sindio? Usai juwa kila mtu wana kuwanga na kautoto kake. Kila mtu wanakuwanga na kautoto kake, hiyo na hiyo ni constant. Hata huyu mzee ya metoka hapa.
anakuanga na kautoto that is why nataka ugeukie mtu karibu na wewe mwambie tata toto mwambie mambo mwambie mguza guza kumwambia tata 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 yeah my big brother kaberia is in kastonde he, he was arrested for stealing the uh, the neighbor's mirror the neighbor is known as ras kenywa alikuwa anatoka tu alikuwa ametoka kufika hapo kakakatika unajua aku amehesabu kama katafika nyumbani akaona aingia kwa samba ya kenywa asuni akata kama ni tatu zimfiki eh hiyo ni ku reveal tu ni kama kutaka kupitia kwa petrol station una reveal ndio ufike nyumbani si ndio kuingia sasa unajua kuna ngisa ni usiku eh aoni anasikusa anasikia hiyo ni kiraa anazuna anagusa anasikisa ni kiraa anasuna anagusa anasikisa ni kinini anasuna kufika mahali akasikia eh hiki ni kinono akaanza kuvuruta akajua hiki ni kingoa hiki kitanifikisha nyumbani hakuna hata haja hizo zingine kumbe alikuwa anavuruta rasta za rasta kinyo mwenyewe alikuwa kwa hiyo samba alidoro hospitali kwanza sasa ndio aleta kwa kwa nini kwa kwa police it was very serious na nilikuwa namwambia aningoje tulikuwa tulikuwa tumetoka kuona wakanda askia mligongo wa mlilipishwa 900 900 si tuliona ndinje ya fru 2020 2020 mbona mnagongo msikubali kugongwa na wangapi wanapenda ndinje ya fru hapa ndinje hakuna mtu huwa anakubali anapenda ndinje ya fru lakini najua chini ya maji chini ya maji sote huwa tunajifungia tunaiona alafu tunatoka na sheng bado Eh. Nampenda sana. Let me tell you why. That guy is a wonderful storyteller. Si ndio? Yeah. Ukimsikiza tu hata venye yeye huanza alright. Asante sana. Kwanza kuna ka sauti. Shinda yake ni moja. Akishasema hivyo kuna wakati hii yeye huongezea sasa sauti ya the, the action movie. Hiyo tu ndio uharibu. Inaharibu. Jo inaanzanga vizuri kabisa mpaka unaanza kuvuruta popcorn zenye una imekubamba mpaka umekaa hivi sasa right kwanza kuna kaleka asanta sana basi mpenzi mbrava sister nyanya anti mtazamaji ni katika arakati za ma introduction yo kia mwenzako mwambie mko na utoto sana nyi but ladies and gentlemen uh, today i want us to talk about serious matters serious issues that are actually touching the society the boy child The boy child is under siege. <laughs> I'm not kidding. The boy child is going extinct. Like kitambo tulikuwa na mammoth, tulikuwa na dinosaur, sasa hivi tuko na ndovu, rhino na boy child. So hata ni kwenda zinaenda. <laughs> They are going. Lindis have taken over everything. I'm not kidding. They have taken over ev- 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 everything. In fact, do you know right now more in this and driving their own cars than men in Nairobi alone do you know that i'm not i'm not trying to say that a car is the measure of success lakini mwenye macho waambi utasama si ndio in fact chances are ukiona mwanaume ameendesha gari noma gari ni habibi yake wanaume tusikaliwe wanaume hey wanaume hey let me tell you this is 2020 sindio tuko 2018 2020 this is the area sindio sahi mambo inaharibika 20 years from now 20 years from now 2040 aki lind my ribs wanaume ndio watakuwa naolewa unaona venye msichana anakujanga kwako wewe ndio utakuwa unaenda kwa msichana sikundanganyi unaenda huko utakuwa unaolewa mpaka na harusi the difference ni msichana ndio atakuwa anavaa suti wewe unavaa gown mshenzi So you imagine ile ngao nimefunuliwa mara tatu one do you know that is the best part of the wedding mara tatu one msana mrembo kama huyu tunaona smart joker 
Madem wata step up. Technology sasa itafika mahali watafanyiwa operation. Watakuwa wanapata mimba. Mvurana. Sasa mtu kama mimi niko na mimba. Sasa hata cravings zitakuwa gani? Eh? Hmm? babe. Ni kama mtoto anataka mzinga. <laughs> Nowadays, Judge Hill, yeah. look at me. Yeah. Look at you. I nigga. see you, brother. Look at me, man. Yeah. Huh? You look like a Nigerian. <laughs> brother. <laughs> but my friend, I'm talking about whatever is here. What is in there? I lend it to you. See, like a model. But they don't have to those actors who are Nigerian movies, Bollywood, Na Nollywood. Is it true? Yeah. Naka acta mgani Ramzi Nua. Mi nataka kuko ule mhandsome. Which one? Ramzi Nua. Yeah. This guy, we give him who? Mr. Ibu. Okay. Mr. Ibu. Mr. Ibu. You are Mr. Ibu. I'm, I'm Ramzi Nua. I'm the romantic one. I'm the romantic one. Now, now, uh, assume this is a Nigerian movie, eh? So, Mr. Ibu, do your Ibu thing. So, what's your name? Ramzi Nua. So, what's the name of... I am Ramzi Nua, and my girlfriend is Chidinma. So, what do I call you? And Mr. Ibu doesn't have anybody. So, what do I call you? Ramzi Nua. Ramzi. Ah. <coughs> Ramzi. What? This is what your papa gave you. What ah. is what is it, Papa? Mm. What is it? Me don't like your girl. That girl. Mm, 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 mm. Papa, what is wrong with you? You don't like my girlfriend. Papa. Papa, what is wrong? I've, I've been with this girl for the last. Six years, Papa. Papa. I love this girl, Papa. But I know you, Papa. The reason why you don't want me to marry the girl is because I know, Papa, that you also want her. Chineke, me, love your girl. <laughs> Papa, don't lie now. You and small girls, I know you. Look at mama, mama is half your age. Papa, I know you. What you're talking is abomination. Oh, to be quiet. Papa, do you want me to tell mama about the other girl? The one you don't, took. Don't. Do you love your papa? Do you love your papa? I love my papa. Do you love your papa? I love my papa. Do you love your papa? I love my papa. Do you love your papa? I love my papa. Do you love your papa? I love my papa. Papa, I love you. I love. I love my papa. Make a soundtrack, Abo. I love my papa, but let me ask you: Are you my real papa? Papa, papa, now, hey, papa. Papa, Papa, what is it now? What is it with this little one? Papa, what is it? What is it? I've, what is it? I've got news and bad news, so which one do you want first? Please don't embarrass us. Bring on! You remember the talk talk? You remember the the guy that used to 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 to, to talk to him now? He wants which your, one? The one that used to talk to him. He wants your number now. Get out of my face! Get out of my face! 
Should I call you her now? Devil. You are You, you wicked. Papa, I don't, this, this, I don't think this is your son. I think I'm the one. Papa, Papa, he's saying I'm not your son. Do you have a pregnant son now? Papa, look at your color and look at this one. This one is, he has, he is half baked. You, you are fully baked. I'm fully baked. That's my son. I'm fully baked. Yeah, originally baked. Originally baked. Papa, I like that. Original papa. Original baked. Original papa. Original papa. Papa de cuckoo. Original, original papa. Original papa. Original papa. Original papa. Original papa. Original papa. Fully baked. Papa number one. Papa number one. Papa number one. I like that. Just like your son. Papa number one. Papa number one. Just like your son. Papa number one. Papa number one. Just like me. Oh. I like Papa. I like that song. Well, <laughs> Baba. Give your neighbor a high five. But here's your idea of high five. As a matter of fact, hug your neighbor. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your governor. Give it up for your governor in the house. The governor is in the house. Ladies and gentlemen, kill him to learn as can VIP. To go to Kisi University. Kisi University. Kunawa to a KH. Kisumu high, eh, not Kisumu, Kisi high. Yes. Alumna wa Kisi high wako wapa? Yes. Eh, ingine, ingine na itua Kereri Girls. Yes. Ingine na itua Itiero, Itiero Girls. Yes. Itiero mulifikanya VIP? <laughs> yeah? You made it. You know guys, uh, before I ni kue ni anze comedy, I used to act set books. Muna set books? Munajua set books? Yeah. Munazijua? Yeah. Wangapi wanifanya river between? Fanya ai? Ai! Yeah. Wangapi wa kifo kisima nifanya ai? Ai! Yeah. So I, I used to act set book na theatrics, art and symbol. I did so many shows uh, here in Kisi County. So, some of my students are here today. Starting with PhD, Bwana Murefu Mojewe. <laughs> PhD, GCH, CRE, HOD, GHC. Hey, Mr. Murev, Kizungu nayo? Usha yona Kizungu ndio hii. Kizungu inajaribu kupita keroka yende Nairobi inarudi Kisi. You know, Kisi is uh, one of the most fertile counties we have in Kenya. Everywhere is green. Kila mali ni? Yani chakula hapa imeiva mpaka mademu ameiva. <laughs> Unajua kademu ka kisi unakajulia mbali. Kwanza Kenya kalikuwa ka SDA. Kakafika Nairobi kakaoga. Kakajua Facebook. Na kaka una kazi ni Minnesota. Hawezi kashika. Kanatoka kisi saa hizi Nairobi kanakuja mapenga. Ni pay shots. Wako hapa. Wapi where the beautiful ladies wa kisi? Wapi ndio out of the Alafu eh Machali wa kisi, wacheni kutunyanganya madema hapa kiambu. Ni nini muna wapea hapa kiambu? Yeah? Ni nini muna wapatia hapa kiambu? And of course, eh, uh, na kitu moja ambaye buwana governor ningependa kuambia, kuna BBI tumepatiwa tusome kama wa Kenya, lakini kuna vitu hazije zingatiwa kwa BBI. Kama kitu number one ni hii mambo ya kukula fea iwekwe. <laughs> Kutoka leo mtu akikula fair aende ndani ya kule maragwe. Hapa <laughs> kisiwa watu wanakula fair? Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Yaani madem mtakula mpaka fair ya nduthi. Oh. Kwa sababu huko hakuna taxi. <laughs> Number two, eh, watu wa kisi washughulikiwe sana watafute budget kwa sababu kisi kuna shida ya traffic. Sio ya mchana ya usiku. <laughs> watu wanapitia <laughs> 
So, governor, kama ingewezekana, how watu wa night shift waikewe reflectors. Ndio waende kuonana. Kwa sababu hii mambo ya kugongana ni mbaya. Eh. Mimi nakwambia Bro, apapi o jamaa, apapi o kuja, 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 kuja na yo mandezi Kuja ni kupatia zawadi, apapi o jamaa kwa na mandezi Yeah Mutu uneza kuja na mandezi kwa event Oh, hii ni matoke Eldoret, oh yeah, oh yeah. As you was key, Eldoret, oh yeah, oh yeah. What you want VIP, oh yeah, oh yeah. What you want a regular, oh yeah, oh yeah. Ish. Simu mekuja. Yeah. You know, I met this. Unajua unajua ma motivational speakers. Yeah. Unajua ma motivational speakers. My motivational speaker ndiyo watu wana kuenjoy mbae. Nilisikia mungine alikuja katuambia What does Kemboi have that you do not have? Why are you poor? What does Kemboi have that you do not have? What does Rudisha have that you do not have? Unajuu kitaka kwa Olympics Kwanza ni maona kuna mtu moja hapa wa Somali Aye? Shaware gani? Ako salama? Lijipataje hapa? Eldoret, unajua wa Somalia ujeshi na gold data moja. Kwa sababu wanenda kwa Olympics, unazikia on your marks, get set, alafu risasi inapikuwa, pa! Kila mtu wanaenda wa Somalia na baki haye, risasi alikuwa ya nini? Risasi alikuwa ya nini? Anambua risasi ilikuwa ya go. Haye! Sinyini angerusha kitu muzito! Risati ni siti kitu wamezoya kuona kila siku, kila siku. Kia muka risati, kia muka risati. Hapa angushia nini grinetu. Pua! That's why wa jai shinda hata siku moja. Na vile tuku, hapa Kenya, unonanga vile Kenya kuna arambe, alafu kama una pesa unaleta kuku. Siju kama inafanyika uivyo huku Eldoret. Kama inapesa mtu unaleta kuku, mayai, meru wanaletanga veve, waluya wanaletanga unga, You know, Pia Somalia, Harambe, nilisikia, nilikuambio na mwana jeshi mmoja wa Kenya, wa KDF. Kukiwa na Harambe pia, kama una pesa, unaleta kakitu. Nasikia mtu wa zema, haye, ini Harambe ya kutuwa matoto ya wenyewe kismayu. Wangapi wako na pesa, watu wakaleta pesa. Sema, nani ingine ya kuna kitu? Sema, haye, habdi matoto madogo meleta risasi kumina sita. Mama yake ya nasindikiza na AK-47. Wapi baba yake ya kuja na bazooka? Ya rambe ya siyo kismayu. But I'm so happy to be here. So I was telling you guys. So this is a true story. True story. Lipata motivational speaker. Mimi nilikuwa ni meenda kumotivate wanafunzi. Pia ya kakuja next. Haka sema the same thing. Iyo ya what? Kwa za alikuwa mtu wa kwetu. Ni nini ya bio? Keboi ya kona ya wewe ya una. Keboi ya kona mugubiri kama wewe. Keboi ya kona masho kama wewe. Na bona keboi ni milionea na wewe siyo milionea. Ni kwa sababu haufugui masho. Keboi ya itaji kapito. Rudisha ha itaji kapito. Ana itaji attitude. Ni kona yu suri ni kona badhi na make sense. Kesho yake ya subui. Mimi ni nani. Nika sema naanza raundi. Siku kimbia mbali. I think I did like two kilometers. Ushe nisikia mapua inanuka damu moto. Unasikia nikama mapua yako. Nikama roho iko wapa kwa shingu unataka kuhimeza. That is how I felt. And that is when I say from that day I'll appreciate our athletes. Wapi makofia utafadhali. They are doing a great job. They are doing a great job. Alora Jai! Wangapo alisoma kiswa hili kitu kuzwe. Wakapo walikunyo maziwa ya nyayo. Mushazeka sana nyinyi. 
Mimi nilikuwa napenda kitenda wili sana. Na nasikia hapa kwa waswahili ni wengi. Kwa hivyo nitauliza kitenda wili moja mbili tatu kwa sababu kuna pesa ambazo niko nazo za kupeana. <laughs> Mkipata majibu na kupokeza pesa. Hiyo ni Kiswahili sanifu. Ukipata majibu na ni, that is the right swahili eh. So uh hizi ni vitenda wili. Uh, nyumba yangu haina mlango. Jibu ni mayai. Eh waluya wanapenda hiyo ni mayai. Hayo hey, unajua. Hayo hey, hey, hey. una, hey, unajua bwana. Hey, hey, hey. Mayai. Fatuma mchafu. Kifagio. Kifagio. Naona lakini nakanyagia. <laughs> Raila. Tuendelee ama tusiendelee? Yeah. Ah, wanafunzi wangu mwafanya vyema. Nilisoma lakini situmii. <laughs> Babu Owino. Nina pesa na sinoni. Mboga kabisa. Nina pesa na sinoni. Nina pesa na sinoni. Eric Omondi. Hii ya mwisho ni raisi sana. Ni mfupi lakini hakili mingi sana. Ni mfupi lakini mwenye hakili mingi sana. Jibu liko mbele yenu, jibu. Sijui kama mnaliona jibu. Jibu liko mbele yenu, sijui kama eh sijui kama mwalipata ni mfupi lakini mwenye akili mingi. DJ, do you have single ladies in the house? Single ladies in the building? Single ladies uh, at the regular? Tumieni akili. You can't be single na ukae regular. Hawa <laughs> nume wote wanakukatia waezi kukuleta VIP. Eh? Yeah? Hapo umesema wakambo wakikukatia wanakupeleka ngo uone eh, DJ Afro. Eh? Yeah? Touch your neighbor, give your neighbor a high five. Give your neighbor a high five. In fact, hug your neighbor, hug your neighbor. Kama umevaa yellow sema asi. Ish. Wakamba si ni warembo. Very nice. And thank you so much. You know, this is my first time uh, actually performing uh, in uh, Machakos County. I'm so excited to be here in uh, Machakos. Actually, I think after Kisumu, Machakos should be next in line to be named a city. Because it's developing. It's developing. Anyway, you know, I, the, the reason why I was telling you guys, Waindi wanapenda wakamba kwa sababu wakamba very honest. Very honest. True. What Waindi wanaogopa ni adoa nyoba. Woy. Waindi wanaogopa adoa nyoba. Mwe aha. Adoa moranga kiabu. Muko hapa. Waindi wanaogopa watu sana. Mwindi anaongezeanga kila mtu mshahara. Unasikia? Wafula. Napatia wewe lunch break. Ungesia wewe 2 hours. Wengine wakirudi 1:30, unarudi 2:30. Wafula na vlotoks in Azandi. <laughs> Mutosha na nebenda. Unachua meniongezea saa ya lunch. Pia anaongezea. Pia wajalua wanapewanga promotion. Omondi! Wewe kutoka leo, manager. Omondi anakuwa loyal. Pia, mutiso, aongeze wangi pesa mingi. Mutiso? Tapatia 200, eh? <laughs> On top. On top of that, 200. Njoroge ongeze wangi mbele ya watu, wanitu wanga kando. Njoroge! Njo. Napatia wewe, 10,000. Sababu nejo nizipo patia wewe, wewe taji taftea. Nubia, uncles, cousins, jack parents. I'm going to show them now.
How are you guys? I'm ready for you. My name is uh, Bishop David Munyere Thagana, and I am born in uh, Karatina, Nyeri County. Uh, I grew up and uh, I was born in a family that uh, was quite uh, a humble family, poor. We lacked many things, including the very basic things. And uh, while growing up, uh, moving from walking to school from, from uh, Karatina Shero to Kiamongi Primary School, uh, I grew with the same, same struggles that, uh, that the children in a poor background do, barefoot, uh, once in a while have food to carry, sometimes no food. And uh, those, those, those struggles uh, are the ones that I grew in. And just like many African families, my, my dad came to Nairobi at quite an early age. Uh, so we grew in the hands of grandfather, his father, and uh, in uh, that traditional African setup where, where the sons build in the same homestead and the grandfather was the main male figure that, that we had in, in, uh, as we grew up. And uh, as, we, as I grew up, I, I realized that uh, the, uh, the, the, it was so important that I become an independent boy who could actually uh, be helpful to the family because as a boy growing up, being third in the family, I was beginning to feel the weight of the responsibility to at least eradicate poverty and meet the basic needs. So when I was uh, in class two in Kiamwangi Primary School, I, a thought came to me. Today I really don't know how thought, that thought came to me, but it was just the effort to become independent and to eradicate poverty in the home. So I thought, what if I grew a cabbage uh, and, uh, and sell it? I would probably have money to, to pay for the things that we need in the family, food, clothes. And that is the mind of a class too at that time. And, uh, and, and I do realize that that is the time that God started uh, helping me to, to see, to take responsibility and to become a man in the family. And uh, so I actually grew one cabbage. And uh, this cabbage is the type that we call the sugar that grow, grows together and uh, I would come from school running to come and water my cabbage, put manure on it, and the cabbage grew. And I sold it in Karatina Market uh, in 1972 for 75 cents. And I felt little responsible. I bought meat for our family because that is the food we never actually used to have. I bought a dress, a nylon dress for my mother. And I felt a man, I felt responsible. And uh, so, so the business in me began to be birthed out of that and the welfare of other people uh, began to be ignited and, and what I could do to actually fight poverty and make things better in the family. So that background is what later on became my motivation to want to help people who are struggling uh, with issues, to people who are having no food. I, I grew knowing that there's something I can do to help other people. I grew uh, having experienced the, the, the needs and, and knowing that I would want to do something to change the situation. And again, in, uh, in 1972, my family uh, was to move from uh, Karatina to Nyandarwa because again, as, as typical of many families, when, when, when people grow together in the same homestead, the mother, the mother-in-law, the families, if this son builds there, their family, this son builds there. Conflicts began to arise. And, uh, and my dad being a person who is working in Nairobi and only comes after a month or two when money is available uh, and not really working, is just hawking and be learning how to drive and things like that. So that conflict between the grandparents and in my mother, the in-law situation, brought a huge conflict that uh, my dad thought, the best thing I can do, I cannot move my own parents. They are in their home. I can only move my family. 
So he actually moved us from Karatina to Nyahururu, a place called Raichiri in Daragua, in Darwa County, uh, in 1972, when I had just sold my cabbage. So I had enough 75 cents to buy people meat in a place called Gobet and buy my mother a dress uh, on, the, on the way. And that again, that part of the conflict that we had to move from what we call our ancestral uh, land to go and live in a new place in Nyandarwa County, that ignited in me the need for conflict resolution. I really wanted to see people live in peace with each other. I wanted to see families living in peace with each other. So, so when we went there and grew in Nyandarwa, uh, eventually became a Nyandarwa boy in terms of primary school, in terms of high school, just went to the same Nyandarwa County, the Chao, Chao boys. And uh, eventually, after becoming, going to college, I came back to teach in the same district, Karema Girls High School, the national school there in Kinangop. So I, I, Nyandaro became my new county in terms of primary school, high school, and working. My first job I ever did it in this Karema Girls High School. But when I went to Karema Girls, I realized again, that was in 1988, uh, first of April is when the Teacher Service Commission uh, asked, asked me to send me there to teach. I realized that there was no Christian union there was no Christian. I was used to a Christian environment in college, and uh, and I had grown. I had grown to love uh, serving people, and uh, and so I thought I need to start the Christian the Christian Union here. And I had grown so much, so in that. And as I grew to become a Christian, that also began to change my perspective and my 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 way of doing things. So now I had two things that were motivating me to do what I do today. Uh, one was my background. Uh, wanting to eradicate poverty and to deal with the, with the, with the challenges in the home, that uh, really wanted, helped me to be whom I am today. Uh, the conflict in the family and the, with the in-laws, I wanted to have peace and, and, and ha help other people have peace. And now going to Karema Girls High School as a teacher, and I cannot get the same Christian environment that I had in the college where people had a warm fellowship, people enjoying being in church. Uh, that again inspired me to want to start a ministry. Um, so basically the motivation for what I do today is shaped by my background. Uh, so today I am too much into helping the orphans and the vulnerable people uh, eradicating poverty so that uh, they don't have to go through what I went through. And so today I am so much involved in empowering the windows who have lost husbands. Uh, I give them cows and goats, income generating things, uh, because I, I just need them to be financially empowered so that they don't have to struggle bringing up their children the way we struggled. Uh, today I am an ambassador and a champion of peace and conflict resolution. I am actually the winner of the Dyer Award for Peace and, and uh, Cohesion. Uh, this did not just come, but it came as a result of that background of just the small conflict that I saw in the family. And as I grew up, I began to see the bigger conflict of the tribes in the country. And I kept asking myself, can't, can't we just live together as one nation without caring which tribe somebody belonged to? Can't we, and I grew up to see the, 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 the conflict and uh, in many other families where, which even leads to death and people killing each other, I agree to ask myself, can't we just uh, resolve conflicts in the families in, in peaceful ways? Can we, can't we resolve uh, the, the tribal conflicts? Then as I continued growing up, I began to see the bigger national conflict in politics. And I began to see the political parties, every, after every time we are having elections, people have to be displaced internally or killed. And I, and I began asking myself, is there, isn't there a way that we can build peace and uh, a sustainable peace in the country? So I got so much involved in peace and conflict resolution, right from the family setup all the way to the, to the politics, the national levels. Then uh, I got an opportunity to go and, and serve in Luanda 
and learned of major conflicts of the genocide. And again, again, we started peace building ministries there. Then I was invited to in Congo and again learned of major, major conflicts uh, based on, on resources and tribes. And then we got involved with tribal conflicts there. Then again, we got to Burundi and again, the same, same conflict. So currently we have very vibrant ministries of uh, building peace and conflict resolutions in, uh, in, in this country that has enabled me to be uh, recognized as the Daya Award winner with similar ministries in Rwanda, Burundi, Congo. And, and we want to see people living in peace with each other. But uh, they are all inspired by my background. And secondly, they are inspired by my Christian faith. When I became a Christian and I continued growing, all I started hearing is the model of love your neighbor, love God, love, 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 love. And I wanted to see practically what that means, to love God and love neighbors. That again uh, became my greatest motivation. Uh, plus I also learned about uh, this model figure that I wanted to emulate, that is Jesus Christ. Uh, the, my Christian faith uh, influenced me to want to, 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 to keep seeing Jesus is a person who, wherever he goes, he does good. He finds hungry people, he feeds them. He finds sick, he wants to, he heals them. He, he's doing good to everyone. And, uh, and that has shaped my philosophy of wanting to support the people who are less fortunate. So in 1991, uh, being a teacher at Karima Girls High School, in response to the needs around, I needed a framework to, legal framework to enable me to respond to all those needs that I see. And therefore I created Glory Outreach Assembly, uh, GOA in April 1991, who are still teaching in, in, in Karima Girls, which uh, this, this uh, GOA now has grown into specific areas uh, of responding to the needs of the people in the community. The first one being the church, what we call the church growth or discipleship. Uh, we clearly understood that it is the mandate of every Christian from Matthew 28, 19, to go and take the gospel message to the people. Uh, so we took that very seriously, that Christian mandate of Great Commission, taking the message to, to everyone, uh, teaching, preaching, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And we, we feared to start with and wondered, how do we go to the nations? And we, by that time in 1991, I didn't even have a passport. I had never even been to any any, any any country at all. So when, when God was calling me to start uh, Glory Outreach Assembly to go to the nations, uh, I was anxious. I wasn't sure uh, how or what to do. I was still a teacher at Karima. I had never been anywhere and uh, I'd never been such a major leader anywhere. But um, then the Lord uh, spoke to me in verse 20 of Matthew 28 and said, I will be with you till the close of the age. That promise in that great commission of Matthew 28, verse 20, that I will be with you uh, till the cross of the age is what encouraged me to move on. Even though I felt uh, unprepared, I felt that I was not qualified to do that. And uh, I, I, I decided I was going to take God at his word and hold on to that promise that God is going to be with me. And then as I continued reading the Bible and understanding people that God has called before uh, in the past in the Bible, I learned of Moses. He was saying he doesn't know how to speak. And God just told him, do not be afraid. And God had a solution of, of having uh, Joshua right there and Aaron and others. I learned of other people like Jeremiah, whom God called. And they said, I am only a child, I'm young. And God told them, do not be afraid. I knew you before you were formed in your mother's womb. I kept on reading of biblical characters who felt the way I felt when God was calling me to start a Glory Outreach Assembly. I, I, I led of uh, people like Gideon, whom God called, he said, I'm the least from the least tribe. And God told them, do not be afraid. And therefore, I, I learned that God does not call the qualified, but he qualifies those he calls. And I said yes to God uh, to start GOA, knowing that I'm not qualified and knowing that God will qualify me. And so we have done this for 32 years now. So after starting uh, Glory Outreach Assembly in 1991, I realized that uh, we needed to do things differently. Uh, 
because we didn't want to just start another church or another ministry because there were many in this country and they were not really having huge impact. So we asked ourselves, why is it that we have so many churches in the country, but still we have people who have not heard the gospel much. So we decided we're going to adapt that the Samburu people, we go to the villages and go where other people have not gone. Today, we are grateful to God because we have over 18 churches there that are leashed by their own Samburu people. And we, we started equipping them and helping them to understand the need to go into the village and meet the needs of the people and being relevant to that culture. We were so encouraged in the month of May 2003 when we reached the Samburu people that we wanted to move to Rodua. And uh, in October 2004, we decided to go to Rodua and adapt the Trukana people. And when we reached Rodua, uh, it was very new to me. It was my first time in October. And I started asking the people in, this, in the Rodua town, uh, who is it in, among you here who, who, who talks about church and Christians who can help me understand the needs here? And everybody I asked referred me to a person they were calling Missionary John. And I was so interested in knowing who is this Missionary John. So somebody took me there into the office of Missionary John. And I talked to Missionary John. He was in an office called uh, Share International in Rodua Town. And uh, it was interesting to find that I'm finding a, a Trukana person. Uh, I thought Missionary John is a white person. And I found a Trukana person there uh, called John. They call him Missionary because he was the only one whom they knew. And uh, Missionary John told me, if you are serious about reaching our people in Trukana, are you willing to go outside 38 kilometers from Rodua Town? I said, why? He said, because that is where everybody focuses on the town. Because it's comfortable, there is electricity, there is shop, everything. Are you willing? I said, yes, I'm willing. If you're going to take me because I don't speak Trukana, you go and translate the culture to me. And he said, yes, if you can feed our people, fill our truck here with food, fill with petrol and everything, I will go with you. So we filled the truck. And Missionary John drove me 85 kilometers away from Rodua town. And uh, there's a village called Akatuman village near Ellis Springs. Here we found about 3,000 people who came together when they saw the car because I think they are used to food. So when they saw the car, they came and they are seated, they are carrying sacks, uh, laid it. So if you really don't have food and you are there, it would be very embarrassing. So we sat, we talked to them, we preached the gospel. Then I asked them, uh, what, how best can we serve you? The leader, an elderly man stood up and he said, if you can build for us a school here so that our children can learn and speak English like those ones of yours down in Kenya, because they don't even think they belong to Kenya, we would be very happy. So he said, okay, we'll do that. Number two, he said, if you can help us trail a borehole and get water here, you would save the children and our women a whole day journey to Lake Trukana, where they go and they spend a whole day back and forth, and they only come with 20 liters of water on their heads. Uh, you, and that time would be translated into uh, family time and uh, doing other things, and children can go to school. He said, that's fine, uh, so water. Thirdly, he said, if you could send people to us to live with among us and be sharing this message you are sharing with us, not just come and go, we would be very happy. So we knew they were ask, actually asking for church in the community. So those are the three needs that the man, the man raised. In October 2004, somebody is asking for church, he's asking for water, he's asking for school in a Katuman village. And we took that very seriously because these are actually people who are, this was the most difficult meeting for me to, to speak to because they were all naked and uh, and I was not used to seeing such many naked people of all ages. Uh, so we even had carried some clothes we gave them. Today as we speak, that village has a primary school that we built, has sat for exams many, many, many years. In the first class, one of the boys is now a dentist because he said that he, he wanted to help his community have other ways of, of taking care of their teeth. And uh, when the teeth need to be pulled, that they will be pulled in a way that is not as painful as the way they pull them up. So Kevin is, is our success story in that area and many others. 
uh, then we got so encouraged, we went to another village uh, and, and started uh, another school. Uh, so, so that's, and then the, the parents started saying, no, we can't have our children educated and speaking English and we, we don't know English. Can you also allow us to come to school? So we started adult literacy in the, in the same community where the parents come in the evening and in the afternoon and they do adult literacy. One of the pastors called Mark, one of, is, uh, is, uh, he was so excited to read the Bible that he said he wants to go and start a church and also start another school in his own church so that other adult people can, can learn. So it has been an exciting journey, uh, reaching the Trukana people through education, through churches, through boreholes, responding to their needs. And then we got so encouraged. So we went on doing the same in Marsabet, went doing the same in, in Garrison. We have a missionary there from Nairobi, uh, Peter and Lydia, who has been there for 13 years, interacting with the community in Garrison and North Coast, teaching them farming uh, schools and, and, and all those other needs. So that is what we call uh, a, a discipleship department for, for GOA ministry. Uh, and uh, as we continue doing this ministry, we realize that Kenya is a young population. 72% of the people are below 35 years. So we, we, and we realized that many of those youthful people are not interested in church. And we began to ask ourselves, what is it we can do that we can creatively respond to the Great Commission in the lives of these people? So we started Sports Evangelism. So my name is Paul Mainamongi. I am a family man, a father of one vibrant boy called Ray. And married to Mary Vivian. I am a sportsman uh, with a background in sports. I uh, played basketball, table tennis and other sports and I uh, was privileged to lead the Central Kenya table tennis team in the year 2008 to be the Kenyan champions uh, in all the high school in Kenya. So I decided to pursue a degree in sports due to my passion and so I hold a degree in uh, exercise and sports science from Kenyatta University. I am also born again and so my passion is uh, majorly to the young people, to the youth. I just love working with the young people, mentoring them and just seeing them realize their God-given purpose and potential. So in the year 2014, I joined GOA. I just wanted to volunteer and give my degree back to God. And uh, I thank God that I made that decision. I found a loving family, people that welcomed me, a place where everybody is somebody, and a place where I could use my gift uh, to glorify God and to impact the young people that I'm so passionate about. And I thank GOA so much and I just thank God because a lot has been achieved from 2014. We have transversed this nation uh, right from the north to the south, to the east and to the west. And uh, our, our ours is to just creatively respond to the Great Commission to reach the young people, to mentor them, to disciple them, so that they can live godly lives. We have uh, seen the introduction of uh, two new sports in Kenya uh, through GOA, that is uh, rollball and floorball. And God has given us a spirit of excellence. Our teams are doing so well and uh, they're emulated by all other people. So the rollball team is currently the world champions and uh, you know we make our team, our GOA team makes about 50% of the national team. Uh, we've also been uh, privileged to introduce a sport called floorball in Kenya and uh, this sport has seen us go to institutions that we could not go to and we have over 110 teams uh, currently in uh, slum areas, in churches, in schools, still have a challenge especially in finances 
We are now looking forward at taking the team to Ivory Coast in uh, September, but we have no funds, we have no hopes for funding from the government. Sponsoring one player to the African Cup will cost about 2,000 US dollars. We also have football teams, we also have uh, volleyball teams, and we also ha are now engaged in handball teams. So thank you, and with more of your support, we could do more. We have done what we have done and accomplished because of your support. And uh, our next phase now is to mentor more leaders uh, with the main focus on our children homes. We want to get closer to the children homes and we are glad that this is paying off. Uh, we have one Kevin Kanake that is going to the national games in football and many more others. So our focus in the next phase is to be a dependable, uh, a movement that is sustainable, a sustainable movement uh, that will give back to the ministry. We are looking at selling floorball equipment for sustainability. We already have kick-started that project and it is going on well. Uh, we are also looking uh, in the next phase to have our own grounds where our kids and our youth can come and play. So thank you so much for your support. We truly appreciate. God bless you. And sports became very attractive. It is the most uh, engaging, uh, creative way of responding to the youth in this country. We have been able to introduce a sport in this country called Lolbo. And uh, as we speak, Kenya is the champion in the world for Lolbo, for both men and women. Last year, uh, this year, they brought the trophy from India. Uh, then we were very happy with the success of Lolbo. And then we, we ended up introducing another new sport called Flobo. Flobo, uh, we, we, it's, it's also very much uh, popular. And we have, Kenya has been the champion for this in Africa for Flobo until last week in Cote d'Ivoire when Burkina Faso took the first position. Right now, Kenya men are number two and women are number three. So, and we have the normal sports of soccer and the rest of the sports, the athletics. And through this, we are able to engage the young people. We are able to befriend them and show them the importance of, uh, of being in church. So, so these are some of the things that we are doing under discipleship. The second area that we respond to the Great Commission is we call it compassion, children's homes. Uh, we realized that uh, as we continued, as we continued preaching and serving the people, that the challenge of orphans and vulnerable people and homeless and street children was, was a big obstacle to, 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 to the work that we were doing. So one day I went to Karatina Market to preach the gospel in the market. And I preached the gospel about John 3, 16, for God so loved the world, he gave his only son, whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. And people were excited and they were excited. So I made a call and said, would you like to give your life to Christ? And when I made a call, many people came and I prayed for them. Then I told them, you go and look for churches around here and become disciples and be taught. People went, but one boy refused to go. His name was Bonfas. He, was, he, came, he stood there with his glue and he said, I, I don't know where to go. I, I want to go with you. He was still having his glue. And I tried to reason with him, but finally I was not able to convince him to, 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 to remain. <clears throat> so I went with him and Bonfest became the first boy that uh, we took in our home. And my wife Joyce in the evening saw me come back with a boy. And uh, we had not really talked about it. And that became, that boy actually changed my life, changed our life. And from that one single boy, we now have taken care of 790 orphans uh, within that period. Some of those orphans that we have taken care of and vulnerable children have gone through the home, the primary school, the university, and they have come back. My name is Joseph Mukubo, a young man from Miharati, Nyandarwa County. I joined to my children's home uh, at the tender age, I, back in 2015, 
I spent in that home more than 10 years. I've been educated by the home from primary school all the way to the university. And uh, with that success, I'm now giving back to the home and leading, managing the schools. My name is Solomon Muraburi Wanjiro. I was raised and brought up in my children's home. Her name is Monica. She is my wife. We have been together now for three years. Uh, I joined to mine in the year 2007. This is after becoming a total orphan. I used to live in Subukia. And uh, I joined to mine children's home when I was 10 years old and in class four. From class four to class eight, I schooled there in Geo Education Center. I then joined Geo High School from Form 1 to Form 4. Then I went to Mo University where I studied education. From there, I have taught in different schools. And then later, I joined to my, uh, I joined Rema Children's Home where I have been as a manager for the last one year. So most of us joined to Maini when we were very young. And we thank God for the transition from being young to growing up. It takes God and through the sponsors and uh, well-wishers who come and help. We have, we, have, we have many people who have uh, gone through the program and they have come back and we are very, very exciting. So, so this compassion department of GOA currently is having eight children's homes and uh, 400 orphans. We take care of their food, clothes, medical. Uh, we take care of their education until the point where they exit the home, uh, either at the age of 18 or by the time they are, they are finished high school, and then we transition them to another department that we call leadership development, so that we can begin to develop them. We discover the gifting they have. We develop those gifts and we deploy them to the various departments of GOA, or even they, they, in the nation, they fit uh, competitively in, in, different, uh, in different places. So, so, so when they exit the home and they go to the university, they belong to a department called post-secondary, which is under leadership, where they are, begin they are helped to see that, oh, you are not the same baby that was in the home. They are helped to move to, to deal with the transition, which is very difficult, transitioning from a home into a university where you are living on your own, from the rural to the urban. And we all bring them together in many mentorship sessions where we mentor them. Uh, we help them understand the challenges and what to expect in the new life. And this has been very, very, very helpful. Uh, so, so, so we have that leadership uh, de development with that compassion and that mentorship is very, very strong in us. And right now we are dealing with uh, a government uh, uh, proposal or law that asks us to integrate the children from the institutions to the families and the communities by 2032. So we are looking at it, it, uh, what in the first place made these children come to the home? Because now we want to take them back to where they came from. Once again, also for your interest, this is a government uh, document called National Care Reform Strategy for Children in Kenya. This is 2022-2032. So this is why we are gathered here, because the government of Kenya would like us to change the way we care for children in this country. Uh, we have been caring for children through our ch charitable institutions, which we call orphanages or children's homes. And GOA has got eight of those children's homes, and they are all, the leaders are all here of all those. Uh, and other forms of care that we have been having, like foster care. So the government has told us from 2022 for 10 years, we need you to integrate those children who are in the homes, from the homes to the families, through foster care, through guardianship, through kinship, through community. And uh, by 2032, that we need to have integrated. So that is why we are gathered here to discuss this, this, this government policy of the National Care Reform uh, for Children in Kenya. And, uh, and then we see what, how our response to this document. Because as you can see, it has 10 years, and one year is already gone, because now we are in 2023, so we are trying to move against time so that we see what we can do in the next, uh, in the next nine years. So we are looking at what are the need assessment so that we know how to address the causes that 
made these children go either to the streets or come to the homes. So we have been forced to begin empowering the families. Some of them, we give them cows for income. Others, we help them start some small businesses. Others, we, 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 we do just knowledge empowering. And that is our major, major task at the moment, to empower the communities and families to be ready to receive the, the children or take care of their children through guardianship, through foster care, through kingship and all the other methods. So in a more sustainable way. And, uh, and that is, we are, working, we are working towards 2032. So uh, resulting from my bringing up, uh, we could not leave this building behind. And therefore we deal with a lot of peace building events. Uh, we, GOA has become a recognized IEBC uh, civic education provider in this country. We are accredited to provide civic education. We, in this past election, we provided a lot of education and went around. And we take pride in, uh, in the successful elections, uh, especially without having people to fight and kill each other that we have seen in the past. We did our part in, in uh, building peace and, and educating the people on how to vote, voter education, uh, and the need to vote. Uh, GOA is recognized as a, as an, as, as a, as a, as a observer of elections. So we provided election observers all over the country uh, in our mandate to build peace and these such other national development uh, uh, events. So, so basically, that is what, uh, what GOA is. I have grown in my leadership to become a national, a national and in, an international uh, person in this country, uh, especially uh, I'm currently leading the, the General Secretary of the Federation of All Evangelical Churches in Kenya, uh, which allows me to to, to, to support and provide uh, provide the support to the many other churches that are growing up and build unity among the churches. It also helps me to, to, to reach out to places where we may not have necessarily GOA churches. This, this in my responsibility as the General Secretary of the Federation, I've become the voice of, uh, voice of reason for the church. So I speak a lot on issues that affect our nation, uh, Whatever, whatever it may be, we are current and relevant to the issues that Kenyans are struggling with, be they issues of, uh, of, uh, of economy, cost of living, be they issues of elections, be they issues, whatever, whatever they are, we, we, we are right in the front, uh, speaking the voice of the church. And, uh, and because of my role in leadership, I also happen to be the director for International Leadership Institute for all the countries that speak English and Swahili. So this takes me to many other countries in, in Africa, uh, where I'm responsible that uh, in, in the area of, of building leadership, proper leadership, because we believe that the crisis that African continent goes through are mainly more of leadership than even economics. So we want to build proper leadership, and we agree properly with John Maxwell that everything rises or falls with the leadership. So we are strong in the issues of governance. We are issues. We are we are strong on issues of uh, freedom. Uh, at the moment, uh, this past week, we have spent the seven days with the special envoy of Somaliland from Sweden, who had come to want to to uh, to help us or us to help in sensitizing the Kenyan government and the Kenyan community in. Uh, in, in, in uh, recognizing Somaliland as a nation by itself. And during the seven day, we have been able to meet the, 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 the ambassador for, for Somalia uh, from Sweden here in Nairobi. We've been able to meet the ambassador for Somaliland in Nairobi and many other dignitaries who are, have a voice. And, and the reason we, we do this is because we believe uh, in, the, in peace in Africa. And if we are going to have a peaceful continent, then we must be interested in knowing what is happening in the region, particularly in the Horn of Africa. So that's why we are interested in Somalia, Somaliland, Djibouti, the, and the, for the sake of the region of peace. So that is how we have continued to grow and progress. And we are looking forward to a good country and a good continent. And we are ready to play our significant role uh, to, to, for that. The ministry that we do and what we do is uh, we, we is sustained by well wishes 
by partners, by friends, both locally and internationally. We have, uh, uh, for the children's home, we have a model of which we call child sponsorship, where, where we have packaged uh, the needs of a child into three needs of basic needs, education, uh, medical, and each of these needs costs, uh, costs like $39. Uh, so three, three 39s, which is about 117, caters the needs, all the needs of, of a child in terms of education, medical, clothes, and everything. And we also, we, we also try to talk to, to the people who have companies and businesses, and we ask them to consider making our institutions their corporate social responsibility, where they can, they can, they can adopt us as their corporate social responsibility uh, platform, where we actually continue getting support from them. We also talk to the public, uh, and some people have just watched us on, med on media like this and they have said, I would like to be giving or to educate a child. I would like to support a child through education. I would like, some have watched us and said, can we go and drill boreholes with you in the north? And we have said, welcome. And uh, we have many boreholes drilled, especially in Lodwa, through the or even in our children's homes. And others have come with their expertise to help us improve on our agriculture and methods of agriculture. Some teachers have come to volunteer to give, uh, to teach our children. And uh, so we receive all uh, kinds of support from Kenyans uh, through the organizations and individual families that come to support us. And we also receive uh, support from uh, uh, people who have learned about what we do internationally. And they have asked us to become partners with them. And we have created uh, frameworks of receiving that support in Switzerland uh, one of the girls from Switzerland called Rebecca came to Kenya and stayed for one year. And then when she went back, she was so impressed, she created GOA Switzerland, which uh, sends about 300 volunteers uh, in this country and sends uh, support, uh, support from Switzerland. And then the uh, United States also, we have created a framework, GOA US, USA, through which people channel their support to support us. So we, we, we are open and we have many opportunities for people to support us. For anyone who would like to reach out to us, a physical building is in uh, Kahawa, Jiwe Kahawa Wendani. That's where our, our headquarters is in Jiwe Kahawa Wendani. And we also have uh, uh, many, many uh, visitors who come to the actual project in the homes in Yandarwa, in wherever they are, people can just visit and walk into the home anywhere in Kenya. Uh, and uh, we have a lot of uh, friends who reach uh, through, out to us through the social medias. We are all in all the social media platforms. Uh, there is GOA Kenya, Geo International, uh, in all the, 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 the platforms. And, and some actually come to my, my personal individual platform at Bishop David Munyeri Thagana. I use Bishop David Munyeri Thagana in all the platforms, Facebook, YouTube, uh, Instagram, uh, Twitter, all of them I use Bishop David Munyeri Thagana and some people reach out to me through that and say and then we engage further Then I can be able to direct them to where their questions are. So we are, we are available in all those, all those platforms. We, we have both uh, the GOA website which is uh, www.goaweb.org.org GOA, uh, GOA web .org. And also I have a personal website at davidtagana.com. Uh, all those, davidtagana.com, GOA web, 